It is the long dark. This game's got its clutches in me, and I don't think it's going to let go anytime soon. Even so, we're carrying on with our outer lopen, and we went a little further than this save is here, but the game for some reason doesn't save on transitions all the time, and it didn't before, so we're going to load up in the cave next to our beloved bedroll. We're going to carry oh, on. Like sandpaper. Ah, of course we get in, and immediately Commander Shepard begins complaining. It's all he knows how to do. We'll drink what little water we have. I, I say that, but I like this water too. Boiled, didn't I? Looking good. Do I want this cooking pot with me? Maybe. I don't know. I think I'll take it for now. There might be more I want to, to do. I need to do a quick stock take on what I actually have on me. We're 35 out of 40 kilos, and hopefully that becomes 45 in the not-too-distant future. Burnables, we have beloved coal and not a lot of sticks. Uh, plenty of racial teas, we need these for our accursed food poisoning. Uh, I already have, did I always have this crappy toque? Let's uh, tear it up, because the only thing I'd want out of it is cloth anyway. Pretty sure I'm not carrying anything that is illegal for this run. In terms of food, now I'm going to be double checking to make sure everything I'm carrying is actually cooked. But there's not much left of you, so I might as well finish you off. You know, you can save the console by typing save. Uh, I wouldn't trust it, though. Don't want to don't want to bastardize this run with console use, legit or not. Right, still got my crummy bow and my good bow. Now, what are we doing from here? I want to leave some of these sticks. I think I'll leave this firewood as well. Coal is fine for the temperature. Got these pelts, these guts, all this moose meat. Although it says ruined... Don't believe the lack of height, uh, hype, we know it's good. Although I just noticed that it's when I touch it, it becomes all nasty looking. Uh, even so, 2,000 calories worth of that stuff. I think I'll take another 1,100 calories of moldy cooked moose meat. I'll leave behind this coal. I'll take one bit of fur. Who knows, might need a bit of fire where we're going, especially since our tiredness meter is not great. Definitely want to take you with me. It's early on in the day. Is there anything I can pass time doing here? I could certainly nibble on... Eat the smallest stuff first. I like those cattails, but let's eat some of this gamey venison. As long as it's cooked, it'll never make us sick. Stay ultra hydrated. Perhaps not too much. I need my... Oh, hang on. Have I not had my racial tea for the day? I don't think I have. Ah, crumbs. I shouldn't have taken all those calories then, but too bad. Drink the racial tea. Did nothing for us, but it got us our daily dose. And I can't think of anything I need to do here other than leave, so... Let's leave. Let's leave with our good bow equipped. Looks tasty, like source roaming. I wouldn't describe Sir Strumming as tasty. Uh, this Storm Lantern... I think I already switched Storm Lanterns earlier. Sounds like something I would have done. Um, this stuff is fine for my shop. I read that sewing premiere. And the big catch in here is the moose hide, which I'm fairly certain I left in there. Although now I'm paranoid because I didn't see it on the way out. Yeah, the red part of the bar is getting longer. Right. Oh, it's fully cured. I really like to make you into something, but can I even do that where I'm going? Paradise Meadows Farm actually has a place that I could make you into something great, and I could do with the extra 5 kilo carry capacity on the way out. How long does it take to make a moosehide satchel? Uh, 16 hours with my beloved fishing tackles. I don't even know if I can get 16 hours done on these two fishing tackles. But if I really needed to, I'm pretty sure I could take some cured guts. None of these are cured, are they? No, they are fresh. Hmm. Could I get this done with my crummy... If I recall, 10 hours is... 10%, uh, 1 hour is 10% damage on one of these, so I guess I could get that done. I don't think it's faster with the fishing tackles and the sewing kit, it's just because I don't have a, sh a sewing kit, it's not showing it properly there. Hmm, you don't have guts to craft it either. Oh, right, it takes guts to make. Where is it here now? 
Moose hide satchel needs two cured guts. Oh, I thought it needed cloth and the moose hide, but no, it's guts and the moose hide. Hmm. Oh well, we will make you on the way back then. With any luck, I'll find a sewing kit while I'm up there, and I just have to come back a little... little not so encumbered. But we can do that. How do you start a fire when matches are gone and you don't have a magnifying glass? Yeah, you can use a fire striker, but we haven't found one of those, and even those are limited use. I think it's 50 uses per fire striker. Uh, okay, the weather is abysmal because of this high wind, so we are not going to be exploring down there. Instead, we are just going to get the heckle out. You know, we still have a long way to go to get rid of these parasites, and I do not like what they're doing to my awakeness. Fortunately, though, we found an extra load of matches, so we can keep going for a while yet. But getting the mag lens is the big reason that we're heading over to Hush River Valley right now. There are three main things that we are still looking for in order to make ourselves stronger in this game. One is the magnifying lens, the other is the bearskin bedroll, and the other is the moosehide satchel. We have the makings for the bearskin bedroll back at the shop, and we will make it next time we're back there. We have the makings for the moosehide satchel, we'll also do that on our way back. The mag lens, on the other hand, I believe it's guaranteed to be... F Ooh, hello. That's too windy to consider melting that carcass down for its constituent parts. And that completely took me off my train of thought there. What was I saying? I don't know, probably not important. Probably something about how I'm convinced that the mag lens is guaranteed in um, Hush River Valley, which is where I'm heading to. I feel like I early said Forlorn Muskeg, but I did not mean so if I did. Jake, you're having some mic Oh my god, why are you... <laughs> what is going on with the mic? Who can actually explain it? People were saying it's okay, but just different. Now granted, it should be different from the streams that I had on the move. Right, there's a bit of uh, bit of cover over there which I want. There's also tea ingredients there which I kind of want but I'm more facial, uh, more focused on racial tea than anything. Yes, I do plan on going to the top of the mountain with the crash site. If by which you mean the Timberwolf Mountain one. I don't think I want to find a crash site here in Mountain Town just yet. There will be a time where I return to Mountain Town here, Milton. Um, in the future, with the express purpose of looting for the shop. Oh, hello, hello. Yoink. Big sticks. Ooh, I love finding lots of sticks. Before too long, we're going to be at fire starting level 5, and that means every stick adds 11 minutes to the fire. But it's not really 11 minutes, because if the fire is considered outdoors, it's doubled in, t in length, because it's so damn cold. So that's 22 minutes on the fire. There's stick. That's huge. I don't know if I'm going to need you, but uh, why not take you? Right. Hermit's cabin. Fire seems to have died down already. There is wood and wood and wood and potentially more wood. Sadly. Got a place for fire. Hello, we I'm also have a cooking pot. Um, hmm. no, that gives me two cooking pots here, but do I want to actually fire up here? There is a cave nearby. I'm not sure I'd gain much from doing this here. Certainly take the summit soda. Yeah, we're not actually going to hold out here. I will, however, take this charcoal. I might take this can anyway. Uh, there's a temptation to smash apart this crate, but I don't have 39 minutes of warmth that I wish to spend, and I don't want to waste the match either. Oh, hello. Coal as well. Ooh, plenty of firewood, to the point where I am considerably overweight now. Right, tell you what, we're just going to take our fuzzy friend, who clearly has the will to live, and head over to the cave just to set stuff down since I'm already heavy and get a fire to warm ourselves up. I hate the frequency at which I'm starting fires, even with my fur clothes. Feels bad, feels real bad. Excellent. 
I was going to say, I was quite sure there was another, uh, another rabbity rabbit, and there it is. Oh, oh that was a terrible throw, Shepard. Are you ever going to save the universe like that? Then again, I'm already pretty darn heavy, so maybe I should just let that rabbit live. <laughs> it's what a lesser shepherd would say. Give me that rabbit. It's free food. And I... I drop something. Ooh. Okay, right, that, lab that rabbit has earned the right to live. So we're going to make our way over there. I know there's a cave. I want to always make sure I at least have one stone on me. These... Um, these are tempting to take, so I will. I'll leave behind the heads, because once you have fire starting level 3, there is no use for tinder whatsoever. You can't add it to prolong a fire, and you can't use it to craft anything, there is just no use whatsoever for it, as far as I'm aware. What happens if you put them in your pack without kudigraing them? No, there are only two options. You pet the bunny, or you pet the bunny. One gives them a gentle stroke and lets them go, and the other breaks their neck, and into your backpack they go. Don't think, and you know, which would you rather be in life? Predator? Oh, 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 well. Now, if you decide to start playing with me, uh, Fido, then I've got something for you. Although I'd love if I could bring you towards a moose. I don't think I have one. This is actually good, though. I'm going to bring him towards the cave. I might kill him near where I'm going to start a fire, and then enjoy some uh, some doggy dindins, or at the very least have a load of doggy dindins that I can enjoy in the future. I want to make sure I have my crappy bow equipped. There we go. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Oh, don't worry, the dog can put you out of your misery, Shepard. There's the cave right there. Believe it or not, I've been to Milton before. I've spent a lot of time here, but as I was saying earlier, I've played through some of the crummy episodic story content in this game. And Whilst I don't like it, it does take place in Milton. Don't look that familiar with the area, though. All right, Fido, can you see me? Don't tell me you gave up already. Come on, I'm your dindins here. Good, he's on his way. Perfect. There's our dinner. Should have let him in a bit more, but oh well. I am warm inside this cave at the back, so I'll take the opportunity to ditch some goods here. Two cooking pots, huh? Interestingly, let's drop both of them here. I don't think I'll take them up with me because I need to be fairly light for what I'm planning on doing. And and and, and. leave you for curing. I've already found a lot of sticks. I doubt I need this many, so let's just drop about 20 or so. 21 of them, right there. So that cures. I'll doubtlessly have some bunnies I wish to take care of soon enough. Uh, how cold is it not at the back of the cave? Feels like minus 60. Well, that's fine, because I plan on having a fire here anyway as I power up Fido. So, let's get going on that immediately. Should be able to blow it out from here. So, down you go, go. So cold. It's gonna be a ravine situation all over again. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll leave the pots on this fireplace just to remember they're there. Although that could also backfire, I'm sure. There we go, just dump one bit of coal, that'd be plenty for warmth. You may not want this cedar wood next to it. And although I dump these back here, this isn't actually where I want you. And I take it back, I want some of these sticks. May want to prolong my fire yet. So, so, so. 
I'll make a lot of water so I can leave a lot of water here. I don't mind making a whole bunch of it. Right, I am warm. It's not getting much warmer, but uh, I am actually going to throw on this reclaimed wood because I don't like carrying it around. Should be a good enough reason, right? Now, the hide and the guts would take about an hour. Torturing you would also take about an hour. Mm, more interested in the meat right now. Could I just scoop this out? I'm actually going to use the hacksaw because I want to spare my poor knife all this extra work it's having to do. So if we just spend 41 minutes hacking out three kilos of dog meat. And I'm certainly glad we took shelter in here. The wind has just picked up something nasty out there. So all that raw meat and uh, both these rabbits. We're going to hack apart these rabbits for food as well. i got no good reason not to just cook everything we have whilst we're here. Oh, hello, Cole. Uh, yeah, that fire is going to last forever and a day. Half an hour until that's boiled. That sounds like a job for the gut scooper. Thermogris is gone. Our health will slowly be coming back. Let's get these guts curing at the back of the cave. I'll get more guts out of these bunnies. I don't know if and when I'll be back here, but it's good to future-proof. Just get that finished. Take it, take it. Stuff to carry. I know, Shepard, I know. Uh, actually, we can keep you on here, and I can take the largest bits of dog meat. And we can cook the largest bits of dog meat. God, it doesn't sound good out there at all, and this is meant to be the best time of day. Mid to late afternoon. Right, uh, again, let's just hacksaw off the meat, I guess. Begin to wonder what wolf would taste like, as uh, nice as a rabbit does in a stew. I'd like to eat dog meat someday. Got no problem whatsoever eating any kind of animal there is. At least none that I can think of would be a problem. Right, get the old gut scooper out while we're at it. Guts are good. Guts are ever useful. Right. Take you, take you, and you and you, and then get cooking up. These, the reason I'm using the cooking pot is despite the weird shaping of slamming the meat in there, it does cook faster. I forget how much faster. 10, maybe 20% faster when you cook it in the pot. But since being outside is relative suicide right now, we're just gonna slice up bunnykins. I'm tempted to sleep here for a couple of hours just to uh, let this pass by and get rid of the tiredness. But we may as well use this time effectively, and few things are as effective as gathering these resources. Gonna leave behind the delicious wolf meat for future me. 17 minutes until they're ready. Takes a bit of time to harvest your hide though. 32 minutes. 32 minutes, that's twice that time. Hmm. What else can I do with my time? Ah, always prepare racial mushrooms. Do we even have any need for more guts? I've got to think long term. What if I come back here and some of my clothes get ruined or something and then I desperately need to make more? Then I'd be glad that it's right here. Right, you only take a minute, so let's just cook you immediately. You're going to take 21 minutes. Let's just take you and cook you. Give me the venison and the venison. We'll leave behind wolf meat and wolf meat. And we're just going to eat the rabbit meat while we're here. 17 and 17. Well, back to the same old problem, but let me just rip off this rabbity body. Yum yum. Come with me. Come with me. And then, when in doubt, make more 
Walter. Fire's got a lot of life still left in it. Feel that my hides are at the back curing as well. Yeah, really the only use for this stuff would be to replace or repair my rabbit hat or rabbit mittens, but that's pretty good utility in itself. That stuff is still melting away. Uh, I don't know if I want to rip Fido's hide off or not. Oh, what the heck? Fido, give me your body. Oh, shouldn't have uh, done that without a drink. Now I'm taking damage from that. That's okay. Just chug that right down, chat. Stuff's still boiling. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Europe right now. My body might still be thinking it's in Japan zone, but that's okay. I slept plenty last night. <laughs> 16 hours of good sleep. So nothing left to take off of Fido. He died in a very convenient location for me. We've left ourselves behind a good large chunk of calories if we end up back here in a critical situation. This water is almost good. This campfire can continue to be good. Eh, probably dump another bit of fur on it because fur is heavy. And then it's sleep here for about three hours, I think. Well, an hour at a time. Maybe there's no need to push it. Well, let's make sure that stuff is boiled. When in doubt, make more water. I'll certainly be leaving water behind. And we just enjoy being here. I not see racial tea to be had anywhere, but I saw rose hip tea on my travels. Now that, that got me thinking. I was tempted to even grab some. Uh, right, the rabbit's first thing going down the down the gullet. I want the stuff that is the smallest amount of calories to be eaten first. I've got a lot of cattail stalks here, and I'm going to drop a bunch of them. And this is just uh, for if I end up coming back here and I don't have goodies for myself. Take 12. 12 good. And I should also drop things that I don't really think I'm going to be needing where I'm going and might want on the way back. So what would that include? This, uh... Did I check this? Wow, I can't believe I forgot to check the backpack. First thing you should do when you find one. Might leave behind a couple bits of coal just in case I come back here and I'm in desperate need of warmth. The back of the cave should almost always be warm enough for me in places. I struggle to think of a situation where it wouldn't be. But, you just never know, do you? Hi Jake, are we getting a similar truck stream to the one you did when you went exploring last time with travel pictures? It's a neat idea, Belle, which I had completely forgotten about, so let's say yes. I'll see if I can rig something up tomorrow for that so I can truck while talking about Japan. Sounds like fun for somebody. Uh, I'm actually going to char- no, I'm not going to charcoal. Why not? I thought I could. Let's get this under navigation. There we go. Let's figure this place out a little bit. There we go. <laughs> it says there's a wolf carcass here. I have my doubts. Fire's still looking good. Make more water. Make more water. Take another hour kit. Is this going to be a full prepper cave? It might as well be. It's right at the bottom of a double rope climb. So it's an important place for leaving things, because you can't climb a rope when you're overburdened. And we are overburdened a lot more overburdened than I thought. Hopefully it's just because of this vast amount of water that I picked up. Probably is, so since I'm about to pick up a whole bunch more, let's go to our water and drop 13 litres of stuff. There we go. Once this stuff is boiled, I'll ditch some more of that. Otherwise, nothing really to make, not a whole lot to do, but <laughs> yeah, drink up practically nothing there. Um, it's tempting to sleep just a little bit longer, but I also want to get moving. 
So I think I'll go and climb one of the ropes up and then sleep through the night in the cave. Hopefully it'll be warm enough in the cave. If it's not, I can just start another fire. Alternatively, how much burnable stuff do I have? Uh, if I actually say no to leaving behind all of these sticks, just grab a few more and grab any on the go, then I might take the fire with me. Not a bad idea. You can come with me then. We'll let this boil, we'll grab some torches, and then we'll get moving. Do I want to take the cooking pots with me? No, I think I'll leave the cooking pots here. They're too heavy. Oh yeah, yeah, they are certainly too heavy where I'm going. And whilst I like this coal, I should also make sure that I'm leaving some coal for future Jay. Have three bits of coal here. Or firewood is heavy. Keep this as well. Still am mighty overburdened, so I'm going to drink some of that. Well, not overburdened, but close to overburdened. So I'll drink that water to lighten my load, grab some torches, and away we go, go. Even crummy torches. Alright, let's go. Oh, that is a good torch. So I want to grab sticks along the way, but otherwise I just generally want to climb my way up and out of here. Even though this place is magnificent. In fact, this entire valley here I think would be ideal for outer loping. You've got wolves, you've got rabbits, you've got deer. So the wolf can even hunt the deer for you. You don't even need a bow and arrow here. So that's practically unlimited food. There's a cave over there for shelter, but there's also a double cooking spot over there in kind of shelter. Yeah, not too shabby at all. Oh, I picked up everything I was planning on taking with me. I get that sinking feeling that I forgot something, but that's nothing new. Not very awake for climbing. We're only at half tiredness, but that also means half awakeness. It's enough for going up one. There is a cave where we're heading up, so I should be alright in that regard. I'm just hoping that... Oh, right. Oh, is that birch tea? No, but it will be when I'm done with it. Any more? Oh, yes. I love birch tea so much. I mean, I love finding sticks, but finding birch is like finding a super stick. Going around this way or that way? I don't actually know. Well, over here, even if I don't find what I'm looking for, there's birch. Heavens knows I like birch. Don't want to get too tired, though. If I get too tired, I get over, over capacity. And then, well, I have plenty of water I can drop. I hope I have two tins. Okay, I am 100% not going the right way. Back a bit, back a bit. Damn, I want birch, but I need to get moving. It's uh, it's sleepy time for us. I only stink because I'm carrying meat. Of that, I'm fairly certain. On reflection, should have eaten more before I moved out. Could have eaten one of those dog steaks, actually, at uh, little to no cost to myself. I also should have drank a tea to maintain warmth more, but uh, it's to be expected. Every time I come back to this game, I'm all... Yeah, I know, sprain risk. Every time I come back to it, I feel like I'm at my most vulnerable because it's so easy to forget the survival basics. Right, now where in the world is that rope? Should be a rope around here somewhere. Ah, there's the rope. What's over there? rock. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm grabbing a lot of sticks. It's just instinct, you see? Don't blame a dog for wagging its tail. Don't blame me for collecting every stick I see. Now. Light her up. Drink her up. Actually, I should eat something. Just light my load as much as I can. Sprain risk is gone. Great, now we can go. Probably going to see about getting this done in one go rather than 
taking a break on that ledge. Actually, I'm not sure if that is a ledge you can take a break on. But yeah, oh god, we're getting so tired so fast. This is why you need to be well rested or stimmed for climbing up a rope. And this is where our intestinal parasites are hurting us big time. They're reducing our maximum wakeness. So I'm going to be knackered when I climb the next rope, but we're certainly not doing it right now. Alpha, you know how unuseful it is being vague like that. Right, are we going to be warm enough in here to spend the night, I wonder? I still have my fire, so... Oh, it's very warm back here. It's a little tempting to preserve this fire, but it would be a big cost of wood. Well, burnables, really. But on the other hand... I have a fair amount. I could shove on a couple setter and a bunch of sticks and sleep here for a good long time. I think I will. It's it's a good bit of safety, if nothing else. So. Come on. Can't feel my hands. Something so comforting about being back at my streaming setup, where everything is where it should be. Right, gonna bung on one bit of cedar and just a whole bunch of sticks to get ourselves a lot of time on this. Maybe even more sticks, there's plenty more where that came from as I said. And five hours is plenty on this. Um, so much so that I'm not even gonna bother about leaving stuff here to cook and whatnot. I will just sleep for as long as I can after chugging. Yeah, it was accidental. There's no way I deliberately eat raw meat in this game. The game is meant to, or rather the game does, have a warning about eating raw meat. But, yeah, it didn't, didn't happen for us. Not, not from the way I ate it, apparently. Alright, we'll just take eight hours. Yeah, eight hours should be plenty. I'm certain this campfire is going to be good for that length of time, at least, so... Nighty-night. There we go, now I'm as awake as I can be. Still a bit of life in this fire, so... What do we do? I think I'll... Well, I certainly want to prepare one of my racial teas. And I think I'll also cook up some of this birch bark, whilst that is preparing. I can prepare more birch bark. Through beach combing, teas are infinite, but birch bark is the best infinite tea. It's always going to be around for you to enjoy. So, 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 so. I think I'll just take this, take this, take this back, grab torches, and move. As long as it's not super windy out there, but the... I think what we're hearing is the uh, waterfall, not lots of wind out there. They love my torches, even when we're feeling relatively comfortable in the amount of stuff we have. Just in case I end up here in a bizarre situation, let's leave ourselves a water bottle. And that's plenty, let's go. Let's also drink that delicious warm tea. Uh, cold, hot, right, drink that. This should be our 17th dose. That was our seventh, seventeenth? That's not what I meant to say. Our fifth dose. Yeah, I generally have really good torch luck, Achilles. You have. You could take the word torch out of that and still be back on. We're not overweight, I can tell, because there's no red weight indicator in the bottom right of the screen. So here's hoping that climbing this will be no big deal. It's cold as balls out here, though. Quick gander at the ledge, there's a stick with my name on it, and another stick with my name on it. And back up we go, look at that pathetic amount of stamina I get available. Your hand climbing stamina seems to come back very quickly. 
And even though we were fully rested mere minutes ago, climbing up that has made us want to take something like a four hour nap. Maybe even five. It just really takes it out of you. But we still have our fire, and although it feels like it's bollocking cold, it's not as cold as the days before we had animal skin clothes. So, what are we doing here? The wind is actually pretty bad, and I think it's getting worse, so... Well, I want to get to Paradise Meadow Farm as soon as I can. Uh, there's not... Well, there is a building there, but I'm not allowed to enter it because of outer loping. I suppose I could enter it to loot stuff for the shop, but we're not, we're not coming up here for shop looting, so there's no reason for us to enter any man-made buildings up here. Boy, oh, it's definitely going to blow out our torch at this rate. That's quite bad. Unless I can get to the Paradise Meadow farm. We are covered from the wind, kind of, thanks to the snow dunes, but the moment I pop out, 90% sure this torch is kaput. believe it's holding on. Good torch. Very good torch. Graduated with top honours from Torch Academy. I drink my other hot tea just to warm up a bit. The water and calories are always nice as well. Right. This gate thing tells me that we buy the farm. Now where is it? Ah, there it is. Right. Double time. I went in there. I want to preserve the fire if I can. Don't die on me, Torch. You have so much to live for. Especially keeping Fido off my back. Come on, in we go, go. In we go, go. Hey, right, that should keep us... Uh, that should keep us good. I'm not going to risk it with this... Torch, it could die on me. Now... I certainly did enjoy my time there, Jarek, but it was also very illuminating. I suppose I can talk more about it at length when I do the trucking, as per Belcat's amazing idea. Yeah, let's not stay close to the wall. We know that uh, wolves are filthy wall hackers. Right, it feels cold as anything in here, so one lump of coal, and I'll plop on the setar as well. Might even sleep in here, because this fire barrel cannot blow out. It's not a case of would or would not, it cannot blow out. I'm curious if the wolf would come in here. Would it even try? Where is the wolf? Oh, there it is. Damn, if I'd noticed it, I would have uh, potentially taken the shot better than I did. Right, we are barely warm next to this thing. Uh, not satisfied with barely warm. I'm gonna throw on a few sticks. Because believe it or not, we already need to sleep again. We'll loot this place. Doesn't count as a building. You might think, why not? I mean, it, it's kind of there. Well, it's blown out, but the most important thing is it doesn't give us a warmth bonus. Air temperature is minus 42 in here, and minus 42 out here. That's one of the metrics by which we decide if something can be counted as indoor or not for outer loping. Sounds very arbitrary, you might say, and you'd be right. There's a lot of arbitration that goes on in this. But do I have anything at all that I would care about cooking? Got a lot of teas. Well, when in doubt, make, a, make water. I'm very big on making water. Whilst that water is going, we'll explore the area. R.I.P. those lumps of coal. Four lumps of coal. Oh. No, I'm pretty... well... Hmm. Yeah, maybe I did throw on uh, coal instead of sticks. That would explain this massive fire duration. Ah, well. No big deal. Gives us plenty of warmth. And if Fido wants to come in and provide me with some doggy, doggy steaks, then I'm all for it. Oh, what's this? 
You got a license for that rabbit there, my friend. I have a funny feeling he doesn't. Can we get the head? Yes, we can. Arrows busted, you're coming with me. Wolfie carcass I could carve up in an hour, but I'd rather just take him bits of meat as a t uh, bits of meat at a time back here. Right, you're still boiling away. I'll take the opportunity to harvest some things. <laughs> I'm glad someone appreciates my nice shots there, WTF, Kujo. But it's the first time I've gotten such a shot. Normally I'm pretty bad at them when they're feasting. Okay, we checked, we checked. Let's continue to check everything here. There's a whole lot of not much. Wow, this place blows. Looks right. like a new day is dawning. Doesn't it just, Shepard? Just drink up, make a bit more water, and I'm going to carve up Fido whilst I'm still warm. And I may as well cook him up, because I'm hungry. I see an opportunity to eat, I take that opportunity to eat. I see the schedule for the week is full. Are you back from your holiday? Yes, I, I should have put it in the title. That's going to be a recurring question, I'm sure. But yes, I am back from my Japanese travels. Oh boy, there's a lot of a lot of eating on you. It's okay, I can handle a little bit of hypothermic risk, but I should probably just carve you up one kilo at a time, given how that how uh, quickly that goes bad. You're boiling dry. You're boiling dry. So come with me. Come with me. Making my head feel thick. Let's cook up these delicious wolf steaks, and whilst that's going on, I can carve up the rabbit as well. God, the weather out there is fierce. I should definitely be taking a sleep while I'm here. Delicious meat for us. I don't really care about scooping out your guts or anything, so I'll just leave you be there. I'm going to go and harvest another kilo of dog meat. I mean, heck, there's no good reason not to. get what we can while we're still warm. And hopefully he was the only wolf going around here. Let me ask another question then. What was your favourite place in Japan? Uh, Omihachiman was my favourite place in Japan. So much that uh, I was looking at it thinking, wow, I wouldn't mind living here. But on the whole, I feel like Hungary has too many advantages over... Over Japan, in terms of the living situation. I'm gonna eat sort of the 18 calories of moldy moose meat that I still have. Well, warming up here is all well and good, but I'll be over with my beloved uh, dog there and carve him up some more because more food to leave here is just meat for the future if I come back here on a fool's errand. My god, it sounds cold as uh, cold as anything out here. Really, it's minus 62. But we're undoing half of that thanks to our uh, our lovely warm hides and things. All right, I'm just going to pass time to get you ready so I can warm up if nothing else. Eat one of you. I'll eat the other one of you real soon. You guys go and cook up. I'm going to carve up doglet a bit more. Is there anything inside tractors? Not even a visor to flip down. I wonder if there's ever anything inside one. I know a key can spawn inside one of those. I swear I've seen a key inside a tractor before. I think maybe at Paradise. Um, no, par not Paradise. A Pleasant Farm. Pleasant Valley, that's it. Look at how fast that warmth goes away. That's why I'm just doing this a kilo at a time. I think I want to sleep here. Can I sleep inside uh, you? Uh, that's not a fair way of checking. Let's check it fairly. Okay, I have no bedroll. 
And I can! I could sleep inside the tractor if I wanted to. Feels like minus 15 in here, which is still not the coldest I've ever felt inside a tractor, but I'll still pass the opportunity, thank you. Chew down the rabbit. Still a bit to go on that, my god, it's nasty out there. Uh, and I want to keep my heat for a little bit. So anything I could reasonably do while I'm waiting? Yes! I'll harvest this broken arrow. Just five minutes gets us a good deal of warmth, which is lovely. It's such a shame there's so little anything in here. I can't even uh, carve up these planks. Oh, now I can carve this plank up. Do I really want two bits of reclaimed wood? No. Really, this fire here is going to last forever with the amount of coal I shoved in it. Food and drinks can spawn inside tractors, really. Well, we'll keep our eyes open for them then. Spawns inside vehicles have been very rare on our interloping. We're very, very tired. I want to sleep for a few hours. I might not even take this gracious opportunity to cook up all of this meat. Because I can just leave it here for future Jay. No, I should take the opportunity while the meat is there. I'll carve up what's left of our doglet friend, stick him on the fire and then grab some sleep. Didn't cloth and water spawn in like every other vehicle trunk in a previous run? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Right, get on, get on. It's about an hour. I'll take a nap for an hour. Uh, no need to overthink it, just sleep. It's very warm here anyway, and thanks to the fire, predators won't come and get me. Right, sounds rough out there again. Lots of lovely meat to be had. Um, our condition is great, so I can spend quite a lot of time just making water here, sleeping one hour at a time. And... Uh, I'll eat I'll eat probably that one bit of wolf meat since it's the fewest calories. Yeah, eat this wolf meat once you're done. So a lot of sleeping for one hour at a time. Gotcha. We already had our racial tea for the day, I believe. Uh, chances are I'm going to sleep away most of the best time of day, so I'm going to stop sleeping once it turns into late afternoon. And then I'll grab a fire and keep going because that's the best time of day for exploring. No point in wasting it. Me just adjusting my map here. I like the paper maps I had on the go. I still have them, but I'll see if I can find a more convenient way to set them up. Grab water, grab water, make water, make water, and another snooze. This still counts as outdoors, so this fire in a barrel is burning for twice as long as advertised, which is good news for us. Take water, take water, make water, make water, and sleep for another hour. This is just to get ourselves a wakeness back. The great maps of Family Mart. <laughs> yeah, my allegiance is to Family Mart, not 7-Eleven, and not... Uh, let's see, other one's Lawson's, and... I swear there was another one. Family Mart had the nicest little jingles as well. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. Oh, I should probably go and have a look over there. Oh, my water. One of them boiled dry, but that's no big deal. Just leave myself a very convenient... Uh, six litres here. Make water, make water, and then explore further. 
So there's an hour 54 still to go on the fire. If there's only 54 minutes on it after the snooze, then I'm going to have been full of rubbish. That was not full of rubbish, of course. I'm going to nibble this thing down, though. Wolf meat's not the most calorifically dense meat known to man, but that still did me fine. Cook water, cook water. Dump another bit of water with all the rest. I'm going to take my bedroll. I think I'll have a quick look over and around there. Should be a key that I'll want to grab. I don't think it takes up any space after all. Uh, no point taking a torch, because it's just going to blow out immediately. I'll just have a look for anything useful around here. We have a crate with no coal in it, which we could break down for uh, instant frostbite. Thankfully there's not a battery here. I don't want people telling me I have to carry a battery from Mountain Town of all places over to our shop. We do need to find one car battery though. Uh, we know the location of one. Well, you know. I don't because I forgot it. But we have encountered a car battery somewhere in a very inconvenient location, so I'm hoping that we don't need that. Yeah, it might be cold as sin out here, but it would be even colder if we didn't have our uh, eight dogs that we're wearing. We're wearing two doggy cloaks, and each doggy cloak needed four dogs. You got anything for me? Of course not. Right. You've got the key to this place, I might as well unlock it while we're here, but we're not allowed to make use of the place at all. So, unlock, and oh, I tried to cancel coming in, but too little too late. Don't even look at it, because we can't have anything inside. A shop can, but we'll do that at a later date. What is your... Ooh, it takes four hours, but there's four cloth on you. Well, I don't have four hours to spare, but let's keep that in mind. That's that's good cloth right there. I'll leave the rose hips. Once upon a time, I tore down everything in sight, but probably not right now. Let's warm ourselves up. I'm just in time for the water and water. And that sounds like a good opportunity to make more water. And maybe take another one hour kip since the weather is atrocious. Climbing sound sounds doable. Climbing down still requires you to be under your weight limit. And being under your weight limit whilst having your necessities and a freaking car battery is hard to do. Right, this is pretty good. We're fairly well rested, all things considered. Uh, how are we doing for weight? Not great, but not terrible, but a lot of that is this even more water that I have. Oh yeah, you could usually mount and go down. Not sure I'd want to chance it on those massive places though, because one slip and the entire game is gone for me. Um, I don't need to drink my birch bark and I don't want to waste my racial tea, so it's rosehip tea. We'll warm one up and we will drink it when we start getting a bit chilly out there and it'll give us a nice warm up bonus as well. How are we on torches? As usual, I have a lot of them. Fine by me. And where am I going? Might be a better question. I guess over in that direction, there's some kind of hay... hay silo? But beyond that, there's a bridge that leads over to Milton proper. And from there, I want to head north and... Um, make my way out of there. Because our goal is not to be in Milton, funnily enough. Milton is just our way through as we head over to Hushed River Valley. I'm quite excited about getting to Ash River Valley. Uh, oh, right. I have taken too much from the fire, given it too little in return. Good fire, though. You served me extremely well. Even if I did dump more coal than I should have on you. Let's get moving. Feels like minus ten. Yeah, that's the benefit of going out in the best time of day. Late afternoon, early evening. The temperature is at its warmest. That's not taking into account any blizzards or snowfall or wind. Right now there's a modest amount of wind and of course there's snowfall. But it's not blizzarding. 
relatively warm. And when I drink my tea, our warmth is going to fall even slower. The reason I'm waiting on that is because the tea itself will give a big health, uh, hefty bonus. Wow, I could let the deer over here and add all I could eat venison buffet. Which sounds great. Any special loot in Hush River Valley? There should be a guaranteed magnifying lens. Hello, rope. It's way too far away to consider bringing to the shop. And I don't think I need a mountaineering rope anywhere in Hush River Valley. But it's good to remember that it's there. In fact, that's not very conspicuous there, is it? Um, it's conspicuous enough. I'm sure I'll remember it's there. Otherwise, anything else in these barns? Looks like a no. Looks like a no. I'm not being super thorough with it, because ultimately this trip is to get one thing, and that one thing is the magnifying lens. I have heard tale of lots of... Is that a... Is that a moose or a... It's got big antlers, but it's not as huge as a, uh, a moose, right? So it must just be a deer. Because moose is huge. Uh, right. Let's drink our lovely hot tea. This will bring back all of our warmth, satiates us on damn near everything, and gives us a warming up bonus. The sun setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Yeah, well, soon is not now, Shepard. Keep moving. A stag. Thank you. Oh, wind's picking up. Don't like that. That's windy enough to blow up the torch. Got so much for best time of day. I don't even know where I can take shelter from here. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, is it going to be a proper blizzard? Because I wouldn't like that, funnily enough. I don't know where I can take shelter in Milton, actually. There's a cave, but it's a bit away from where I'm trying to go. And of course we can't take shelter in any of these buildings. That would be against the ironclad rules of outer loping. Not to mention, starting a fire next to a car is incredibly risky in itself. I can still pop in the cars if I feel like it. Still cold as sin. How in the world is it minus 37 inside this car? That's a fat lot of nothing in here, sadly. Right, I need to actually think about where I'm going here. Because there's almost nothing I can use for shelter unless I carry on through to the cave. And I really don't want to. I know that cave because I used it in the episodic content. But I don't really have anywhere else to take shelter for a while. It's grim as all hell. What a way to find Milton. Feels like minus 23 outside, feels like minus 18 inside. Oh, well that made coming into this car worthwhile. Fresh new set of matches. We're adding it to the collection, but it feels good having lots of matches, I tell ya. Right, that's the Milton post office, I think. Get through my hands. I know, it's called Shepherd. More news at 11. Hey, this actually looks like a decent place shelter from wind, right? Might not be the worst place to set up a fire and just take shelter inside one of these uh, vehicles whilst we outweigh the, uh, the blizzard. I mean, it's not amazing because the wind can shift direction and murder my fire, but for now, I think I'm going to take the opportunity rather than make my way over to the cave. Now, we've been scuppered by this before, so wait, what the... What happened to my f what happened to my torch? Too cold to think. Uh, what? Well, there's a couple of matches down the drain. So much for being protected from the wind. Can I get in this car? Yes. Okay. We seem to be quite protected from the wind here, right? Don't screw me again. Yeah, that's better. Alright, I'm gonna set this fire down right about here, I think. Actually, why not just use the corner rather than the car? Mm. I don't know, this seems like it'd be pretty safe. 
yeah, matches are extremely limited in the game, especially when you're outer loping. And that was two of them gone. Even though it said we were protected from the wind, just blew them right out. Right. It worked. Not the world's worst conditions out here, but I'm still going to chuck on a bit of coal and a few sticks. Or maybe... I don't want to invest too much in this fire in case the wind changes direction and blows it clean out, but it should be protected from a majority of the angles that the wind could blow. Right, can I be warm in here? Yeah, I like the look of that. Let's change the uh, check the blue box over here, and I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to take a one-hour kip. Although it's going to get quite a bit colder, quite a bit faster than I imagine. So actually, I'll probably throw on this firewood just to improve the temperature a bit whilst I take my one-hour kip. It's important to sleep a lot, I believe, because it's like, can I be warmer if I'm closer over this way? Is there a proximity to the fire thing it cares about here? Anyway, it feels like a decent temp, so let's sleep for an hour. Yeah, I'm right bang in the center of Mountain Town, Angevin. Milton. Okay, fire's still going. We're still warm. Blizzard is still going. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a blizzard and not just a, a horrible windy situation. Since I'm only doing this an hour at a time, it's a great opportunity to cook some water. It'd be a great opportunity to read, actually, but you know my thoughts on reading. Hope you plundered the bank. Why would I plunder the bank? We're outer loping, Angevin. I suppose I could plunder it and not use anything at Oh, Jesus, right, the blizzard did change direction. Although this is still apparently safe from the wind. Still killed my fire, though. Am I safe from the fire here? Kind of. Not appreciating the hypothermic risk here, game. Not appreciating the blizzard altogether, but I should be safe. Well, let's go and waste another match, shall we? What the hell? <laughs> I'm sheltered from the wind and it's just blowing it clean out? I don't know what to make of this. Hmm, it's just killing my matches. Zack had that as well. It looked like the fire always blew out when the wind direction changed, even if it was sheltered the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Wind blows the fire. Right, look at the top center of the screen. That icon means you are sheltered from the wind. And you can tell the wind chill was barely doing anything for us here. Even so, it's blowing out my fire. I'm wasting a match in the process. Which I don't appreciate. Um, what the heck do I do? I suppose I could get up and move to the other side of this building where I will de definitely, definitely be free of the free of the wind here, right? There's no way I couldn't be free from the wind here. There we go. Slightly more like it. Uh, uh, oh, it just immediately changed direction. Right in my face. Okay, right. Yeah, screw blizzards. I wasn't safe here the last time I did this. Don't forget your cans, Jay. That's a good point. I do not want to forget my cans. A hypothermic risk is building and my uh, health is going down quite a bit right now. I'm starting to wish I'd just bo uh, booked it for the cave. I wonder if there's any better cover available around here. Like sneaking my way into one of these pipes. 
Does this work? Could I start a fire in here? Perhaps not. Alright, how about this? This is surely, purely safe from the elements. I can't believe I just wasted so many matches. Thank god we found more here, but yeah, I think you're right about the old match god. Staying with me. Let's keep you a little closer, shall we? Well, there's a bar barn that I was in, but it's a bit of a jaunt back. The cave would be closer and give me more things, but I just want to, I just want to wait this out here, because once the storm has been and gone, I need to continue my way north to get to Hush River Valley. Which, funnily enough, will be a better place to deal with blizzards, because there's more natural places for me to go and stay. Feels like minus 24. Shove on a bit of coal, shove on a handful of sticks. Make water and sleep. I'll sleep and hope that this wind doesn't change direction again, which would be a real kick in the face. Feels like minus one. That's fine, it'll get better. Got one of them, but the other can I did not. Oof, Jing's nasty wind. Well rested at least. You cannot start a friction fire. Although, would you call a fire striker friction fire? No, it's more of a chemical reaction. The only way to start a fire is with matches, the magnifying lens, or the fire striker. Uh, that's not true, there are also flares. I could light this flare and use it to start a fire, but that's a waste of a flare, and flares are a limited resource. They don't even wash up in this game. Right. I don't have any books or things I could read, do I? Nah, who packs books for this kind of journey? We found a book on practical gunsmithing, but I left it behind because I really didn't think it was necessary. Um, also considering repairing any of my clothes. Oh, didn't I have some clothes here? Maybe it got destroyed? I'm tempted to fix up this raggedy wool sweater given how low we are on clothes in general. <laughs> there are no actions to be done with crampons, that's interesting. Right, repairing you takes an hour 26 and might not even work. But I should probably do it. How am I on cloth? Very, very, very bad. I have one. Um. Uh, well, they're gonna do it anyway. Sam. Got a few better things to do. Don't fail now. Uh, it failed at any 85% chance and wasted the cloth. But of chaos. Right, I'm going to sleep for one more hour, I reckon, and then get moving. Because it's still pretty damn grim out there. But I want to be as well rested as I actually... Do I? I mean, I could just get moving and rest at the next good place that I find. This is a pretty good place, though. Uh, there's a cave where I won't even need a fire, actually, so I will make use of this fire while I have it. More water. More water. One hour kit. Ah, uh, man, cloth is just so hard to come by an outer loper. Although we did find four earlier, it's going to take a four hour commitment in the bloody cold to, to grab it, though. Cloth is just not even a consideration on regular interloper because any building to tear down their curtains or their towels or whatnot, and you'll have all the cloth you could ever want. It's 
there anything over here? No. But what about the car? I do like checking cars. Especially after we found some matches in the previous one. Anything in the back seats? I'm always a little too slow on checking the back. That's good. Let's open the trunk thanks to our pry bar. Uh, there's absolutely nothing. Pop the hood just so we know we've checked the car. And I'll probably check the vehicle over here as well. Nothing in the back. No batteries. Pretty hard to see in here, isn't there? There could be something on the floor or elsewhere that I'm just not seeing. What's the difference between a red and a blue flare? Uh, the blue ones deal enormous damage to the morale of Timberwolves and just generally scares animals off better, I believe. Right, I took a bit of condition damage out there, so all the more reason to have a lovely warm cup of birch bark tea. I'll even prepare another birch bark tea. Uh, actually, there's very little point in doing that, is there? I'll... There's no real point in preparing another cup of tea. I'll just grab torches and go. Good torches. I ain't no torch pleb. The torch aficionado, really. And, and uh, people were asking earlier, how do you tell a good torch from a bad torch? I just look at the bottom right of the screen. There's a bar there. The more white there is, the better the condition of the torch. Just drink this straight up. Put my condition back. I also kind of lost my bearings earlier when I was running around in that blizzard. Fortunately, Milton is a very easy place to understand. Grey Mother's house is there, the post office is here, the bank is there. And since I want to go to the cave up north, I go this way. Dog wants to come and make my acquaintance. He's not going to be a problem since we have fire. Not going to be a problem since I have fire. Oh, I think he's going for a... He is going for a rabbit. That's fine, I'll just let him have his... Oh, there's a car battery there, but let's ignore that. I think I hear another one of them, but that's fine. Just let them... Let them chew down. I think we got the one good vehicle early on. I don't even stink because I've eaten most of the meat that I had on me. So the wolves shouldn't be able to detect me from far away. And again, even if they do, I have fire. Is that wind blowing up? Oh god. <laughs> spare me, game. Spare me. Dog houses fine for Outer Loper. We can't fit inside one. You ever climbed inside a doghouse? It's kind of cozy. There was an old King of the Hill episode about it. I cannot believe how many matches I wasted in Milton. Still came out positive thanks to what we found in the glove compartment, but still not a pleasant outcome for me. We'll take our racial tea at first light. That's how I'm keeping track of my daily doses. Kind of difficult to keep good track of that when you don't have a good sleeping schedule, but we try. Don't you smell wolfskin v cloaks? Quite the opposite. Uh, the wolfskin coats I'm wearing have a chance to scare off uh, a wolf who's trying to attack me. going for me? Of course not. There's never anything inside something that you have to pry bar open. It's a very strange and malicious thing that the game devs have done. Add things that can be only opened with a pry bar and put nothing in them. I can get behind that though. Now that's not true. There are things in them but I don't think I have ever found an item inside a pry barable uh, object.
That's getting real cold real fast, though. Even inside this car, with a fire, it feels like minus 11. Alright, that, that means I'm going to pick up the pace. Time to run. Um, keep my eye open for more racial tea ingredients, because we're going to be drinking a lot of that stuff. <laughs> Ignore that car battery, that doesn't exist. No way I'm kidding. No way I'm dragging it down to my shop. Ooh, ooh, well, that was an excellent find. Not because of the clothes. The clothes... Well, actually, the clothes weren't even that bad. But uh, for me, pretty much all clothes I find are just cloth. The only exception would be another undershirt or some uh, under trousers. Escape this cold. Long johns, if you will. Those I will happily repair and wear because there's a lot of temperature bonus you can get out of wearing the thermal undies. Does the shop need a noisemaker for the grand opening party? You'd have to find a blueprint in black rock. Yeah, see, I was wondering. I'd heard about noisemakers, but I didn't see um, see them on the crafting menu. However, I I am pretty sure that there is a what's the word? A memento cache that contains noisemakers. What's up, Fido? You want some of this? I bet you do. But the problem for you is that I'm too damn good. He, was, uh, he wasn't even scared of my bow. He was scared of my, uh, my wolf coat thing. That's convenient. Gives me an opportunity to put some distance on him. Oh, right, we're getting cold. But the cave isn't too far away. So we're going to just book it for the cave. Welcome back from Japan. Had fun? I certainly had fun. Although it wasn't a fun trip like a trip to Florida was, I was scouting around the place seeing whether or not I'd want to live there. The answer is yeah, but Hungary's better. Hungary's cheaper, Hungary's closer to a lot of things that I want to be close to. Namely, other European countries. Oh, wrong torch, but we'll use it anyway. Most of my torches by this point are great torches anyway. Got to expend at some point. Flesh running's eaten into my calories, but I have meat and cattails, and I don't think food is going to be a problem in Hushed River Valley. The main problem in Hushed River Valley is going to be finding my way around. Hey, look, another bit of potential food. I don't think I'll take the advantage, though. I don't want to waste a fire on you. Although there's nothing saying I have to, I'll still forgo this opportunity. You might notice that my maximum health is getting worse and worse. It was already going down, or rather, it had already gone down by 20% thanks to the double frostbite we got, which I'm still a little miffed at the game for, because the reason we have that is because a dog no-clipped through a wall and tore off my trousers. But uh, I'll try not to bring that up at every opportunity. Uh, my max health is still decreasing, though, because of the parasites. And the parasites will continue to drop it down by 1% every day. Well, I had enough of Sweden about five years ago. It's still unfortunate that I remain here. But I won't forever. Okay, you know, wouldn't it be a waste of fire for those bunnies? I have fire on me right now. I could still go and grab those bunnies and eat them inside here. They were quite close by, but I'm already passing through here. I'm sure it'll be okay. I have sources of calories. It'll soon be daytime, so I'll sleep till then. I'll certainly grab all the coal I can find. I didn't actually know that it was a cave that connects Hush River Valley to Mountain Town. But this is convenient because this cave is a source of respawning coal. That's right, don't let certain individuals shape your fragile mind. Coal is an infinite resource. Every ten days or so, it'll respawn in a mine in That'll come in handy. Uh, finite quantities. And finite, low quantities. I think from our earlier testing we get about ten coal. Ten coal every ten days doesn't sound like a lot, but after a while you don't need constant fires in this game, and even if you want your fire, you can mag lens them. And one bit of coal and a handful of sticks is usually enough to offset any horrible temperature-related troubles you have. Let's 
we know sticks sticks are very plentiful jake why do you choose hungary well i like it it's one of the few uh, countries i've been to where the capital city doesn't Heavy. fill me with disgust i really like budapest the area in balaton that i saw i really like the country is cheap uh the people from what i could tell were rather nice yeah my kind of place right dare i stick my nose out just to see what's happening out here this should be me in Hush River Valley. Hopefully it's not so windy it doesn't insta-give my torch. It does not. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to change my map over to Hush River Valley because I am very unfamiliar with this area. Very, very unfamiliar. The clever thing to do is to sleep for a while, though. What's the problem with Paris? Wait, I know. Well, I've never been to Paris, but I bet if I was in Paris, I wouldn't be in love with it. Uh, I don't think I need this fire for anything. I'm just going to eat my venison, drink up, and sleep as long as I can. Because it's definitely warm enough in here. And I'm certain we'll find some more venison as we go around, so I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. I wanted to harvest that for its precious stick. Come to me. There we go. I'll harvest that and do any other kind of harvesting that can be done. For example, tearing up those clothes I found. Even though this toque is decent, it's nowhere near as the toque I already have, nor the hat that I have, so I will just harvest you for very precious cloth. Paris has a lot of problems. Expensive, the transit full of Parisians, surrounded by French, full of tourists, not a fan of the English speakers. Right. You as well, you're not very good. So, harvest you go, go. That's two opportunities to try to repair my, uh, my crummy t-shirt. Tempting to take them, but I'll pass for now. Drink water and sleep for as long as possible. When I wake up, I take another racial tea, and then we get moving. You wanna, you wanna go down anywhere in my bed? Uh, should be no problem if I just sleep for as long as possible. You wake up fully rested in interloper settings anyway. Wait, maybe that's not true with stomach parasites. Maybe we're going to sleep the full eight hours. Oh, I think we did. Whoops. Okay, let's keep that in mind then. Stomach parasites, in a way, is a good thing, I guess. That should be our sixth dose. Yeah, there we go. Only 14 doses remaining. That was a bit of wasted time, but let's not worry about it. Yeah, my inner friends are a little too friendly for my liking. Right, how cold is it? Very cold, minus 17. Right, let's get moving. There are two places that I know I want to check. One is along there. Can I go there? Also, what's with my slow movement? Crouch, am I? Well, at least this cave is here if the need arises. Oh, there is no way in heck I'm getting up there. Right, how do I how do I best get up there then? Hmm. Hmm, he says. How do I get up there? Well, let me consider my options here. Um, um, um. A bit more um I think to get up there you need to follow a specific way or perhaps hang on hang on hang on I, can, I actually kind of remember something about this from my dark walking experience there was that horrible rope I had to climb and for the life of me I could not but there's an alternative way around through some broken down trees so what does that tell us what indeed does that tell us? Uh, oh, hang on, there's also ice caves. Which one goes to which, though? Does one of them take us out there? If I had to guess, Y goes to Z? 
A goes to B and C, maybe? Oh, but there is X, Y, and Z, isn't there? Right, I reckon if I just carry on straight down, down the trees, down even more trees into a watery area, I might be able to climb a rope up to the place where I'm trying to get to, which is Mysterious Signal fly, uh, Fire. I've been there once before. There's a bunch of loot and probably a, well, probably by now broken down uh, snow shelter there. If not for the parasites, constant looming threat of starvation and bear attacks, this game looks nice. Uh, if you want to do away with that, there is just um, Voyager mode, I believe it's called. What does it go? Voyager, Stalker... Um, I think I'm missing something there. Anyway, there's four main difficulty options and custom difficulties as well, so... If this is the kind of game that you want to enjoy without the stress of being hunted or starving to death, you can just put it on to Voyager setting and enjoy yourself. What comes after the long dark, Jake? You mean stream-wise? This is all I've got planned for today, because I'm probably going to want to sleep a lot tonight. But if you mean in streaming in general, I don't know. I need to consult my list of games and start getting some regular campaigns up and on the go again. Jeez, it is cold. Even under all these animal skins, it's a real pain to be losing condition so fast. Oh, it's a real pain to lose all this... Uh, height so fast as well. But I do remember coming up here to evade the Dark Walker. But there is pain in Caesar 3. Uh, actually, I loaded it up, looked at it, and, and I just kind of thought I really don't want to play this because it just looked like such an enormous amount of pain to play. I might still give it a go, but there is this looming feeling of... When John created his latest batch of maps, someone must have just pissed all over his cornflakes that day, because the running theme is, here's a bunch of maps that are horrible to play. Well, that's not true. They're not horrible to play, but they certainly contain sadistically painful elements to them. Right, I'm already getting hypothermic. Hey, it's my friend the bear. Let's try and skirt around him. There is a bear. Does he have a warm cave for me nearby? Blue bear can't hear my tummy rumbling. We're not going to go and say hi to the bear. Tempting though it may be. I will get a little close. Oh, he turned around, didn't he? Right, well, maybe I won't get a little closer. I wanted those sticks, but I don't want them that badly. Feels like minus 13. Alright, so it is getting warmer, which is nice. But warmer isn't warm. There's the rope I'm looking for. Right. So my grand master plan is to ascend up this rope. And hopefully not get too tired in doing so. Oh, but I'm going to get very tired in doing so. I can already feel that. Um, um, and, um, and, um, well, to hell with it. Thank you, crampons. Don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, I seem to recall being halfway up this rope, then completely tired and frozen, and a dark walker was under me, and I put down the, uh, I put down the spray that would slow him down, but then went out of its distance. Oh, there was just no end to the horrible things happening in that run. Game so cold, I could actually just wait here a bit. It's a little tempting actually to, like, start a fire and take a quick nap here. Um, but it's probably better just to finish the ascent while we're good. I will get knackered, but there should be an ice cave nearby that I can go and sleep in and warm up in. It might seem weird, the idea of warming up in an ice cave, but ice is a great insulator, you know? Yeah, wind direction is taken into account, and uh, I believe it's taken into account for being smelt as well. I have not tested it. There's a lot of things in this game I haven't tested. I just need to take other people's advice on. Lots of crows, but right now priority one is warming up. So I'm going to grab these sticks, hug this right wall, and hopefully find an ice cave. Well, this is a cave. It looks like an ice cave. So I'll just take this opportunity to warm up inside the... Uh, 
suspiciously warm ice cave. I hope it's suspiciously warm. Hey, oh my god, it's boiling in here. This is the hottest ice cave I've ever seen. And I can start fires in the ice cave. That is also good. Um, I don't know if there's anything to hunt up here. something to eat. Lots of sticks. Sticks are good. I can barely see, but I don't want to waste my precious fuel lantern burning this place. What I was interested in is if there was any... God, we are getting hungry. I was interested if there were any... Mm, if there was any coal in here. I don't think I want to climb down just yet. I'll be doing that when I leave this area, perhaps. But it'll be a while before I want to leave this area. I'm just taking this opportunity to warm up more than anything. I'm gonna Firewood. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's something here. Looks like it. No, it's just a something here looking rock. I mean, the firewood's not a bad find, but... Oh, well... I was wondering if there was coal in here, and there is. I just needed to illuminate the way. Well, that's excellent if this coal respawns. I wander around with this lantern a bit then, just in case there were other mysterious things in here that I missed. God, it is tempting to climb down there. God knows what's in here, but I shall relent. There's nothing wrong with sending links in chat. Do so responsibly. I have to say, on my first playthrough I found a magnifying glass, but food is a real problem. Thinking of starting new, save and train some stone throwing on rabbits, otherwise I will starve. Yeah, there's something to be said for being able to maul rabbits from a distance. They're not calorifically dense, but at least it's food. How overweight am I? quite a bit. I should probably rest. I think I'll rest for about two hours. Just while the going is good. Warms me right up and makes me a bit more alert for moving around here. Once I've checked this place out, I'll probably come staggering back to the ice cave just because of how nice this place is for... Um, put this somewhere prominent. That's prominent enough. How nice this place is just for staying warm. I don't like having to rely on making fires. Anything else I can ditch around here, especially flammables? Yeah, see, look at that. Look at all that coal. Who needs this much coal? Drop the coal. Drop the fur firewood. Drop the. Uh, I could eat a horse. Drop that. Oh, I'm certainly dropping that skills book. Why am I still carrying that? Okay, so now my carry limit increased quite a bit. Let's see if we can hunt ourselves some dinner, or just find some dinner. That'd be nice as well. Uh, it's cold, but it's not agonizingly cold. I don't want to go over that way too much, but there might be something around here. I have my cattails if I get truly starving, but the cattails are kind of a last resort. I want to eat meat. Cattails never go off, and they're... I don't actually know if cattails are cal calorific calorifically dense or not. The neighbor is taking the opportunity to do a bunch of drilling right now. I hope that you can't hear it. So noise suppression is there for Ooh, this looks good. This stuff will come in here. Oh, amazing, a stem. Antibiotics also amazing. Tomato soup, don't really care. Oh, I uh, thought there were two bits of uh, wood there, just one. That was a great find, an emergency stim. We now have two. One we can't use because it's in the store, but my goal is to have four in my pharmaceutical area of my store. And since we previously used three just to live... There's a rabbit over there. Yeah, since I already used three earlier, um, I've been feeling the burn on stims lately. 
Cattails have good calorific density, so that's what I like to hear. Right. That's a rabbit. I want more rabbit. I want every rabbit. Oh, oh, wait, there's a wolf up here? Oh, you're a wolf! Whoops, okay, never mind then. <laughs> I had no idea. Alright, wolf friend. Uh, come and have a go. Thank you. Come again. I'll carve you up later, I thought. Actually, it's really stopping me just starting a fire here now, and... Yeah, food is a bit of an issue, so I will spend the match. It should last for a good while, but here anyway. It's not that cold, so it wouldn't even take much to warm up. Both skills probably at level 2 or 3, we'll check it out in a moment. But the truth is I'm just a good archer. I used to do archery back in university. <laughs> for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> I still have my bow, though. Right. Turned out pretty well. Away you go. My fingers feel numb. I know. Stop bloody moaning, Shepard. There we go. Go. When in doubt, always make water. Make water. Yeah, I don't really do RTSs. <laughs> not not the world's biggest fan. Thanks. Uh, I'll probably just take off a couple small shavings. Uh... Nah, give me give me what you're made of, wolf friend. Also, I can hear the right hear the wind whipping up. Now is not the time, wind. Take it, take it. Cook her up. Cook her up. I still have uh, 200 calories in my belly, so... Oh, I do not like what's happening with that wind. Uh, nibble on a cattail, just in case. But otherwise, this is keeping me... Oh, it's not, not keeping me very warm at all. A few more sticks. I do actually want to be warm here. Barbing you up. All I can think about is food. Yeah, so if you have long play ideas, I do actually have a long play submission form, and there's no favoritism there. You submit a promising looking game, and uh, I will, in all likelihood, dive into it. And I very much welcome new additions to the list. Right, too hungry. I'm gonna eat wolf meat immediately. No risk of parasites because we're just so damn good. At cooking, at least. That's all the wolf meat I have. Where's the good big ones? You and you. You're the next big one. You less so. Uh... Gonna take a torch and explore a bit. I don't need Wolfie's guts or his body, but I might take it anyway. Jesus, it's cold out there. Forget that. Forget that plan. <laughs> I want to stay warm. Well, warmer. Don't want to dump sticks here in case this wind blows out my fire, though. Tell you what, though, I could could pass some time just scooping out guts. Nobody ever went poor having extra guts in this game. I had no idea that there'd be wolves up here. I'm surprised, but I'm kind of happy surprised about it. Feels like night is coming. Yeah, time to look for shelter, right? Still 13 minutes on you. Oh, here comes that wind. Yeah, there goes my campfire. I can't add any... Right. Um... Can I light you? Nope. No, I cannot. The fire might last long enough to cook these, though. It's possible. Uh, because outdoor fires last longer than the time shows. Oh, if that's the case, then might be able to get that birch bark tea warmed up in time. Gib, gib. Uh, I'll just drop it here for now. I'm going to drink this tea to warm up and get the warming up bonus. I'm going to explore over there. I'll bring this stuff over to the, um, the 
Cave of Wonders. Better make it quick now. At least that uh, warming up bonus will keep the chill at bay for a wee bit. And you might think, oh, that meat you left behind, is someone going to come along and, and have their way with it? Well, no. As best as I can tell, even predatory uh, predatory animals just leave meat and things you leave lying around. They don't eat it. The only exception is if you drop a decoy whilst you're being chased. They do seem to actually go and eat the decoy, and they eat it fast. Oh, the game is, the game is doing nasty things. It's tempting me with all these sticks. It knows I want them, and it's correct. shouldn't have taken so much stuff with me over here. I should have left stuff behind. Didn't realize how tired I am, but I am very tired. Jake, do you consider EA... No, I don't consider early access games at all. Can I just get over this? Oh, apparently not. How much do I have to get down? 23 minutes? Who's got 23 minutes? Are you sure I can't just... Well, I'd need to I need to go around you anyway, wouldn't I? On the way back, can't find um, my feet. back and go over you. I was here once before, actually. I went up and over, but I ended up stuck on the other side because those scrub brushes still block your exit. But I can take them out if the need arises. And there is a cave over here to rest up and warm up in, I believe. The EA exceptions have been the exceptions that prove the rule. To my knowledge, it was just Rimworld and uh, Factorio, and I'm not even sure about the Rimworld part. Right. Cave. No bear. Ooh. What do we have, though? Firewood. Lots of coal. A heck of a lot of coal. Well, this is nice. And what's very nice is that it's warm at the back of here as well. Unfortunately, no corpses or anything to loot, but I'll take this. Take the opportunity to warm up back here. Might even just take a nap while we're at it. Especially since it's so horrible and windy out there. And I'm so overburdened. Could I charcoal the area? Looks like something is sapping my energy. Oh! Kind of bad, actually. Alright, Shepard, take a two hour kit. Mm, two hours? Two hours. It's plenty warm at the back here. Yeah, Zomboid looks like a great game. I want to play it, but I'm going to wait until it's fully out. If the game looks good in EA, then I'll wait for it to come out and be even better when it's all done. That's my logic. That's logic I stick to. It's done me well so far. I really don't like playing EA games. Even if the game itself is good, just the experience of doing an EA game... I'm not the world's biggest fan of it. Maybe I should just sleep here till morning time. It's grimbo out there. And we are exceptionally tired. Give us another cheeky two hours. Do it two hours, two hours at a time just in case, I don't know, Blizzard ends up being absurdly cold. I know, I know it's arbitrary fry heights, but still what I do. You think Zomboid will ever come out of here? Yeah, in the staggering year of 2080. Okay, well, I'm glad we have this cave here. I'm less glad that I didn't take my food over with me, though. Ah, we've got one tin of tomato soup and a bunch of cattails. Breakfast mm -hmm. of champions. Uh, okay, game. It's pretty bloody grim out there. Also... What did I say about it being warm enough in here? It isn't. Even inside my bedroll, I would be losing temperature. In fact, it's getting colder, not warmer. That's pretty bad. But I certainly don't want to be out in that blizzard. It's not a huge temperature loss, but it's still higher than I want it to be. 
If the uh, wind could just stay off my back. I'm surprised how well this bow is holding out. I think when it drops below 20% it has a chance of breaking on each use. Don't want to waste a match starting a fire in here. Might not have much of a choice soon though. How cold is it on the not outside part of it inside? Oh, it's got us by 36 over there. Don't want to waste match, but don't want to freeze half to death. Could we fix up some of our clothes over oh, the bedroll? Get it. Oh, right. So fixing up the bedroll would be great because it's low condition and we get a bigger temperature boost. But repairing it requires two bits of cloth, and it still has a 15% chance of failure. It also takes an aeon. It's all pretty bad, is what I'm saying. And nibble on some cattails to keep myself sane for a bit. I was just hoping this blizzard would have passed, but it's... It's a serious, serious one. Right. Uh, I'm just going to pass time for a little bit then. I'll be honest, I was hoping that whilst I passed the time, the uh, blizzard would end and the temperature would increase. Neither of these things appear to be happening. I might have to start a fire in here even though I don't want to. Where does the temperature get really sad and horrible at? Not yet quite tell, but... It's minus 28 here. Minus 56 there, right, okay. Over you go. Get me a fire here. What's the difference between a normal bedroll and a bare bedroll? Bare bedroll is much warmer, considerably heavier, and uh, degrades slower. It also detracts. Uh, doesn't detract. Um, discourages animals from attacking you. Right, uh, for firewood and a bunch of sticks, and that should be us warming up shortly. We'll take the opportunity, as I often do, to make some water. Oh, right, let's keep the bedroll on us. It degrades every time it's out in the open like that. So this is one of those funny campfires that if I get close to it, my temperature actually goes down. There's an invisible wall here that makes the bay the cave indoors and outdoors. And if I stay on the indoor side, I get the ambient temperature bonus. So you might think, why not take the campfire to the indoors part? Because a campfire burns longer if it's considered outdoors, and this one is. Now, I think it's a pretty terrible mechanic. Well, no, it's a good mechanic. It's a, it's a way to pay you a bit for the risk of starting a campfire in an unpleasant place. Because outdoors it can blow out. Or if you're enjoying outdoorsiness, you're usually enjoying worse temperatures, so a longer campfire would counteract that. But it's not displayed in the game at all. I didn't even know it was a thing until well, quite a way into even this play, I believe. Yeah, and it's not shown correctly. This campfire says it's going to last for about three hours. But if I were to sleep here for three hours it would still be burning for another while. Okay, go figure. We start all this and then the and then the blizzard dies down. It's still cold as arse out there though. Anything I can do to pass the time. I'm not gonna eat this tomato soup. Well I actually kinda want to. I might eat the tomato I might warm up and eat the tomato soup actually. Because it's not doing me any real favours here. And I don't need it for the shop. I mean, I, I need it for the shop, but there's a lot of um, things like that to be had back in uh, back in closer areas, which I can loot from indoors. As long as it's for the shop, I can loot indoors. That's the rule. Also, it's daytime, so I'll cook myself up some racial tea. Uh, actually, I say that. I kind of want both of these, but... Ah, what the hell. Give me that tomato soup. Yum, yum, yum. Give me the racial tea. Yeah, get rid of the... That should have been our eighth dose. 
Hey. Uh, or was it seven? I don't know. Did that actually go up? I should have checked beforehand, shouldn't I? But I didn't. Nobody needs more than two cans. So give us that. Give me a torch. Let's go and explore a bit, Hobbs. Oh, it still looks quite windy. Is my torch going to survive? No, definitely not. Did I see something move there? I think I did. A okay, torch that I have lit. I'm going to drop you. I'm going to equip my stone of plus three precision. The, op the angle is awkward, but... When you're this good, you don't need to see. Pet the bunny. Pet the bunny. Bunnies out there. Where are they? Oh, oh. Oh, that's not a bunny. It's just a bunny looking stick. I think I see more bunny. No, that's not bunny either. Where's a bunny at? That death cry was a warning to all other bunny kinds, and now they're staying away from me. Hello. I'm going to take these two um, to let dry out inside the cave. Every birch sapling is three more arrows. What the bunnies at? I'm certain I had more of them scarpering around. You guys notice them with your clearly brilliant vision? You keep going on about it. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Shepherd, just try and find an elevated position to hunt the rabbits from. Okay, I seem to climb up that. One went by and you killed the other. Yeah, I noticed that. That's why I'm wondering where it went to. Maybe it went around the other side. Well, whilst I'm already here, even though I'm cold a bit, let's go and explore what there is here. There's this mysterious signal fire. Never felt so cold in my life. It doesn't actually warm you up whatsoever, but it is there. There's a shelter here, a snow shelter. I would actually like to tear it apart, but uh, I'm too cold for that. The reason I want to tear it apart is that it probably has cloth. Oh, yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh, double yoink. I need another hammer for my shop. I think that's good. I think that's great. Oh, that's even better. Oh, wait, what? Okay, well, let's not ask questions. Let's just... Ah, crap. The coat is... Looks like I made it through another night. It's heavy, but it's two bits of cloth. People would flay me alive for harvesting that, but uh, wolf skin is better. Uh, peaches. Ooh, moose meat. Don't mind me, I'll take that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's a shame it takes too long, but yes. Okay, let's get back to our little hidey hole. I want to explore this more, but preferably when I'm warmer. And perhaps a bit more full of rabbity goodness. Come here, Usagi. Oh, that was an awful throw. Alright, though, they can't all be winners. Yeah, so whoever did that fire was able to bring down a moose. Good job of that. What's that rabbit gone to? Oh! Point blank. <laughs> crushed its sweet skull. Well, better make sure it's crushed. Right, we get back to our fire, enjoy some lovely rabbity breakfast. Long play suggestion, long dark, labeled as no, looks at stream sees long dark. <laughs> I am fickle, I'll give you that. Right, still too cold next to this campfire, but... But, but, but... I might just add a couple bits of fur to it. That should warm it up pretty nicely. How much water do I have? A good amount. Right. Gib, gib. What do I, what do I, there's the other rabbit. Ooh, 
do what I am kind of warming up here. I uh, just bang on some coal. I just want the extra warmth. Right. Give me your delicious rabbity bits. Cook up the delicious rabbit. Can't imagine a situation where I need rabbity guts right now. But I might just, for the hell of it, leave behind some guts and stuff here. They don't go off if you just leave um, leave cured rabbit guts and things. It won't they won't degrade outside, thankfully. Which is why I'm thinking, just in the interest of. See, I don't need to do it right now. I could do it late. Well, no, we need we need that uh, that time to pass anyway. So scoop out those guts with the gut scooper. It sounds like a nice pair of gloves. Yes, they do. They also sound like repairs on my nice pair of gut uh, pair of gloves. Holy Fasir Gamer. Uh, not holy. I'm definitely a gamer, though. Let's leave those guts to cure in here. Keeping that moose meat on us. That's some great food. Doesn't show up in the radial menu, because it's awfully spoilt, but... Tastier than we'd expect. Mmm, those pinnacle peaches could also be eaten. And I might actually eat them here. Uh, well, they don't want to show up, but if I drop you and then slam you on here... I'll let them heat up and I'll eat them for the heating up bonus, then I can just get more out of all of this, basically. Mmm, tasty. Right, gut scooper, scoop guts. Show the lens work. Um, I need a clear day for it, but yeah, sure. I shall... I'll take it, but it doesn't seem to want to let me eat them. I think it still says it's ruined, right? Yeah, well, I don't care. Eat it anyway. It won't poison me because we just don't get poisoned. We're that good. Plunk, plunk. Leave the spare one there. Cook more water. Cook more water. I'll leave these rabbits and deal with them later. Leave the guts to cure. Uh, take a torch for the hell of it. It might not be so windy that it dies. Oh, I'm, I'm still so overburdened, right? Since I plan on exploring out there right now, let's just drop some stuff that weighs way too much. Mostly burnables, I'm sure. Like all this blessed coal and all these bleeding sticks. Not all of them, just in case something really terrible happens, but just enough to lighten me up so I can go and have a proper look. Snow shelter collapses very fast. Can't salvage it when it does. Yeah, I do plan on tearing apart that thing for its cloth. Then I'm going to be relatively rich on cloth. The lens does last forever. There's a caveat there. It can get damaged in a bear attack. Maybe a wolf attack. I don't know about that. I forgot to leave behind those saplings. I'll remember that next time. So there is a possibility where you're carrying your lens. A bear mauls you and he breaks the lens. Terrible. But there are multiple lenses. But... Finite. Right, Snow Shelter. Um, yeah, the conditions are actually nice out here. I could just put on a little fire for the hell of it. I can use a magnifying lens, which appears to be at very low condition, so I sure as sugar hope I don't get into a bear fight whilst holding this. But the day is clear, so that's why we're able to start a fire with a magnifying glass. Although the wind just picked up the moment I said that. I wonder if this fucker's going to last. Turned out pretty well. Oh, funnily enough, it will. Right, doesn't matter. I'm here to dismantle this thing. I know I'm getting cold. Don't worry about it. But I really wanted those... Uh, not the sticks, the cloth. Also, I would like to warm up a touch with a tea, but forget it. We have a perfectly f functional, um, I'm so cold. I'm up again. perfectly functional fire back where we are. Ooh. We need those. You cannot repair the lens, I believe. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Can't salvage it. Can't repair it. It's a bit of a shame, but I suppose what what material do I have that could salvage a magnifying lens? Um, I don't actually know. 
It hurts. How could you oh, repair glass goodness. with primitive equipment? Body matches, maybe? Oh, a sewing kit's a big find. Oh, a sewing kit's a real big find. It speeds up a lot of things. Probably going to use that in the bear skin roll. What a lovely place this is. Funnily enough, since we found what we're looking for, there's no real need or even incentive for me to explore further in Hushed River Valley. But I will. We came all this way. There might be some more stuff that we want. And if nothing else, it's going to be rich with the resources to get rid of the, uh, the little friends I have inside my intestines. It could be rich in resources in general. Which is funny a funny thing to say about a place devoid of human life, but in an outer loper run these places are better than places like Mountain Town. Because these places tend to have more caves to take shelter in. But the whole cave system to enjoy around here, if nothing else. Probably gonna take another nap back in the cave. So we're getting guy chilly in here. Uh, oh, it took so long, my water boiled out. That's okay. Make more, make more. Yeah, I kind of need more, actually. Whilst I'm staying warm next to you, uh, for the heck of it, let's tear your skin off with my bare hands. The problem to get it all home past the ropes. Uh, the stuff I find? Definitely. Oh, come on, we just took shelter and I can hear the wind whipping up already. What's causing the red barn fatigue? I've got two do two doses of frostbite that I got after, and I am happy to blame that entirely on that damn wolf attack that no clipped, but yeah. Um, during a trouserless escapade, we took some hefty damage. Okay, so. Saplings are here for the curing, and rabbity bits are here for the curing. God knows when I'd be coming back here or why, but at least I know these goods are here. It would make more sense to drop them off inside the um, the ice cave, and I probably will, but first I need to actually go to the ice cave. Just to wait for this wind to pass by. I think I'll take a nap until then. Nothing else to worry about, and we're plenty warm in here, so... Snoozy snoozy for one hour. Did I just put the water in? Of course I forgot to. Water, water, one hour kit. Hey, it's just one bit of raw meat to give you that affliction on, out, on interloper difficulty. Um, you get intestinal parasites for twice as long as normal. I'll give it some other power kit while the going is good. Oh, good. The, the wind is let up, so this is a good opportunity to head on out. I think I might just take everything from here back to the ice cave. There's no real... Let me think. I can't think of a good reason why I'd want to come back here anyway, as opposed to just going to the ice cave and ditching everything. So yeah, I think I will... Oops. There we go. I think I'll grab everything here and take it to the ice cave. Although, and the fire's still good. I should probably just rest up while the going is good. Can I think of a good reason not to? Yeah, I got some exploring to do, but yeah, we're safe and warm in here, so why not just sleep up all we can? Give me another two hours, Chief. 17 medicine of a non respawnable good sounds awfully high. Thankfully, there's just so many mushrooms in this game that you'd have to play for hundreds and hundreds of days to exhaust your supply of racial mushroom and racial tea. I don't need these two recycled cans, and truth be told, I don't need all this water. We'll see how we are after we take everything else. Boy, be very grateful for the noise suppression, because I had some loud drilling going on. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Feels like my neighbors are always doing some bloody drilling. Well, not going to be my problem for much longer. 
surprisingly fast with all this gear. Let's take torches, uh, good torches. Nice. Uh, I am actually going to drink some tea. Ah, oh, where's my birch bark tea? Actually, no birch bark tea. Hmm. I wonder if. Oh, surely there's birch bark somewhere here in Hush River Valley. Look at this amazing torch luck. And the last one we don't care about, but it's still passable. Do I want this water? I think I do. Alright, pretty, uh, pretty light enough. Cooking skill protects me from parasites, including meat that uh, has been cooked a while ago. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually considerably slower here than I thought. Oh, that's right, I've got the heavy hammer on me, don't I? That'll slow me down for quite a bit. But don't worry about it, it's actually only minus 11, or at least it only feels like minus 11, so we should make some good headway here. Actually, wait, where's that moose meat? Oh, I can only eat it from the menu. Um, there we go, ruined like moose meat, gear. but it's cooked, so down the hatch it goes. That spares me a kilo, and we're a bit better now. Silly shepherd. And you'd think just by feeling the meat he'd notice that it was uncooked. Or even one bite into it, he wouldn't need to swallow. He'd go, oh, this is raw, but nope. Shepherd was so hungry he chugged down a whole kilo of meat before noticing that it was raw. I want to preserve the fire, and I don't trust this is going to last long enough to hack through this. So I throw you down, grab a decent torch, it's 47% should do light you off of you, and then hack our way through with our hatchet. Uh, whoops. Well, that's unpleasant. That is hypothermically unpleasant. Blizzard took an immense opportunity to come on in. Wow. Fortunately, we're in a pretty linear area, so even I shouldn't get lost here. I don't need those sticks. Do not jeopardize your position with some sticks. Have you played Max Payne 2? I've not played a Max Payne game, no. The housemate loved them. Right. Dead ahead should be the ice cave. No way I could get lost, right? I certainly lost both those fires. This, bl this blizzard out of bleeding nowhere. And that's how the game goes. At least I'm protected from the worst of the wind. With the worst of the wind. Still said the wind chill is minus uh, minus 30 something when I'm out in it. Yeah, minus 32 wind chill. No wonder that hypothermic risk is growing fast. It's still the best time of day though. Late afternoon. Lovely warm time of day for us. I'm just going to drag all this crap to the ice cave and uh, rest up there while the going is good, if the going is indeed good. I've got a CD from a friend. I don't want it, so it's free if you like. I, I don't don't send me CDs, please. I don't I don't like having physical media. Well, this is unpleasant. Oh, but here's a good sign. That's the wolf and the wolf meat that I left behind. That tells me I'm going in the right direction. I'm going to grab a cheeky wolf meat or two. I'm going to take his guts as well. Certainly going to take these feathers. Yeah, I know we're freezing to death and it's a blizzard, but trust me, the going is good because the ice cave is right over here. even going to take the opportunity to get these so that I can have a tea type that isn't my beloved racial tea. It's okay, it's okay. Now we're standing out in the freezing cold, but it's fine. My poor clothes won't be liking this. Clothes take a lot of decay damage when out in a blizzard. 
It's not a lovely day, Chumro. The ambient temperature is minus 40. Never mind the wind chill. Which we're safe from here, and we're super safe from in here. There we go. Should warm up like crazy in here. Ah. Clothes got a bit wet, but they should dry out here because the temperature feels quite a bit better. And now I have a lot of stuff to dump. Screw this book. Uh, any firewood to dump? I got a little bit here. A veritable mountain of coal to drop. I'll keep, uh... Mm, keep, I'll keep four of them on me, the rest can go up here. Actually, it's probably not the best idea to keep it up here, since this isn't where I'd need them, is it? I'd need them further in and down. Let me have a look at the map and consider where I'm even going to. I think going down and out here will take me at the Y point. And I do plan on exploring a fair bit of Hushed River Valley while I'm here. Um, yeah, if I bring it down, the stuff I have will be in a much easier to locate position. Even so, I'm very heavy right now and I should definitely be dumping stuff while I can. Oh god, how do I end up with so many sticks? Stick crazy. I can happily dump 46 of them here. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully the game doesn't shake this moment to decide it wants to despawn my stuff. Got more walker than I need. By a good long way. Mag lens makes the torch economy a lot easier. I can still use matches if I feel the need to, but I don't feel the need to. Do I want to do any repair jobs or destruction jobs? There's something to be said for repairing my bedroll at this point. But there's something even more to be said for repairing this poor raggedy sweater thing. And I can use my sewing kit to get it done extra fast, but I'll take things slow because there's a blizzard out there anyway. Did I immediately fail that at 85%? I think I did. Please stop failing. There we go, the third one worked. Now this thing gives considerably more temperature for me. And do I still have any cloth on me? I still have two bits of cloth. And I still have bandages, so... Sounds like the blizzard died down out there. Um, there is still stuff that I want to go and check out there. I need to lighten my own load still. Not by dropping any of you, though. Nor you. Oh, right, yeah, this thing is way too heavy. The Mackinac jacket. As amazing a jacket as it is, it's probably still going to be just torn up. Just keep ourselves satiated with wolf meat. Drown our... Drown it with a water chaser. That's right, I found an extra heavy hammer. Now that thing is heavy as hell. Down it goes. And I've got a lot of torches, I'll harvest two of them. Can the stuff in your shop despawn? No it cannot. Even if an item reaches 0% condition, as long as it's not stored inside something, like a locker or a shelf, it will remain there, just in a ruined condition. And that's extra useful for food. Ooh, I found a whetstone, didn't I? Right, just to pass time, I can always sharpen my tools, and my knife is in dire need of sharpening. Okay, this is nice. Uh, also, also, maybe I'll finally remember that I need to cure these goodies. need to, but uh, might as well just leave these here. This isn't actually a bad place to leave them, because if I ever leave Hushed River Valley, this place is easy to get to on the way out, and I can one way return to the cave to Mountain Town. But what's more likely is that I just leave the stuff if I ever come back here for a long term in the future, because, wow, that stuff is terribly placed there. I can't even see it. There we go. Because, uh, you're limited on how much weight you can carry out of this place. Right, I'm gonna try my luck out there as long as I'm not too heavy. Pretty heavy, but not too heavy. Because I'm certain there are some goodies that I left behind. Yeah, I'm back in Sweden for now. 
I'm already in talks with a Hungarian, a couple of Hungarian estate agents. Trying to find a place to live in Hungary, though. If you are, for some contrived reason, a Hungarian estate agent, then I want to talk to you. Uh, good, I still got that meat. Keep it on me. There should be raw meat that I left behind over here, which is fine. As well as Doggy's old corpse. Could I conceivably start a magnifying lens fire? No, I could not. Never mind then. But I do want to go up and over there. There should be some goodies with my name on them. And that'd be hilarious, says Marvin. You never know. Are you buying or renting? My game plan is that I would like to rent a property by Lake Balaton for anything from 3 to 12 months. Uh, maybe 6 to 12 months. Just so that I can get a feel for the area. It might be that, you know, summer hits and actually I find out that I truly cannot stand Hungarian summers or maybe the people that go there for summer disgust me to a point where I rethink my options. Just generally don't... I don't want to jump into it straight up buying a place. Although properties there do seem pretty damn cheap. Relatively speaking. It's no Stockholm. But yes, I will rent there for a while and then look into buying. The cold is making my head feel thick. I mean, I'm pretty desperate to get going there as soon as possible, but that desperation shouldn't throw me into bad decisions. Is there anything up here at all? Other than... Other than hypothermia? Because this is seeming like not good. Wind isn't helping. Oh, saplings. Are those maple saplings? Damn. I'm freezing. They are maple saplings. Ooh, that could be good. Maple saplings I've been having such a hard time to come by. I might even consider taking them with me to... Uh, well, to out of here. Like, Balaton sounds for me like the worst nightmare. Explain further. The tourist is not the location. Hold on, briefcase? Look at the spot. Had to climb like hell, but it was worth it. I even saw a rainbow. Hushed River has a vista point. Not my favorite operating system, but we'll consider it. Is that really it, though? Oh, my stomach. It hurts. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, I almost missed you. Uh, how good a source of meat are you? Relatively good. Good enough to waste a match on? No. No, no, no. Should be plenty of opportunities for meat where I'm going, so I'm gonna leave you be. I'll take your feathers, though, but I'll leave you be. Taking quite a lot of condition damage out here, which is uh, agitated by my massive amount of uh, hit point. Max loss. Oh, 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 this doesn't look great. Jeez! Oh, this looks worse. Am I gonna... Am I gonna die here? Damn, that's smart. Don't die on me, Shep. Some of my clothes got injured there as well. Alright, well I didn't quite Skyrim my way down. I almost Skyrim myself to death. We need to get back to that ice cave and heal up badly. Yeah, I blame the frostbitten knees. <laughs> Birch bark tea stat. I don't feel so good. If I wasn't able to mount and go down the last part, I would have busted out the the teas just to warm up and get some much needed health back. But yeah, I don't that was that was grim. Right, you come with me, meat. I might need to rest up here longer than expected. But at least thanks to my horrible condition of internal parasites, I can rest for as long as I want. Jeez, that hurt. Hmm. Which condition did we go down to just there? Fifteen <laughs> percent. That's pretty terrible. Right, thankfully we have food and plenty of supplies here, so there's no no problem with just lasting here for a bit. Uh, do my clothes take much damage? Deer skin boots, I think, took a bit of a beating. That seems to be... Although, man, this rabbit skin hat does need some fixing. Do these saplings go my other saplings that I just found? And yeah. 
gonna rest here for a while. If I can start a fire, if it's clear in the morning, I'll start a fire out there, bring it in, and just generally do some fire and self-maintenance in here. It's showcasing all the hazard. I'm trying my best. Glad you noticed. Bedroll might not be amazing, but it's good enough for us for now. Drink up, eat up, sleep up. Get this condition back. We need it. Sleep for nine hours, I think. We don't need that full nine hours, but it's great for getting condition back when you sleep for a long time. We actually did get cabin fever, but it was very easy to get rid of, just spend a day outside. So next time I think I'm just going to ignore cabin fever risk and embrace the fever. Thank you, Wolfie. You continue to provide. Got plenty of water in here. Decent amount of food, thanks to moldy, moldy old uh, wolf stuff. So we've got two bits of cloth. Something to be said for repairing maybe you while I'm at it. What do you mean in the dark? Looks pretty light to me in here. No, nope, still thinks this is the dark. Okay, but I can pass a bit of time until the sun rises. I can prepare these rose hips, for example. Prepare my racial tea. I'm just hanging out here until I get my condition back. I took way too much condition damage out there. Nice and bright out there. Is it still too dark for me to consider a repair job, though? No, it's not. Let's get repairing. Don't fail me. Oh my god, it's 85% Shepherd. How do you keep failing this? There we go. Now I'm out of cloth, but it gives us a nice extra bit of temperature bonus that we desperately need. Because it's getting real cold out there. Uh, also, it's first light. That means drink another racial tea. Now let's see. There we go. Wow. We're two-fifths of the way through treating that. And what's the condition? No, I don't think it's clear enough for using the mag lens. It is not. Is there anything out here that I'd really like to get while the going is good? Nothing springs to mind. Um, yeah, no, I think I will... Hmm. I think I'll pass some time sharpening indoors, see if it clears up, and then make a fire if I can. Of course, we could develop cabin fever in here, but I doubt I'm going to be in here so long that that becomes a problem. I just want the fire, so I can cook up Wolfie for free, or without using a match. Right, knife, let's go. The idea of being able to get my fires out starting matches is nice, however, I can already see the problem happening where I put myself in a very dangerous situation because I'm too miserly to use a match. Looking good. This might be considered a waste, considering a knife is so cheap to make. After all, I'm, I can harvest you for the scrap metal, but it costs cloth to make another one of these, and cloth is insanely hard to come by on Outer Loper, as you can see. Give you one last go and I'm going to work on my hatchet. It's a great way to pass time, sharpening my tools. And uh, if the whetstone decides to die, I can just toss the whetstone. We already have enough in our shop. Finally, I catch a live simulation. You cannot make whetstones, but they do wash up on shore every now and then. So they are available to you in that respect. I'll leave the heavier hammer here. I need to remember to pick you up on the way out. Beloved by hunters and lumberjacks alike. Sorry, awesome torn jacket, but I'm going to tear you apart. I love all of your content. That's not true. Nobody loves it all. There's some real stinkers out there. 
It's still too unfortunate to use the mag lens just because of all this cloud. It's all right though. Nothing, nothing forcing my hand here. Besides, I want to have a good long sleep through the night to enjoy uh, the condition regain. So, yeah, it really sucks to get rid of this awesome jacket, but it's nowhere near as awesome as a wolfskin coat. So fare thee well. So, several people have watched your Patty 4 playthrough all the way to the end. And some sorry folks out there. Right. Something to be said for repairing this toque. The toque is really good. It only costs one bit of cloth for a good repair, but I think I'll hold off for now. Although there is also something to be said for repairing this poor dying bedroll. I'll try not to. If this bedroll can keep me good until I get all the way back to the shop and make the bearskin bedroll... And that's going to save me cloth, and I can just harvest the damn thing for ten whole cloth. Okay, Amergedin is putting their money where their mouth is in terms of enjoying the content. Well, I do appreciate it dearly. Just don't know what to do while I'm here, though. It doesn't look like the weather is clearing up outside. Yeah, magnifying glasses, no. But is there nothing that I could grab while I'm out here? There's always going to be loads of sticks and stuff. I can see one right over there, but... Um, I suppose I could shank the dog for its coat. But it might be better just to leave the dog. Mm, do I want doggy hide? I think I will actually take doggy hide. It's going to make me cold and I'm going to lose condition again, even though I'm meant to be trying desperately to regain condition, but don't worry, there's method to the madness. I can take a good long sleep and I can let this pelt uh, dry out inside here. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. It's doggy. Not drowning in food, but don't I still have that nasty... No, I, I must have eaten up the nasty spoilt stuff. I'd need to cook this in order to eat it, so I think the best thing to do is to just drink up and rest up. I'll wait till almost the end of the day. And then I'll go and see if the sun wants to shine for me again. So I'll give it like three hours. Not great for getting my condition back, it's better to take long sleeps, but we can sleep for a long time thanks to our friends inside our intestines. Again, this is just me being really tight-fisted because I don't want to spend a match. I want to use my beloved magnifying glass. Oh, that looks like clear sky to me. Oh, it's not clear enough. Really though? Maybe it's because it's maybe it's because the sun is setting and we don't have a good uh, a good view of it. Best time of day for traveling, as I like to say. Well, actually, what might be worth doing is making a sketch of the area. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. No point taking this mountaineering rope with me. I may want it in the future. It got me up here, if nothing else. It's, it's kind of hard to believe, but all, the, all this you're seeing here, it's all explorable. The maps are huge. I'm very impressed by them. <laughs> Please, game, don't make me spend my precious match. I don't think I can go the night without uh, eating. So I won't go the night without eating. I'll chew on my cattails. I'll hope for a... Uh, a bright morning, and if I don't, then screw it, I will use the match, but then I need to move on from here. So, cattails you get into my belly. Have you been to all locations across all playthroughs at this point? Nope, I have. Well, yes, I have, because when I did the Dark Walker, you have to go to all locations. I suppose I haven't been to Forbidden uh, Forsaken Airfield, though. But that's very newly added. 
and the only time I've been in Bleak Inlet was my brief visit during the Dark Walker. But aside from that, yes. <laughs> One thing I could do to pass time is read the Small Arms Handbook, but over my dead body. There are no small arms in Interloper to even care about. Right, take another nine hour kip. This should rest us up big time. Using the bedroll does degrade the bedroll. Making it less and less insulating. Is that an Aurora? Follow up question, can you start a fire in an Aurora? That would make negative sense. But I'm still curious. In an Aurora at least does mean that conditions are clear. Can you harvest bullets you found to get the gunpowder for the store? Uh, I don't even know what you get from harvesting bullets, but... Yeah, okay, go figure. I can't use the strange effects of the Aurora to power my magnifying lens. But that's alright, I'll take the opportunity just to sleep a bit longer and get this much-needed condition back. Uh, how long? How long? How long? How long? And again, if I don't have a good condition to make my uh, fire, make my magnifying lens fire in the morning, then I'll just say to hell with it and use a. I will use a match. How did you get parasites? Accidentally ate some raw meat. The game warns you about eating raw meat, but only when you try and eat it in some ways. I clearly ate it in a way that the game doesn't care to warn you about. Right. Nice to see some of this stuff uh, curing rather nicely. <laughs> Not bitter, I'm very bitter. Okay, surely this is clear enough. Yeah, Maglens can start a fire here. Don't think the wolf has respawned, and I'm not sure we much care. Let's get that fire. Do we bring it indoors or outdoors? Depends on how cold it is. Uh, seems like an indoor job. Maglens, step, go. Look at this! Fire for free! Costs us nothing! I don't really count a stick as a cost. Feels slow though. Feels very slow. Yeah, bring this fire inside, start cooking our meat, and then do a bit of a stock take. Did I drink my racial tea for today? I don't, right. I don't know. Right, thank you fire. But, like I said, you're coming in with me. Whoa. Fire for free, let's not complain about the starting time. At least when I hit level 5, it's going to be faster. Right. Set you up over here. Not using the magnifying light, so use the torch, numb nuts. Mm. No, I think it's the same speed. I'm going to cook the wolf and then get moving. If it's such a clear day, then it's going to be easy to start fires wherever I want. Although I could just chain torches still. That did. Never know those winds are going to come out of nowhere. Right, just slam on some sticks. Because we don't care about the temperature here, we just care about time. Oh, right, that's not a lot of wolf eating, actually. Whilst that is going, let's consider what we're taking with us. It's pretty much none of this stuff. Curing, I don't want you. I'll take you when I exit. I'll take you when I exit, probably. Four bits of coal and seven sticks. I'll take a cedar with me just in case. There'll be plenty of sticks where I'm going of that, I'm sure. I can make a bit more water with this fire, possibly. Probably. But I think I still need my racial tea, right? Yeah. Well, I think saying I can't have a lovely hot racial tea. Actually, I drink my hot racial tea. Screw it, let's have it now. Eat the really crappy burned wolf meat. Really, none of this needed. Take a moment for our skill appreciation, at least. Carcass harvesting is almost completely mastered. 
I think that means even frozen carcasses I can tear them apart by hand. Uh, fire starting is almost level 5. Now that's going to be so good. My fires are going to last forever with that. Uh, figuratively. Archer is only level 3. You're a decent archer. Your aim is increasingly more precise. Doesn't matter though. Even at level 1, what matters is our own personal skill at archery, which is great. Drink the racial tea. This should now say that I only need 11 more treatments to get rid of my little friends. Yeah, thank God for that. Let's see if I can't make some water while we're at it. The max level for any skill is 5. Except for the skills that for some reason you can't view. Although you can see them in certain places. Take my sharpening skill. Sharpening is a skill. It doesn't show up in your skills, but it is a skill. And you can see it by trying to sharpen something. And there we can see my sharpening skill is 80. These hidden skills, I believe, go up to 100. But yeah, the game likes to obfuscate that information for reasons I cannot actually understand at all. A little heavier than I'd like to be, but I can't wait to get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, someone was asking about harvesting these. Ooh, well, that's nice. So we can have our gunpowder for the, uh, the shop. I certainly don't need these right now, but let's try and remember to take it back to the shop. This stuff should not be spawning on Interloper, by the way. Revolver ammo. Because there shouldn't be a revolver on Interloper. If there is, I'm promising you right now I'm not going to use it. Uh, we'll have it on display on the shop, of course. Perhaps next to our distress pistol. I wonder if there's anything else I have, but really shouldn't have with me. I don't think I need a pry bar going around this place. There shouldn't be anything to pry open. Let me check. I mean, there's no man-made buildings in Hush River Valley at all, so... Uh, that doesn't make sense. Let's leave, let's leave the pry bar behind, but let's try to remember to take it with us. Because I do want that and many other things when I leave this place. Hopefully I break this bow soon, because it's using up space in my inventory. Uh, I don't have scrap metal to repair you with. I want that arrowhead, but I can't use it just yet. I already tore apart the Mac and all. I'm sure some people are creasing up with cringe over that. And I would like my birch tea, actually. You know what? I will make two uses of uh, birch tea here. Book, birch, book, birch. Add a stick, add two sticks, because I'm not just going to make birch. I'm going to cook my hippie roses as well. Then I'll take a fire with me and get moving. Alright, lovely. We rested up from the self-inflicted damage. If that fall was much further, the run could have ended right there and then. So let's be grateful it didn't. I do plan on getting this run done. In fact, it's probably going to be one of those runs that when I'm done, I'm going to continue to play off-stream. Because I really like it. Really like what's happening with this. Although, I don't know, without a goal I might get pretty bored of the game. We'll see. Uh, I have pretty much no water with me. That was a mistake. But, that's why I left that water there. Oh, I wouldn't mind if you continue playing it on screen. I need goals for runs like this. In pure sandbox games, especially when I'm streaming, I need a goal to work towards because I personally feel this sense of just deflation when I just have a campaign peter out without having hit some ultimate goal. Can I Skyrim down here? Come on, Shepard, you let me down before, but this time your frostbitten knees can handle the impact. I could... Why can I hear a wolf? Why can I hear a wolf? Alright, keep your wits about you. This is clearly no ordinary cave. Enjoying all this coal that it's leaving behind. This is why I did not take lots of coal with me. Oh, what? 
Nice, lots of coal in one place. Wow. The game loves me when it comes to coal. My loot senses are tingling. Did I miss something here? Ah, uh, potentially, but we must press on. It's good weather outside and we're well rested. Let's make the most of it. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, my, uh, my fuzzy friend. Yeah, they got spooked, damn. Where did he head off to? Is that you there? I think I saw him move there. Right. Hard to see here, but... I don't, I don't run away, I'm here to kill you! I think he might be cornered, which is bad for me. Yeah, taking blind corners of a wolf hanging around could be dangerous. Maybe this wraps around? I'm not familiar with the layout of this cave. I'm familiar with the layout of any cave. A bit lost in the one at the top of Forlorn Muskeg many a time. Stick, stick, stick. Stick, stick. Well, that's a stick. Give me the stick. No, okay. It's just going back around to where I saw Fido earlier. Uh, I don't think there was this elevated part here where I was earlier. Alright, if Fido's tracking me, it's all the more reason to take the advantage and remove Fido from the equation. I can't see him. Oh, thank god, that was a blind shot. The the I, I still can't see him. When I breathed there, the, the breath obfuscated Fido. Oh, it's I'm almost sorry. Uh, right, well. Well, well, well. Let's make hay while that sun is shining, shall we? I'm going to carve up Fido. Jake, how's Japan been? How does the public transport come? Oh man, the public transport in Japan is something to die for. It's amazing. I think I traveled about uh, 1,200 miles, probably more. A lot of it on the train, not even necessarily the bullet train, the Shinkansen. Uh, I got a lot of sticks, just throwing sticks. Let's do carve up Fido. The hacker man saw. Actually, can I do little bits of you first? Just want to use the fire while we have it. Give me a bunch. But yeah, Japan was great. I will talk, I'll put up a uh, trucking stream probably tomorrow and I'll talk at length about Japan and what we saw there and experienced and how horrible it is being back in Sweden. It was a good idea, so I'll do it. There you go, another couple of you. You'll be done in a minute, so nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Finish all that before I start guzzling down this water. You're too kind. Do you really think we deserve truck? I didn't say that. There we go. Plenty of meat. And. Although, yeah, I'll probably just chuck on this. Hmm. Yeah, the sticks won't last. Or will they? There was a branch just a little bit ago. 32 minutes on you. Shouldn't take long to tear up a branch if I can find it again. I think it was over here. It was up there. 
just use another fail. And so I'll use the improvised hatchet. There's point in having it if we don't use it. Hatchet sticks. I just like to use sticks wherever possible because they're so plentiful. Tomorrow. Oh, isn't tomorrow Saturday? How could that be a problem? I won't scoop out your guts or anything. In fact, leaving your body here means you're less likely to respawn. I don't think it's a less likely thing. I think it, it will take longer for you to respawn because for an animal to respawn, their original uh, body has to be returned to the earth, so to speak. How long are you looking at needing? 41 minutes, 48 minutes. Fortunately, though, I can just shove on one more stick. One more stick, and that'll all be taken care of for me. D freaking licious. Right, I went up there. Was there anything up there? My my loot sensors were going off again, but uh, they must be they must be damaged. Feels like loot would be hiding every little corner there is here, but no. Maybe it's one of those interloper, non-interloper things. Practically no loot on interloper, so... Tough tomatoes. Did you learn about tea jiggling? If you move tea after placing it, it'll warm up without burning. Uh, yeah, you reset the timer for it, as I recall, but I don't trust that stuff anyway. I've had too many teas burn on me. Okay, what do we have here? Good, good, great. Even though we have the mag lens, I still want... Ugh, but... Um, oh! <laughs> not the hacksaw, the bedroll. Oh, it's in terrible condition. But still, bedroll. Pork and beans are good. What a find this is. Bedroll, hacksaw. I could use this. Good. Oh! Oh, ultra matches. Cardboard matches. I don't know if they're lighter or not, but you get more out of them. I'll take the book for it now. Why not? This place. Oh, what a find. Which way did I come? Hey, I don't know. Best thing about cardboard matches. No more wasting matches accidentally starting a torch. Now, that's a good point, because now if I ever try to start to torch, the game is going to say, hey, what method of starting your torch do you want to use? And then I have to manually choose. Yeah, that's nice. Of course, that still wouldn't save me from the situation we had in Milton, though, where even though we were protected from the wind, it still blew out my torch. I really think that some, something has bugged out the wind in this update. It keeps blowing things out even when it's not blowing on them. Still, mm, what a find. And thankfully that light illuminates my way back to my wolfy meat. Getting kinda thirsty. I know, I know. Um, but there's not enough on this campfire to uh drink from. I got some water on me though. I'll eat this one up because it's small. Mmm. Okay, I'll finish that off shortly. Uh, since I'm almost certainly going to be coming back this way on my way out, I want to leave some stuff behind here. So, I'm going to leave the worst bed roll. Um, there's all this coal, isn't there? That, that makes my life a little trickier. Still, this is too much coal. I'm going to drop uh, 11 bits of coal. And drop this firewood as well. We're going to drop the food. This should be able to do fine without those, and I would like those back at the store, truthfully. And I got the hacksaw, I think. 
Didn't get any clothes worth mentioning. I'll drop the better things so off for now. Is that? Oh, that's about to go. Um, hope you can still light on embers. Doesn't matter. Gotcha. Right. How are we going to do this? I will take both of you. You'll be my food, even though I stink a bit. Actually, I shouldn't stink if I just finish you off. I can lighten my load by drinking. Uh, I was tempted to... Ooh. You know what? I'm going to add a stick onto you. And I'm going to warm up a tea. So that way I can have the warming up bonus. Uh, oh, crikey. I don't, I don't want this book. Well, that's what we think of books. There we go. Pretty sure you left Cole back in the locker with a forge and forgot it. Uh, I'll be leaving Cole in various places, so that shouldn't come as a big surprise. There we go, there we go. This is a hot tea to enjoy once we start losing temperature outside, and I'm sure we will. Our weight isn't too bad. I'm not as well rested as I would like to be, though. But to heck with it, we'll just head on out anyway. Hopefully I'm where I think I am. If not, that's a problem. Lack of water could actually become a problem. It's not a lot of the stuff. Uh, which way is the right way? Probably the left way. Definitely not the left way. So despite our little problem with our knees earlier, we're looking good. Mm, maximum possible condition at 69 is bad bloody news. Can't wait for internal parasites to be gone, but it's going to take another 11 days. Thirsty so fast around here. Right, where am I? Let me see what this is and then quickly consult with my map. I think I'm in point uh, in cave point Y, but my immediate thought is I might be dead wrong. So I went through cave Zulu. Maybe I'm at cave X-ray. I'll leave those rose hips, they're not doing any harm to anybody. Where the heck am I? <laughs> Feels like minus 11, huh? Okay, I think I know. A better question would be, where am I going, though? I've already found a load of neat stuff here. Is it really worth risking my life just to try and find some more? Of course it is. Don't know what else is worth my time around here though, but perhaps exploring is its own reward. Still, finding my way back to here is pretty important. And I'm not making it easy for myself, am I? Um, what if I at least throw this here? Then if I walk past it, I'll know that I was here. Uh, whoa now, Fido. We're not playing that game today. Scat. Not a time for the game of Chew on Commander Shepard. Oh, hello, this might be a game I'm interested in. No, we'll leave it be. I have a lot of food on me. Two wolf steaks, but two wolf steaks is still pretty good going. Trusty charcoal, find out where we are. What's losing a few fingers and to get proper directions? I don't know. Why don't you ask Pepper? Wait, no, I said I'd stop harping on about it. The tiredness is becoming one of the bigger problems with our little intestinal friends. It's uh, making it pretty difficult to go any length of anything. Also ditched most of my sticks, that's another consideration. 
I doubt I could start a mag lens fire, could I? No, certainly not. I was just looking at that branch, thinking how much wood it would provide me. This is nice, though. This feels a lot more outer loping. Like I said, I think Ash River Valley is one of the best places for outer loping because everything's outdoors here. There's not a single man-made structure that's even debatably infringing on outer loping principles. It's also not that cold, but it is afternoon. Yeah, we have the mag lens, we have multiple types of matches, we have rather a lot of matches as well. Oh, I said I would drink that tea, and I do want to drink that tea. Where is it? Is it still hot? It is still hot. Down the hatch it goes. It's calories, it's water, it's warmth, and best of all, it's that warming up bonus, so far less of a risk that, uh, that our heat goes down very quickly. It only feels like minus 10 as well, it's nothing. Is that a cave? Then I know where I am. Maybe. Anything's possible, right? Uh, I do not know where I am, because this is not the cave that I thought it was. We're at an ice cave? What the heck? In that case, let's go away from you for a bit. I might deign to explore that ice cave later on, but for now, I'm going to go around this thing and follow the wall around out and about here. Not this wall that we're looking at, but there should be one behind it. Follow my way around that, there should be another cave that I can enjoy some time in. Just making the most of the best time of day. Skipping the rose hips for once? Yes. I had a bit of a, a bit of a consideration moment earlier where I was thinking those uh, those rose hips and those mushrooms are not very renewable. You can renew them through beach combing, I believe, but other than that, they are quite well there's lots of them, but once they're gone, they're gone. It might be a better idea just to store them by leaving them on there. Unless I need them. Or want them. Uh I shouldn't have left myself that caveat, should I? Still, I'm trying to be a bit more responsible with what we're leaving behind, because we may well need it. So all that crows, as we got uh, Do we have a corpse? If so, what kind? One to point, why would you ever bother going back here just for rose hips? I wouldn't. But if I were here... And let's say I was just criminally short on teas, for whatever reason, they'd still be there for me. Remember, rose hips can counteract pain, whereas racial tea can counteract, uh, well, parasites. I wonder if that's the only thing it does. Here's our corpse. Sadly, it's the most dangerous game. This will come in handy. Why? Why a single revolver cartridge? Oh, this is the real find. A snow shelter that will give me some cloth. That is an... Oh, another good find. Cooking pot. Another saw. Jeez, this ain't too shabby. Right, um... If that's the case, and since it's so warm, let's... First take this charcoal. And then we'll start a fire. Could use the mag lens. No, we couldn't. It's too cloudy. But we already have a torch, so let's get going. Mmm, every bit of cloth is just like some lovely silky gold to me. Always save the last cartridge for yourself. No, carve your name in the last cartridge. There's always a bullet with your name on it somewhere. Might as well make sure that you're the one that has it. Plan ahead. I hope they don't uh, destroy saves. They did say when they were apologizing for breaking saves earlier that it was done because they are. There we go, that'll be good temperature. Um... That's right, I got you, don't I? There we go. The saves were messed up in order to make a save system that's more robust and future proof, or so they said. But here's hoping that means they don't need to break it later. Oh, what a find! Yes! Oh, yes! 
These are going to be so hard to find. And we got a pair. And I know I left one pair back at the shop as well. Oh, that's so good. Let's just try not to destroy them. Right. What do we have over here? Good, good. And... That's also good. Wow. Okay, I'm mick-loving this place. I need the cloth to repair these. But I think what I'm going to do is... What condition is this thing in? 59. I might actually get inside it. Do I get the warmth bonus from the uh, from the fire in here? Oh, I'm really warm in here. That's nice. I might see if from here I can... Two bits of cloth, huh? I would really like to repair both of these things. Fishing tackle, you're on your last legs, but bear with me. Don't fail now, this cloth is expensive. Oh yeah, look like at that. Decent thermal undies now. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Not done with you yet though. Get back in. Can it keep being huddled up in here doing your sewing homework seems rough, but there you go. Right, wool socks are the best socks you can get on Interloper. That's not saying much, there's only three kinds of cloth, but the really good ones you're just not getting. An hour and four, I don't have it. Four. Just use the sewing kit, Shepard. Don't waste the cloth, don't waste the cloth, don't waste the cloth. He did it! Oh, sweet. It's only half a degree warmth on those socks, but they weigh almost nothing. Actually, that's more heavy than I thought. Hmm. So I get for running my mouth. Right, cooking pot's great. Can ain't too bad. Uh, strong temptation to sleep here for a little while. But it's the best time of day, so I shall relent and I'll instead tear you down for your cloth and sticks. There we go. Torch weighs almost as much as the torch. Uh... Thanks for the insight, Carrot. If you want to train repair, you should train on shop clothes using indoor cloth. I was intending on doing that. I just never really got the opportunity for it. Or I didn't really make the opportunity for it. Wow, we we're getting heavy and tired. Probably all this vast amount of water not helping. But it's going to be time to sleep soon anyway. Mm, I say that, but that's a difficult choice. I'd rather sleep in the ice cave, given the opportunity. What I might do is uh, go down to the ice cave, dump some stuff there, and then continue on my journey. Just because I'm so laden with goods, thanks to... Thanks to that amazing find, by the way. Holy moly, thank you, crows. Thank you so much, crows. What the hell did I just hear? I usually just assume it's my stomach rumbling, but I don't think that was grumbly-tumbly. Sticks. Cannot, cannot say no to sticks. Yeah, we'll ditch what we can inside the ice cave. I'll probably sleep in the ice cave, actually. We're just getting really tired. Oh, it was probably a deer, right? A majestic deer trying to scare me off. It's okay, I have not hunted a single deer, I believe. We have only... Oh, God, even better. Uh, sapling. A maple sapling. I can make a bow out of you. We can confirm that, can't we? Stats. Uh, um... Deer, 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 deer. Deer killed. Wait, I killed a deer? I don't believe it. Probably a bug. <laughs> When the heck did I kill a deer? Was it when I was hunting the moose there were also deer there and I shot one and then I went, oh, that arrow's gone because it would have ran off? That seems more likely than me actually having killed one. You killed a deer in the valley where the moose trampled. Yeah, okay, I think I remember that. Also, oh, jeez. No, 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 Lord Barrington. You do not want any of what I am packing today.
Uh, where did I come from and how do I get out of there? So heavy, and I'm only getting heavier because I'm getting tireder. The bear is here to collect his honey. No. Don't call me honey. So overweight, so in need of sleep. And yeah, one third of our maximum awakeness is just murdered to um to the parasites. And it's only gonna get worse. Well, it will eventually get better when I eventually heal the parasites, but until then. Glad I'm sheltered from the wind here, because oh, I don't think that's regular wind. I think that's a blizzard. I know, Shepard. I know. But thanks to the cover here, I should be able to get into the mine without losing the fire. Nice. And it's not a mine; it's a cave. Okay, swell. Uh, I don't know what I could use a fire for here, but let's not ask ourselves such questions. Let's just start a fire. Wish it would default to torch. I mean, why would you ever use a match when you're holding a torch? I ate raw meat. The game is meant to warn you about it, but it didn't. So uh, that gave me instant food poisoning and 75% parasite chance. So I get for fumbling in the dark for my meat. Right. Don't know what I want this campfire for, but I'm drowning in sticks, so I might as well throw some stuff on. If nothing else, every fire I start brings me closer to level 5 fire starting. And if you're thinking, why don't you just set down about 20 fires to max it out? I could. I definitely could. In fact, there's nothing really wrong with going out and doing that shortly. I got decent meat. But what I want to do is ditch some stuff here that I'm not going to need for a wee while. Uh, what would that include? Well, I found yet another axe saw, so you can go down here. I don't need a copy of Survive the Outdoors, although... Hey, this would level me up if I finish it, so I think I will. I'm going to sit here, read that, then sleep, and then all is well. Uh, it might seem a bit of a waste to burn stuff here, but we've got so much to burn, why not? Yeah, see, there we go. We can uh, cook some water and stuff while we, while we do it. Maybe not with you, but with you. You're not healthy enough to focus- Don't tell me parasites stop research. You gotta be kidding. Is that- is that for real? I just dumped all that fire in the hopes that I do some reading. No. Maybe it's yes way. Maybe you need to treat it. I thought we already took our treatment for today. Can't read with tummy ache. Evidently not. Well, at least it's a blizzard, so I wouldn't want to be outside anyway, but damn, it's a shame. Right. What do I have that I want to get rid of? Oh, there's a book, obviously. Uh, that's a lot of coal, and given this is the ice cave, I'll probably find more, so let's just drop all of our coal. This is fine. These are fine. These bits of food off. I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. 
<laughs> the uh, parasites are dancing around me, giving me all sorts of pain in the gut. Got a lot of water, to be fair, and a lot of torches. All oh, right, I've got a sapling to to cure out here. Still overweight though, I think, right? Eh, not so bad. Just nice to leave little caches like this for if and when I come back here. Anything I can do to pass the time. I've, I've one bit of cloth, so I could repair something, but... The thermals make sense to repair, so does the toque. But what if I need that cloth down the line? Now nah, that's sissy talk. Repair the thing. And use your fishing tackle. Don't fail now. 85% chance of success. That's the stuff. And that took is amazing. Lots of warmth to be had. And I would eventually like to up my level of mending. This one's a hard as hell to level up. It requires so many successful mends to level up. Books can be read as well, but that's tricky enough to come by. We're so darn tired. Um, I think I'm just going to take the water and sleep for three hours. It's not like we need the condition right now. We have to find somewhere to sleep for three hours. Come on. I like your stream, Dutch Democratic Republic Jake. It's a nice rest from the insanity that is most of I know what you mean. But there's some vestiges out there, you just need to enjoy them whilst ignoring other things that you don't like. That's how I get by. Slam on a few more sticks for the heck of it. Take one of my existing torches, because I clearly have too many. And let's explore the cave, because I'm rested up enough not to take... Uh... Oh, tell you what, just in case I'm way too quick at this. Have some more water. Can't go wrong with more water. Oh, hello, more burnables! Uh, it's not first light, so I won't be taking my medicine. What weighs more, a bedroll or the cloth you get from harvesting it? Ooh. I think one bit of cloth is 100 grams. Bedroll is a kilo, so I think it's the same. But the bedroll is a huge amount of utility, so I wouldn't harvest it unless I had another one to hand. Which I do, but... Even so, I'm going to hold on to both. It would be nice. No, I would... Uh, ooh. What have we here? Ugh, crappy torch, but I'll take it anyway. Um, it would be nice to keep them around. Climbing socks. Wait a second. These are, I think, the best socks in the game. And you're not meant to find them on Interloper. I guess they changed that. Well, shows what I know. And what I know is what I read on the wiki, so the wiki must be out of date. That's great, though. I want to carve up my bedroll and use it to fix that. Yeah, that's some good rare socks, but this is great because we've been missing socks for a long, long time. This trip to Hush River Valley has really been a gold mine for us. Perhaps even more so than the actual gold mine in Ash Canyon. Yeah, rare socks, bedroll, mag lens, two hacksaws, loads of things to just use to get by. I guess Hush River Valley is the baby mode place in the game. <laughs> That's not fair, but it's because it's outer loping that this is so good. If we weren't outer loping, we'd be saying stuff like, Man, I love Pleasant Valley. We found all this stuff inside the farmhouse and the, uh, the town square and blah, blah, blah. Town square, the center. Oh, right. We'd have this option if we accidentally use the torch without uh, lighting it off of another torch. And that would prevent us wasting a match immediately. There's more stones. Yeah, coal for weeks as well. You really could just survive indefinitely down here, I think. And if you ever run out of arrows and things to make more arrows out of, then just get the wolves to hunt the deer for you. Or you know, subsist on rabbits if you really want to. Hope torch. Not ruined, so it's not my torch. Mm, I'm getting it lost in here. How long did I put on that fire that I left behind? Probably not long enough, but I'm carrying fire on me, so I could just reignite. 
Hushed Valley is late game without a bedroll, it kills you fast. Even not outer loping. You're telling me there's no good places to sleep inside caves and stuff? Hmm. Although I'm pretty sure there are no workbenches in Hushed River Valley, right? So that would make life a little harder. Well, not a little harder, a lot harder. Then you couldn't craft things like your bunny hood. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Ruined torch. I came here, right. Oh, didn't even plan on leaving that there for me, but that's a good hint to turn that way. bit of a temptation to tear up these limbs for their goods. I mean, that's a lot of good fur. Another another one of you, but I can't climb you because I'm too muscular to climb. Still a little tempting to tear these up, though. Now let's preserve the fire. We still have a lot of sleep that we need to do. Wait, why would that even be a consideration? Well, oh, screw it. I like having fire. Can't think of many games that have cozier fire than what you find in this game. Yeah, I guess early game places would be like Pleasant Valley, Milton, places with lots of indoor uh, areas that you can go and get good manufactured clothing. I just struggle to think of any point in the game where Forlorn Muskeg is the place you want to be. Big, wide open, practically nowhere to rest or sleep. Nowhere warm, at least. It does have the only outdoor forge, though, so you need to go there on outer loping. Although I suppose if, uh, if my goal was not to restock the shop, but maybe theme it around... Oh, I haven't been here before. Theme it around something naval... Oh no, I came from here. Uh, I could take the Riker and fill it up, and it has a forge, so I'd probably be saying something like, well, ah, since this is our base, we could use the forge here, no need to go all the way bleeding over to Forlorn Muskeg. But that's not how things went. We're in the coastal highway shop. A lot of climbing, a place you can only get to after hacking your way through. No man-made structures. Can't use the hacksaw though, and so far we've found two saws. I haven't checked you yet. Good and I'm glad I did. I think that puts us at all the stims we need. Yes! We have three on us and there's one in the store, and my shopping list involves four stims. If you have no idea what I mean by shopping list, the whole aim of this game is to fill up the shop in Coastal Highway with my shopping list that's in the title of the stream. Oh, we timed this pretty darn well. Right, so, question. What am I even doing? I certainly want to sleep. I don't really need this fire to sleep. Well, I definitely don't need this fire to sleep. I'll throw in a bit of stick while I think. Ain't no need to sleep. I'll probably just... Uh, fire, fire, rather. I'll probably just sleep here and then pop out in the morning, explore the region, and then come back here when it's time for more sleep. Yeah, that makes a bunch of sense. By the way, let's have some more racial tea. Nine minutes till ready. Well then, have another one of my precious sticks. Um, didn't I find a whole bunch of coal here? Not that much, actually. I'll just drop one. There's some more sticks here as well. Because there are sticks plenty out here. Okay. Can I really not read this so book? Stuff, Gary. I don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm gonna try reading this tomorrow when I've treated my internal friends with a with a load of racial tea. For now though, I want you back. I'm gonna keep you here, I think. I can always come back for you later. Uh, but we shall drink, eat, and sleep. Food's becoming a growing issue. Should be stuff to hunt and eat around here, especially if I can attract a wolf's attention and get him to an hero right in front of my bow.
Right, how long are we sleeping for? Actually, it doesn't matter. We don't need to restore condition, do we? So, I'll just sleep. I reckon it'll be light in about seven hours. The Riker's ruined, so surely it's fit now. The Riker is definitely a man-made structure. And uh, you get a warmth bonus in it, which is one of the main things that I care about. Blizzard! Well... And I definitely don't want to go out there, but I suppose we should take a gander, right? The effects of parasites are quite underwhelming, to be honest. What do you mean? We have lost one third of our maximum amount of awakeness, and it's going to go down by another third before it's treated. Speaking of which, we need to treat it. On top of that, our maximum health is low and getting lower. Yee, I don't like it. And you can die from it. It's just all pretty grim, though. Well, speaking of grim, eh, this doesn't look nice at all, does it? Do I have any reason to want to be here whatsoever? We'll take a quick look, but I don't think I'm going to like anything I see. Well, it feels like uh, incredibly cold, so no. No sticks or anything. I mean, I could tear apart this fur limb, but it would do intense cold damage to me to do so. Now this is this is a silly place. Hold on, are you a stick? That was all worthwhile then. Can't feel my feet. Oh, that's right. Um, can I read? I don't want to, but could I if I wanted to? I mean, I'm certain I can't start a fire with my mag lens. But yeah, it might not be the worst thing in the world to use a match indoors here, get a fire going and use it to read, but only if I can. So I book yeah, Where does book come under, anyway? And what am I doing with two litres of unsafe water? Must have taken that without realising it was non-potable. So, uh, I used to work in the water industry, and in a library I worked on, the sign on the water tank said portable water with an R. And I liked it, because it's meant to say potable without an R. It means drinkable, of course. Where's my book? Did I leave it on the ground? Yeah, I did. I'm going to test and see if I can read it outside and then instantly cancel because it will give me hypothermic risk if I do so and I don't want that. So let's go. Go here. Use research. Nope. Oh, but it's because I'm cold. <laughs> Always with the excuses game. Come on now. Screwed. It's just one match. Let's uh, let's test our game theory, shall we? Yeah, use wood matches. Light up the. Hey, isn't this weirdly positioned now? It's kind of funny. Hopefully, it's funny. Ha ha. Did I just use a match on? Oh my god! Because the cardboard matches are on me now, they're gonna start. Um, Earliest on the list, aren't they? Oh. Okay, well, all the more reason I need to ditch these cardboard matches somewhere, I think. Turned out pretty well. Yeah, I used a cardboard match. Oh well, not the end of the world. Let's get that stuff going and going good. Uh, it's not what I wanted, but that was a damn good torch. Uh, just throw you on for now. Now let's see if we can't read this book, or are we still too sore in the tum-tum? Oh my days. <laughs> okay, well that sucks. I really wanted to read that. Would have helped me get my fire starting skill up. Well, 
in the face of that load of nonsense, I am going to get my fire starting skill up the cheap and cheerful way. A lot of sticks. Is this the fire shredding? Yeah, the shredding of fire. Shredding works to quickly level up your cooking skill. This will work for fire starting skill. And uh, before I forget, I'll probably take all these sticks for this. Uh, and this coal. Is that always there? Drop all of you. Drop all of you. Even drop the mag lens. They really are melting into the floor, aren't they? And then let's just have a sea of fire. An even greater t time waster. Oh, the game, probably. Oh, this is fine, though, because I need to pass some time anyway with that blizzard raging on outside. All right. Alphabetical order for which item to use on the fires is a just. Oh, certainly use your cardboard matches and your birch bark. To start a fire. Mmm. Turned out pretty well. Furiating. Come on. So I don't know how many of these I need to level up, but I think about ten should do it, right? That did it. Hard to tell. I don't know how much leveling I was going to be getting out of that book. It' too windy to start a fire here. This game's full of it. This would have been better to do outside because I could just do them in a circle around me there than this weird straight line. It's going to be awkward walking over it. Hopefully, I don't get burnt doing so because I will use a very precious bunch of my. Wait, why is this campfire so good? Did I put something really nice on it? Probably. Probably used a... Um, probably used some Sedar wood or something, because it was earlier in the list. Again, why is it in alphabetical order? What happened to the book? I probably should have burnt the book. You used Sedar on the first one? Yeah. It would be good if it just went to your uh, most recently used thing that you've used to start a fire. On the plus side, at level 100, I should never fail at starting a fire again. That did it. It's a big waste of sticks, but honestly, that's not much of a consideration. Given that this cost me some of my firewood, though, I'm going to go in and tear apart the limb that's inside here. If you search for birch bark, there's a great f uh, birch forest in Pleasant Valley. And moose included. Oh, uh, gonna take advantage of the fact that I used a an actual torch here. A uh, bit of wood there. Found like twelve birch parts there north of the barn. Mm. But it's still Pleasant Valley is not somewhere I want to spend time outer loping. There's not a lot of good places to take shelter as an outer loper, and Pleasant Valley has some of the worst weather in the game. I don't. I don't have a good authority on that one, but it certainly feels awful. Yeah, I really wonder why this game has burn from fire as a thing. You would never intentionally try to walk over fire. It's just there to punish you for accidentally stepping in it. Or accidentally, as I do, turn on auto walk. Uh, how are we looking on this fire start skill anyway? We'll get there. Although the blizzard did end, so I'm a little tempted to go out anyway. Could it get worse from now? No. Uh, after day 50, the weather will have reached its worst, and it will not get worse. Of course, the weather is still variable. Pretty well. Primary reason is immersion, I suppose. I think twice now I've been burned because I uh, 
my fat finger, the auto walk button, and then my character just auto walks into the fire. That did it. No embers burn out. You did. I don't know how many fires it takes to go from level 4 to level 5, but we are close. And this isn't taking a lot of in-game time. Although, with that, uh, that blizzard having blown itself out, I am quite tempted to get out there. I need to find some food. Actually, I really do need some food. Hmm. I might need more sticks at this rate, because I've used all them up to level up my fire starting skill. I'm head north out of here. Should be a cave. Turned out pretty well. But getting to a level 5 fire starting skill is huge. Just the sheer amount of time you get out of everything you burn. 50% more, not to mention your fires start faster. And you have. It's very difficult to fail to start a fire. You have to actively try to fail it. Oh, that's close. should check on my water boiling by the main fire. So one of the best places I think I've found for birch bark is the ravine. Just so much birch bark to be had there, it's wonderful. Turned out pretty well. Right, how are you looking? Uh, the game is frozen for some reason. Okay, there we go. I what that was all about. Literally just trying to make me worry. Yeah, well, if the game is going to hang like that, I'm going to save the game by popping out and in. That should save the game. Although I'm not seeing the save thing pop up. There we go, there's saving. Not a lot of time left on this fire. Do I even really want it? sticks, although when in doubt, when in need of sticks. The game is freezing again. I don't think it likes all the fires that I've set up in here. Maybe that's a good sign to clear off. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. If you make too many fires, the game can crash, says Jack. Oh. Okay, then... then... <laughs> Maybe I will give up on this. At least we just saved. Yeah, okay, I'll tear down some of my fireplaces then. If, uh, if the game will respond. Okay, there we go. I don't know how long it takes for this to tear down. Let's test it, shall we? Uh, oh dear. I wonder what kind of coating goes into the fires. He put like six of them down. It doesn't seem like a lot of fires, does it? It's okay. It's, the game's just thinking really hard. I know, I've been there too. These internal parasites even in the game now. Yeah, what gets me though is that it's hanging when I'm just not moving at all, but yeah, God knows what's happening. At least the stream seems to be relatively stable. Oh, God, are you going to do anything now, game? It's giving me that lovely bright white mask over the game of non-respondence. <laughs> Although it does make the breaking down message all the more fitting, doesn't it? I was told the parasites are a run ender. How bad are they really? They're an annoyance, and they're a very big annoyance. And they're doubled annoyance on Interloper because they last twice as long. 
but they are survivable. You can still travel, you can still do things, but over time it just gets worse and worse. Uh, I'm going to give the game 10 Mississippis or else I'm just going to close it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Miss. Actually, I need to go get some water anyway. I'm gonna do that instead. Hold that thought. Okay, so... Four, three, two, one. Your time is up, Long Dark. Time to be task managed. Well, here's hoping that I didn't mess up something horribly badly. Let's see if we can just launch the game and get right back into it. How long since you saved? You don't manually save in the long dark. The game decides when it wants to save for you, which is very nice. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, it's not nice. We've lost progress before because the game decided that it didn't want to save. Not a lot of progress, but it's still annoying. Did see there's meant to be a console command to force a save. I'm aware of that, but I would like to get through this entire run without using the console at all. Yeah, it, it did pop up saying saved when we entered the mine, but if this problem happens again, maybe I just need to very quickly go and tear down those fireplaces. Or it might be a memory leak related thing. And now that we've closed the game and reopened it, it'll be less bad. Right, 24 minutes on this thing. Break you down. Oh, it takes five minutes to break down a campfire. Well, now we know. Hopefully all that goes. You're still melting as it happens. Ah, oh, man. Well, the <laughs> blizzard just comes right back, it seems. Let's keep you going for a little bit longer, shall we? So oh, close to level 5, and I do want that level 5. But I'm kind of low on burnables now, except my coal. But uh, I don't really want to do that. Let's go and just break all these down. Clearly, the game doesn't like them existing. It's a good time of day if it weren't for the blizzard. I think I'll forego the fire. And just sleep. Oh, maybe, maybe now for whatever reason it wants to let me read my book in peace. Where's my book on it? Here we go. Nope, we are too unhealthy, and that's okay. We're never going to want this anyway, because starting fires alone should keep us good. Am I sure I don't want this fire? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Give me the water. Give me the pot. That's a lot of water, so I'll just leave this lying around. Not a lot of food, though. I do need to go out and get myself a source of food. In an emergency, I could eat this dog food and peaches, but I'd rather not. Oh, bye-bye, fire. You will be missed. Also, I don't like how that campfire just glitches through the, the world. Right, what I'm going to do then, whilst... The weather is having a hissy fit. Is yes, I'm going to go over to those branches and tear them apart for their wood. Then I'll probably take a nap and then I'll head out. Uh, where were the really nice branches? Were they? I don't think they were back there. I think they were over here. Can you eat dog food in real life? Yeah, you can. I have not eaten dog food in real life. Because it stinks really badly. What is this? How did I not find this earlier? How in the world did I not find this earlier? 
doesn't appear to be anything here, but that doesn't mean there isn't anything here. Really want to go through that, but it's probably full of nice stuff, so. This is your duty, Shepard. Mmm, ain't that good. Mm mm mm. Too cold to think. Get that fire back on, Shep. And get your clothes back on. It's freezing cold in here. Actually, keep the shoes off. We might still be walking through wet things. I can't tell if I'm wearing those or not. Uh, well, I don't have sure footing, so probably not. Still don't have sure footing. Uh, hmm. You can't wear crampons if you don't have shoes. Ah, so you mean I can't strap sharp bits of metal just to my bare feet and be okay with it? Immersion ruined. Sticks are nice. Sticks are always nice. Coal is also always nice. Hello. Soda and... What have we here? Can opener. Ear wrap. Ear wrap. What a find. Oh, the thing is almost dead, but still, what a find. Um, that's really nice because it's an accessory slot that gives warmth. Heavier than I thought, but still, mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, and it's, it counts as an outside one, so we can use it. I forgot which way I came to get there, though. Yeah, I can fix it up until uh, as long as it doesn't get fully ruined. Is this the way I came through? I don't think so, but I can't tell. I want... Oh, here's an exit. Okay, okay. Right, well, my shoes are still off, so I'll just walk through this water for a bit. Just checking for goodies here, nothing nothing special. I'm not willing to take a dunk through there, it would freeze me in my clothes. But I'm going to tear up the wood that we saw earlier. Did I drink my racial tea for the day? I can't remember if I did or did not. Probably, right? There's no way I'd forget that. Right, you know what? I'm actually not going to wear this right now, for fear of it taking damage. that ear wrap was a good find. Uh, mostly because if I'd left it there for much longer, it would have gotten ruined and gear. probably disappear. That, I might not be fully understanding mechanics there, but I'm quite certain it would have gotten ruined over time. That's assuming that spawns work the way I think they do. It might be that the game just spawns things as you come across it. Maybe if you leave a container for a thousand days and open it, it'll still have goods inside it that aren't ruined, but I don't know. Still though, jings what a find. What a wonderful find right there. Man, Hushed River Valley, what a place. Imagining being blessed enough to start an outer loper run here, my god. All this stuff just handed to you. But no, we got what did we get? Forlorn muskeg. No matches even. Although I think we found matches when we went back to it. Or am I wishfully thinking that? God, I'm glad we came out to explore here. This was an excellent find. If you're not wearing it, it doesn't become a problem. Now go, Shep, go! Mmm, lovely and warm. Get out the freaking water, you moron! There we go. Uh, 
I don't know if inner and outer mm, works here at all, but... Looks like these are the better ones to wear on the outside. The Queen and Country said Shepherd marching into the ice cold. <laughs> uh, now their names are Astrid and Will. But I just think of it as Jane Shepard and John Shepard because of the voice actors. There was somebody who earnestly asked if their name was actually Shepard. No, no it is not. But it's nice to think of, isn't it? Getting a bit tired in here, but at least we're warm. Oh, we can put... Oh, we already put shoes back on, but I want to cram these back. Sure like sure footing. And things weigh less if you're wearing them. Uh, one quarter less, I believe. Where did I leave all those lit ones? Afternoon. I'm gonna need to go out and hunt something to eat. So graphic, everything which is further from your body will wear wear down first. Yeah, but I think it also gives you the windproof protection if it's on the outside, which is what I'm wanting in this case. Where in? the world? Did it leave those uh, those branches? Is this them? This is a longer walk than it. No, this still isn't them. They'll be around here somewhere. I'm so bad at orienteering. You get windproof from boots, not socks. So socks don't give it to you. Interesting. But they do have a windproof bonus. can't ever having th thought about my socks and thinking, ooh, these ones are particularly windproof or not. How about shoes, though? I actually have a pair of running shoes which are awful in cold weather. I was reflecting on that earlier today as I walked down to the shops in them. Still lost in Canada, yeah, but this time I have trousers on. Was I imagining that? No, no, they must be in here, right? Surely. Surely? Yeah, here they are. This is what I was remembering. Takes a while, but eh, what the heck. Oh, just in time for the weather to play up. Still have these pork and beans, at least. Someone's gotta go. But as Shepard correctly points out, we're getting pretty encumbered here. Uh, since I don't need them whatsoever, I'm going to drop the tinder plug. Oh, I only got one. Okay. It's nice to start, but if you start when the sun goes down, you cannot find matches. Imagine how tough it is. You know that matches are right there, but you cannot take it because you do not see it. Oh, you mean in the cave? Uh, yeah. Well, turn up, turn up brightness settings in such a case. Well, we had that happen, didn't we? We did have a spawn in Hush River Valley. So hungry in my life. I think it got dogged to death, but we did. And I had to turn up the brightness just to see where the bleeding matches were, or the guy with the matches. This is a little expensive in our lantern fuel. But I still am sure if I'm going the right way to get out of here. I think I am though. I think I know where I am. Yeah. Backpack here, dead body down there. Did that body have something nice on it? I've managed to forget. What I do know though is that these ice caves are a godsend. And if you are playing this game, if you had cold fusion feet enabled, uh, Probably you'd be warm inside here right from the get-go. God, it sounds grim out there. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I need the light. But, uh... It's really bad out there. I think I'm going to start my fire back up and cook up some of this food. Because I have no intention of losing well-fed.
need the extra carry capacity to get all the goods that I find here out of here. That's a shame. I really... No, there's no cabin fever in coming. We spent ages outside. But uh, yeah, if I go out in that, I'm going to have all sorts of problems. So let's just... Oh... I clicked once instead of holding, so there was another match I just wasted for no good reason. Uh, I was expecting it to give me the prompt because of my cardboard matches. I forgot I'd put them on the floor. Uh, you have a 95% chance of this working, Shepard. Don't screw it up. I don't think I have any plans to play Green Hell. Let anybody sell the game to me, so to speak. Right, just dump on some Cedar. And let's get you cooked up, my beloved pork and beans. There's a ton of calories inside pork and beans, so that's fine. How about the dog food? But pinnacle peaches. I don't think I'll be coming back with either of them, so why not just cook them both? This time I will be making sure I've got my cardboard matches on me. I do not want to repeat that fiasco. Things were heavy. What are we so heavy with? Not even water this time. I don't need a can opener. I don't know if I need an extra one for my shop. But I don't really think I need it. Yeah, the... Oh, that's a lot of heavy, heavy fur firewood. I just drop all of it. Could keep me much lower on the weight. I'm not gonna eat this. I'm probably gonna poke my nose outside. No, I'm, I'm gonna, actually going to sleep instead. It's going to be unfortunate to lose the fire, but... Gobble, gobble, gobble. And you know what, I'm even just going to drink this. I don't think sodas can ever give you food poisoning. You know what, I need a lot bit of fur firewood on this since we have so much of it. It lasts a long time. And I'm going to sleep an hour at a time to see if we can't get rid of the the storm here. And if I'm going to be doing that, there's no good reason not to make a fat lot of water. Yeah, I'll leave it at a time. Yeah, I'm back in Stockholm. What's in the pipeline? As soon as I can, I'm going to move myself down to Balaton. Oh, nice. Just one hour and the wind died down. We've got the portable water. I can put on another fat lot of water. I can take a torch. And we can go and explore what's out there. I am just about going to be overburdened, so I will leave some water behind. I'll drink some other water. And out we go, go. Uh, I'll take it for, with me. Just in case there's uh, something that requires me to start a fire. Do I have coal on me? Yes, I do. And there's plenty of coal here as well. Right, so the fire has died down. Oh, this is clear. This is good. I want to see if I can find an animal to kill. Preferably a wolf, because that, that I can coax. Hello, a wolf! Oh, well, isn't this wonderful? Wolfie, I am hungry, and you are on the menu. This peak makes things a little awkward for me, but I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to equip my dying bow, and hopefully this is the last shot I ever take with the thing. I'm going to coax him to come and follow me by aiming at him. Then when he crests over... There we go, perfect. The bow finally breaks, which is what I wanted, you know. Uh, how warm is it? 
Well, it's only minus four, even so. Jeez, it really is only minus four. I don't even need this fire, but it starts anyway. Dump on some set art, use the torch. Is repairing the bow worth it? It's not just not worth it, it's not possible. Bow breaks, that's it. And even if the bow is losing condition, you can't magically repair it. After all, how would you repair a bow? Sure, modern day we could pump some resins into it, but right. we don't really have that option here. Right, lovely outdoor campfire. Take a, take a bit of fur, because as long as the weather stays relatively clear, this isn't the best wolf I've ever seen, but uh, still going to carve you up. Yeah, we'll use our whetstone to repair our bow. Brilliant idea. Let's take a... Oh, I don't like what that wind is doing, but the fire is holding now. But only for now. Oh, uh, I was thinking about holding on to the meat to try and attract another predator, but I'm not trying to make a TV show here. Yum. Wolves are pack animals. Why is he alone? It's just a bit of a loner, I guess. Let's use the old gut scooper. And I'm going to tear his skin off of my bare hands, but... 22 minutes... This happens every now and then. You just stop being able to interact with a, uh, a wolf. And I think a transition allows you to start interacting with them again, so that's what I'll do. It's gone, so it's hard as heck to see in here, but as long as I can see enough to drop you, we're okay. I only came in here to do a screen transition anyway. Palmar says, howdy. Well, howdy, Palmar. You know, I've been thinking about Caesar 3 lately. Do I have any unplayed Caesar 3 maps from you? Because uh, John's maps are making me feel things. Dreadful things. There we go. Just rip his skin off. Pick up the last of old Wolfie. It's not great eating on a wolf, but... The fact that you can coax them to just about anywhere is very handy in my eyes. Well, that's going on. Is there anything I could be making? Surprisingly not. I don't even have cloth to enjoy. Ah, of course, I can harvest the broken arrow. You have all the maps for me. Five of them. All right, I will, I will consult that list. Be a shame not to just use this for water while I have a fire going. I know, I know, I've got plenty of water, but more is more. Oh, but the wind is really whipping up, and I don't think this fire is protected from the wind, is it? No, but the fire. Oh, yeah, the wind chill's going up. Right, well, uh, here's hoping this wolf meat will still be okay. Oh. Hey. Wait, no! <laughs> what are the odds? The fire is... the wind is coming from behind that tree, so this fire is actually protected. Amazing. Well, make tea while the sun shines. Make racial tea, because I'm a little low on it. Tomorrow I'll need to enjoy another daily dose. It's cold out here, but it only feels like minus two. Uh, surprisingly, the 
fire is still protected from the wind. Even though I'm not. Yeah, there we go. What a well-angled uh, bit of fire this is. Thank you. Melt. Become usable. Drink up. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get this fire back to the cave now, would I? Uh, I mean, maybe. What if I just do that? Oh, yeah. Not sure why I feel so tired. Although I don't know what use that's for me. These guts dry out. We'll let the wolf pelt dry out. And then it's time for us to keep on sleeping, I guess. I'm not sure I can carry much more. This campfire blending into the ground bothers me greatly. I think I'll still leave it there. Oh, crikey, I left my bedroll out. Right, do I need fire for anything else, or is it just time for sleepy buys? I think it's just time for sleepy buys. Mm. You light me up while I think about this. I don't take enough time to just stop and think in this blessed game. I'm way overburdened. That's something to consider. Too much pull, that much I know. Uh, five coal, four on me is plenty for warming up. I don't really think I need to set our wood, but I'm low on sticks. So I'll take it. Or I'll keep it on me, rather. There's repair jobs I wish I'd do. I've got a lot of meat. Uh, the meat I don't need, actually. For now. So I will... Uh, no, no, no. It blends into the ground that way. I'll leave it over here for now. Survival bow is just dead. Dead as a donut. I'll just leave it over there. That weighs me down a little less as well. And I'm never going to survive the outdoors, so just leave this here. Uh, to anybody that can see my shopping list, do I have a copy of Survive the Outdoors in my shop right now? It should be under skill books, fire starting training. I'm curious if I already have one back at the shop or if I need to care about bringing one back. Right. Never mind that. We drink up, we sleep up. Tomorrow is a bright new day. I sleep for nine hours. Actually, are there any skill books I'm missing? I'd love to know. 68 days. It's looking good for Shepard. Drink up, eat up, and then... Ooh, it sounds nasty and windy out there. Could I just, you know, take another hour kit while that rages on outside? Oh, oh, I forgot to drink my racial tea. However, if it's sunny outside, I could enjoy some... Um... I could enjoy some hot racial tea. Keep an eye on your... Yeah, it's a 9%. I do want to do a repair job on it, though. 875, 875, 875. Just eat one of them. I don't think I need to carry any on me. Should be fine calorifically out there. If I read your list correctly, you want the fire starting book and five non-skill books. Fire starting, cooking, and mending are ones that are missing. Really? I need to update that list. I'm certain I left a cookbook back at base. Uh, right. Oh, no, that's an excellent point. I really need to repair that ear wrap. But I don't have any... Ooh, ragged jeans! I can harvest you for cloth. Somehow you get cloth off of this thing. With that cloth... If it's light in here, which it probably isn't. Not surprisingly enough, it's good. Alright, get on it. Don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that is so good. Hmm. Do you want this on the outside to get the windproof stuff on it? But I think having it on the inside makes it wear down less. Uh, hard to say, hard to say, but whatever, there we go. Now I'm probably going to get rid of my crampons in favour of the... Whoa, okay, this is grim. Um, but if I'm sheltered, I should be able to mag lens this. I just want to warm up my cup of tea. Yeah, I think what I'll have is the ear wrap on the inside and the moose satchel on the outside when we get to that. It's worth noting that much like Spec Ops The Line, there is nothing stopping us from turning back. We've gotten an amazing windfall here. Turned out pretty well. But in a sense, we're getting a little greedy. Right, let's get rid of those accursed parasites, please. Ah, there we go. And... a hey, only nine more doses to go. Also, which way is north? Thankfully, we are a diviner, so if we drop a single stick, it shows us that this is north. Alright, great, that's where I'm heading. I suppose one of the big downsides of uh, parasites is that it makes running a big commitment, because you are so low on stamina and awakeness. If you do even a little bit of running, you're going to tire yourself out so much you're going to need to sleep. And soon we're going to be so wrecked with parasites that even sleep isn't going to give us back all of our carry capacity. Which is why I'm being more astute with it than normal. Astute? Nah, prudent. Being more prudent with it than normal. Is there a plan, and if this run ends abruptly, a change in the rule set or anything? Uh... I have no intention of going... Ooh, well, that death didn't count because of reasons. Let's jump back into it. I personally like the attachment of permadeath games. So if I had it in the back of my mind that, oh, you know, it doesn't matter if we die, we'll just keep the gate save going, I wouldn't want to ruin the stream, it would ruin the experience for me. And I'm certain that if I feel that way, others probably do as well. So no, if we die, that's it. The shop will never be complete. I don't think we'll restart the run, because it means 68 days to have lost. It will just go down as a long play that ended, but ended in failure. So, if you want to see the end here, you better hope there isn't a bear just around the back of this tree who's about to maul me and kill me. Broken ribs, parasites, is there any major afflictions that we need for the shop? We have not a dysentery. Actually, if I get somewhere warm, I'll go through the diseases so we can... Not diseases, but the afflictions, so we can all enjoy reading about them together. Yeah, I haven't had infection. We've been pretty fortunate that in the attacks that we've had, the wildlife has not actually given us infection, or even much infection risk. Not sure we've had any infection risk. Uh, infection risk. This whole run. Run dies because Jake starts dissing. <laughs> uh, I don't know the effects of dysentery. But there is really no reason that you would ever find yourself drinking uh, non-potable water in this game. Not a single reason I can think of. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Honestly, uh, as a game balance thing, I would recommend that they make all the water you get from toilets be non-potable. Because at least then there's some readily available water that you might in some situations want to drink if you're completely void on fire and that's your only water. Die if I don't warm up soon. Because otherwise the only way to get non-potable water uh, the only way to get yeah the only way to get non-potable water is to boil snow or rather warm up snow. And if you're doing that it doesn't take much longer just to boil it and make it safe anyway, so why even risk the uh, the unsafe water? I do not know. 
Right, this is where parasites really start bringing me down because... Our maximum health has become so low because of frostbite parasites that a single attack would be ruinous for us. I'm maybe going a bit ham on collecting these sticks, but I want a lovely warm fire and probably some birch tea real soon. I find it weird you can't just eat the snow. It's freshly fallen, safe to eat. So the in-game reason that your character gives is that they know that the hypothermia would kill them if they ate snow. But sure enough, I don't see much of a good reason why the why this fresh snow is considered uh, horrible to drink. All right, it should be warm inside here. Minus seventeen at the front and at the back. A balmy eleven degrees. Hello, gloves. Firewood. Pry but. Wait, this is a guaranteed match spawn. Yeah. Why do matches have condition? Okay. Sweet. Real sweet. I don't even need that pry bar, but it's mine now. Curiously, could I start a fire here? I don't really care about it lasting long or not, but apparently not. But what if I were here where you think it's outdoors? Maglens? Yeah. Right, I got a lot of sticks. I'll start a wee fire. Do you really need more matches? It's not about needing at this point, Lizard. Right? We have had our days of tight belts and shoestrings. Now is the day of being fat and greedy. The times of plenty are upon us. Plenty of parasites, perhaps, but plenty nonetheless. That did it. It did do it, Shepard. Now, still bollockingly cold out here. Do I throw in a lot of sticks or what? Why did I even start this fire? Cold. Don't remember, actually. Um, was I wanting to make water or make anything? Oh, I wanted some birch bark tea, that was it. Put the fire a little too far away, fortunately for me. Does that. I have racial mushrooms to make. Can you start a fire in a mine with the mag lens on the spot where the light shines through from above? I do not know. I should have actually just started this fire and used a torch to drag it to the back of the cave. I didn't think that one through clearly enough. Racial tea. Racial tea. Here a bit to where I warm up. That's right, it's warmer further away from the fire because of the way indoor heating works. It's weird. We're getting to a really nice and warm time of the day, which is excellent for us. Let's make the last of our prepared mushrooms. I can't wait to get rid of these parasites, oh boy. Oh, nothing but embers on you. Have a couple of sticks. Do I want the water? Uh, yes, actually. And it's still quite windy out there, so there's no, no big problem with me hanging around in here for a bit. And I have a lot of sticks, so here, just take my sticks. I'll get the temperature from this, if nothing else. And I'll be able to run here if uh, times look grim. There is a way up to a place called the Mammoth Falls, and there is a lake cave up there. Uh, it involves climbing up a rope, which is going to exhaust us, so that's pretty bad. Uh, is there any good side to this? I'm not so sure. I need to drop something. Mm. I'm just going to let this boil out, but I'm going to take an hour kip here. Yeah, maybe more than an hour. Feels like 10 degrees next to this thing. I'm fairly certain I'll be fine just sleeping here for two hours. Just need to deal with my horrific uh, tiredness. Let's see, so 
survived. Fine with what I have, largely, but I think I'll prepare some lovely hot rose hips, regardless. Sprain risk means I can't climb up that uh, rope. So, 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 what do I leave behind? Some of that water, but I need my bed roll back on me anyway, and it's heavy. It's also heavy. So many heavy things. Probably this massive amount of sticks if I had to blame anything, so I'm going to drop a few kilos worth of sticks. Fairly confident I'll find loads when I head up anyway. You can drop both of you, and now I am lovely and light, relatively well rested. So you're coming with me, so are you, you, oh, it wasn't ready. Well, no big deal. And whatever constitutes a good torch. Yeah, we still have little babies in our belly still, but hey, it will be gone in nine days, so at least there's that. The good torches rolling. How are we doing on torches anyway? You know, I always carry loads of torches on me, but believe me, there's good reason. <laughs> it's my portable pile of uh, increasingly heavy sticks, of course. But actually, I should I should give up on my torch obsession. I should be able to make do with about five or six really good torches from now on. Actually, screw that. Give me a good torch. Better torch. Great. Thank you, everything this mine had to offer, but it uh, only feels like minus 10 out here. It's going to get even better if I find a second pair of thermals, and I do have a second pair of thermals back at the uh, the base. Oh, cute little rabbits. Cute, delicious looking rabbits. Mmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to elevate our mind like airplane glue. Oh jeez, are we sure we want to? This looks like a big climb, and for what? No, really, and for what? Did I leave stuff back in the cave that I actually wanted to go back for? Because this is starting to seem like a really risky thing that has no real payoff. Ah, screw it, no guts, no glory. We're climbing up, Shepard. Moving on up, moving on out. We get so tired so fast. I suppose as long as the blizzard doesn't hit, we could take a nap on the way up, but that's wishful thinking. <laughs> like how quickly we slow down because of everything. Right. Take a kip here, Shep, grab those. How's the sprain risk? Pretty awful. I think I'll go up to the next bit and see how we fare. Yeah, I don't think I do need to take a nap on the way up. Doing this with parasites is harsh, yeah, but we're here to do harsh things. Stim would solve my problems, but I want to keep those for the store. Right, up on the ledge. It, feel, it looks and feels really dangerous when you do that. Right, fortunately, this looks like a really well sheltered place to make fire. So we'll make start a fire, take a nap, and then continue up. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a trek to the next... Or is it? Actually, I think we could just take the cave system up here. Yeah, there, oh my goodness, I could have just... Oh well, whatever. <laughs> turned out pretty well. It did turn out pretty well. Shove on a bit of coal for the warmth. Shove on the cedar firewood for the length. Say goodbye to that torch. And now pray for no horrible storms getting us while we do this. Just gonna sleep for an hour at a time. We don't need the. Uh, we don't need the condition.
weather. Oh, it got pretty windy, but we're protected here, so don't worry about it. Downright cozy. It is downright cozy. Largely protected from the elements. It's lightly snowing, but the water here is keeping us good. No need to worry about water. We can just use what Mother Nature provides. A little concerned about the food. Kind of wishing I'd hunted those rabbits now. Uh, a little bit more sleeping and should be good to keep going. So I will make another liter and a half of water. Sleep for that hour. Hopefully up top there's something we can hunt for food. Uh oh, oh that sounds bad. That sounds really bad. Uh, it's okay, it's just wind, it's not a blizzard. Uh, we are not in sprain risk territory anymore, although we will be when we pick you up. Kind of tempting just to sleep for another cheeky hour. Just because we're so darn tired. I will. Don't worry about the fire, it, uh, it's not going to blow out like that. And because the ambient temperature is so cold, it's going to burn for longer than advertised. It said it's going to burn for about 50 something minutes, but when we wake up, there's still going to be about 35 minutes left on the fire. Eh, close enough. Now, it's still going to be too heavy, but that's okay. I can leave this here as a reminder. You are not alone in this climb. Nice. Now give me a good torch. Eh, good enough. Let's go. Oh, right. The torch is going to be blown out. <laughs> it was only like 20 feet. We still had to go. Shepard is such a baby. But babies need babied. There we go. Right. We are really hungry. We don't actually have anything to eat, do we? Not a sausage, only water. So let's hope that there's something or someone to eat up here. Uh, if there are deer, I'd rather a wolf killed it. I'm not confident with being able to shoot a deer dead with my bow. Shouldn't be grabbing every stick in sight, but it's, it's nature kicking in. Uh, so I think over here is the way back to the cave system. Yeah, through all that. And whilst going in there is an option, I'm really hungry. So, oh, but maybe there are... Maybe there are... Cattails! This is fresh water, right? Must be, it's coming from a... Uh, or one of those things, a waterfall. It's really cold because of the wind, though. Really cold. I'm surprised it hasn't blown out our torch. Right, there we go. That's not necessarily our food problem solved, but it will stave off starvation for a while. How is the waterfall not frozen? Moving water is hard to freeze, Alpha. No, fire starting is not at level 5, but trust me, it's tempting to grind it out out here just for the increase in uh, burn time from everything I burn. Heavens knows we have the sticks for it. Oh yeah. Right, uh, what I really need is uh, something to eat, something with meat on it. Commander Shepard had to go a long time subsisting on cattails now that he is the alpha predator. He kind of wants something a bit more delectable. I mean, no, Shepard. Quit bloody moaning about it at every opportunity. Uh, can I get out of here if I climb down there? And how in God's name has this not been blown out? I think I managed to get some kind of uber hacks torch. Okay, good. I can go down here without risking my risking my neck. It's just wind chill, and we all know wind chill doesn't affect water. Right, more cattails for the cattail god. Uh, 
I'm leaving behind the cattail heads because we do not need tinder and that's all they are. And there we go, I knew that would happen eventually. That's something we said for continuing on to the lake cave rather than um, double back to the winter mine. The lake cave might necessitate a fire, but it will be warm, there's no doubt about that. Also, there might be things to kill on the way. Um, I'm game for that. There we go. I'm sure parasites have a hard time digesting um, cattails. I know we do. Where did you put your moose hide? The moose hide is in the cave system to the north of Forlorn Muskeg. We're going to pick it up on our way back down and craft the moose hide satchel. And then we will have the maximum carry capacity available of 45 kilos. At least until they add in that weird sled-like thing, which allows you to drag more gear, but lowers your speed and maneuverability. I don't know how they're going to balance that, because that's something I think I'd always want. I love to, I love to loot damn near everything. Right, so this is Monolith Lake coming up. Got to keep an eye on my hypothermic risk and my condition for what it's worth, but uh, we can sleep and birch bark condition back, as long as it doesn't get so low that an animal attack is risky. But even if we do get animal attacked, we have a protection rating of 40% and the hatchet. Those two things combined make animal attacks, at least wolf attacks, not so bad. I, had, I do not have enough data on what that does for bear attacks, though. Cattails, cattails, you look like cattails. You're not cattails. None of you are cattails. Must be something here. They wouldn't put this here without anything. Oh, I don't want to run. Running's bad. Ah, oh, this is a fat waste of time. Maybe it, maybe there's something here and I can't see it because it's so dark. So let's hightail it over to the cave of assumed warmth. Oh, I know who that is. Oh, and I don't like it. And it's certainly a lot of food, but... Uh... Let's keep our distance. Last thing I want up here is to augment my parasites with broken ribs. Alright, this cave's got my name on it, and hopefully it doesn't have a moose's name on it. Oh, hello. Right, it's nice and warm in here, and there's a ragged uh, wolf and some fleecy mittens. And a book on surviving the outdoors. Accelerant. Oh, cloth. Cloth is just gold to me. Right, I should be able to harness the wolf, well, what's left of this wolf meat, without uh, getting cold. Yeah, we're actually warming up. We're just using our stretch arm strong to grab that. Um, I would like to spare the match and not light this up. I'd rather just sleep here and subsist on cattails for a little bit. There should be a lot more cattails here anyway. And then hopefully in morning time there'll be a lovely bright light for us to um, for us to start a fire with using our mag lens. Well, mooses are not coed by fire, Alpha, so it doesn't really matter. As long as I don't run into the moose when I'm exiting, we should be fine. I don't think I can safely kill the moose though, because there's no tree to cower up. So yeah, we're just going to sleep here for the time being. And hopefully we're fine without a fire. Uh, is it bright enough to... No, it's not bright enough to do any mending. But I could take this and tear you apart. Because honestly, this is useless to me. So are these, funnily enough. But I get cured leather and I don't really want that. Well, whatever. Probably lighter to carry cured leather than the work boot things. Yeah, cured leather is only 100 grams. Like 
something is sapping my energy. I really want to repair these socks as well. Many things I want to do that cost cloth. Cloth is one of the hardest things to find. Now risk is gone. Time to just drink up. And I hope I didn't just see the moose back there. <laughs> I thought I saw something moving over there. I'm gonna uh, back my way as far back into the cave as I can and then enjoy my lovely bedroll. I'm gonna sleep for two hours at a time in case something really makes the temperature go way down. Train repair, save that precious cloth. Uh, but do you need cloth to train repair? Unless you read something about it or you repair with something that doesn't need cloth. Like uh, rabbit skin gloves or bear skin roll? I don't know if that needs cloth or not to repair. Hopefully not. Oh, is that Aurora? It certainly is lighter than I expected. Not that Aurora matters. Actually, Aurora would despawn the moose. But no, that doesn't look like Aurora. Very nice bright night, though. Certainly is a beautiful game. Uh, you cannot repair crampons, sadly. And scrap metal is difficult enough to come by as an outer loper. Right, eh, it's nice enough, but I'd really rather just sleep till morning. That's the thing, having these parasites is really slowing down the amount that we can move around, just because we get so tired so quickly. Ooh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go out in that. There's a blizzard. So, the blizzard could actually drop the temperature in here dangerously low, so I'm going to continue to sleep for a short period of time at a time. And then it's time to consider uh, firing up a fire and cooking up this wolf meat. Got about two kilos of it, which is rather nice. Oh, Jesus, it's unpleasant out there. I think I'm going to be spending the match after all. Blizzard, blizzard, go away. Oh, good. Is it bright enough to mag lens, though? It doesn't look like it, but... It is certainly not. Okay, well... I don't particularly need anything out of you. Uh, well, I was sleeping while dehydrated, wasn't I? Shame on me. Feels like minus 24. Alright, uh, how much do I have to burn here? I will actually start the fire in the outdoors area of the mine just so it lasts a bit longer. Here we go, go. I'll slam on a bit of coal and some sticks. That should keep me warm. I'll cook up the wolf meat, make some water, and then it's time to move. There's a peak cave nearby, which I'll probably be spending the next... Oh my god, Shepard, you have 90% chance. Nin Did I just use another freaking cardboard match? Probably. Yeah, I think I heard the striking sound again. God, I hate the order which it, uh, which it does that menu. You have a lit torch in your hand. Better use a match. Oh, oh. There we go. You have a spark at your fingertips. Your skills are legendary. Fires start 50% faster and last 50% longer. Well then, coal. Ah, that's good. I'll slam on the firewood as well. Mm, nah, slam on the sticks. Be good for keeping us warm. I want a good deal of water while we're at it, and 800, 500 odds, there we go. I've got to sleep for another hour, unless I can think of something else to use the time productively on. Wait, didn't I grab some cloth? 
Okay, great. Wool climbing socks. Time to repair you. I really want you in very good nick. I will use the fishing tackle, actually. Don't fail. Very nice. Very, very nice. You get the Aurora mine. I've never seen it. It'd be nice having Aurora sign the night prior or something. Uh, but that would give you a warning. That would that would strip the fear out of it all, of course. Did I lose my uh, use my last cloth? No, I still have one more cloth. Is there anything that necessitates uh, um, fixing? Kind of. Whoa! This rabbit skin that's taken a lot more damage than I thought. Same with the mitts, but our warmth bonus is still pretty damn good. These wool skin coats, now they're hardcore. I don't have any things to do to pass the time at the moment. So when in doubt, grab your blade and start sharpening it. And I do have two whetstones, so all the more reason to ruin this one through excessive use. Actually, another good idea would be to take a nap, since we're already getting tired. I think I will. That meat should actually last pretty long. I doubt it'll get ruined if I just take a cheeky little nap. Uh, I don't see any point in harvesting Wolfie some more. It's not like I'm ever coming back to watchful minds, especially for guts. Oh, wow. I was completely wrong. That did burn out. What a waste, but oh well. Let's grab a not terrible torch. Get moving. Also. Oh, also, also. Tea. What kind of tea? Got some birch bark tea. Uh, wait, is it first light? Have I drank my... Did I drink my racial tea for the day? I don't think I did. All right, racial tea then. Uh, I don't need carcass harvesting experience. I'm pretty sure I'm level five at that. Am I? No, but I'm so close. That's hilarious. That's okay. Next, next uh, carcass we harvest will be fine. Pretty good. The oh, right. So there's Moosey. Let's not let Moosey have any reason to want to stomp our ribs into jelly again. So I'll look over here. So following up along here, there'll be a place called Peak Cave. Get head over to there and see what's in Peak Cave. We will <laughs> take a gander at it. Right, that looks like a rabbit who I also want to show Peak Cave to. The moose is way outside of aggro range, he says unconvincingly, because he doesn't really know, but he likes to pretend that he knows what he's saying. Oh, I only have one stone. Right, I need to also find some more stones. Pet rabbit. Pet the rabbit. Too heavy. I know. Uh, I'm gonna need that stone back though. There's another rabbit. I saw one rabbiting around here. Anyone? Anyone see it? Shame. So, Alright, it'll make itself known soon enough. There's a wide variance in how fat and juicy those rabbits can be. It really sucks to get the smallest one, which I think is only 800 grams of harvestable meat. Keep the worms, make this a paraloper run. So you can die from worms. You need to treat them. They will eventually make your max health go down to one, and then bye-bye. 
In fact, if they make your max health go down to just 10, that's bad enough, because you, you lose fine control of your character at 10% health, and it only gets worse and worse as it goes below 10% health. Your character ends up staggering, you won't even be able to move forward. That's... Uh, it's a horrible fate. Especially if you're so close to somewhere that you're going to live. Like, there's a door in front of you to a nice warm barn. And you just need to get in, but you're at 5% health, and then you stagger to the right by about 10 meters. And then you try to correct yourself, but no, he staggers uh, backwards for another 2 meters. And then, oh, now you're down at 3% health, because you're still taking hypothermic damage or whatever your problem is. And then, oh, well, no, you're not getting in. Now you're dead. Horrible. Have you ever died from worms? I think it's anti-worm propaganda. Well, I'm giving it my best shot, aren't I? Just want to showcase everything in the game, if you'll believe that. I won't, but maybe somebody will. You can see why they call this place Peak Cave. This is further up than I was expecting. Ooh, forgot to throw you down. Grabbed the wrong torch, but that's okay. Yeah, red on the condition bar is getting real huge. It's pretty heavy. Fortunately, it's not that cold, so we're not losing out big time, but I, I could have done with some more rabbits here. A lot more rabbit. Sleeping here might not be such, an, uh, such a great idea, because, yeah, oh, there's my grumbly tumbly. I do not want to lose well fed. Not at all. I have teas, but eating teas, or rather drinking teas to alleviate starvation, terrible trade. Stick, so I might just start the fire at the back of the cave rather than the front. Since we have fire starting five, they're going to burn extra long anyway. Although the outdoor bonus compounds with that. There are some crows. Some say they mean something. Not convinced. Ooh, maple saplings. I will probably leave them. I've got no good use for them right now. Although, if I'm going to leave them, I may as well leave them inside this cave to cure. Cut fire in here. I will... Oh, hello. Might be some savior goodies in here. It only feels like minus 14. I might as well start the fire in the nice area. Not using the cardboard matches. Better spend all your arrows trying to shoot some... <laughs> no, I better not. Look at how fast this goes at level 5. Oh, I'm never going to want to start a new game ever again. Now... Just throw on the sticks. We have a lot of sticks. Uh, that should be good. That should be good for a long, long time. Firewood I don't need. Hello, memento cache. I doubt I have the key for you. Oh, and I don't know where that key is. Could be anywhere. They could. There is a relatively fixed position of where it could be, but I don't know where that is. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness indeed. I'm just going to chuck that summit soda. Too heavy for what it is. Jake, dear Jake, will you ever pick up Patrician 4 again? Your playthrough of the game made me waste another 20 to 30 hours in the game recently. No, no. If I touch that game again, I did everything. Absolutely everything that Patrician has to offer. Patrician 4 at least, some would say you didn't play Patrician 3, the better game. Alright, we've maxed out the carcass harvest the carcass harvesting. What does that mean anyway? Carcass harvesting. 30% reduction in hide and gut harvesting time, 50% reduction in harvesting times. 
Wow, we can rip off a rabbit carcass in no time. Sweet. This food does practically nothing, but you're good in 16. I don't really think I want your your guts and things. Um, gonna get a racial, uh, not a racial tea, a rose hip tea, chug it and then head out there. I want to see what else is out there whilst the going is good. And then I'll come back here for a nap and then head down. I cannot waste all my time here because I'm too hungry for it, but this should be fine for a wee bit. Yeah, we got a nice calorific boost. Uh, I am overburdened as well, so I'm actually going to dunk my waters here. You're still good, right? Yeah, you're still good. Um, and dunk other things that are weighing me down. I can always come back for them later, and indeed I will be, but... Tonk, 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 and a fun load of sticks as well. Twenty of them here. And now I'm not overburdened, so it's no big deal. Chug, chug, chug. Saplings, Jake. Thanks for the reminder. I was absolutely going to forget about my saplings. Saps. Hello, not very... Terrible torch. It's a great torch. Rabbits are something I'll happily take out. If there's a wolf here, all the better. Goodness, it's windy. I'm surprised the torch is holding. Oh, I can hear a wolf. That's a good sign. If I could lure him into the cave, then all the better. But he'd probably get spooked by the fire. Actually, I think this is a dead end, so I might be out of luck. But at least I'd be able to see the wolf. If you're going to cure the saplings here, why don't the rabbits get... I don't really want to waste the time. Hang on. Crows. Where are the crows? Also another sapling to add to the pile. Oh god, they're all the way over there. That's definitely down the way. It's probably not what I'm after. Definitely untreading territory for me. I've never been up this way in Hush River Valley. Anything further up? Doesn't look climbable. Oh god, this looks like death if I even think about climbing it. There's my friend the moose down there. Well, there's a whole lot of not much around here, isn't there? This didn't seem like a good use of my time. At all. Just getting more tired, more hungry, and uh, less fed. I'm gonna take a wee nap till it's late afternoon, and then make my way out. Tragic place this is. No, no. check around here. There's some way up and around. Oh boy, no. No, no, no. Or no. Can't really tell what the, cor or the crows are circling over, but... Even if it's a ravaged carcass, unless it's a particularly juicy bit of deer, it's not going to do me much good. Right, saplings on the ground. We take a quick nap to warm up and get our... Uh, tiredness taken care of a bit more, and then we head on out. Ugh, as if I'd ever come up here for these saplings, but at least they are here. Mm, don't know how much of that wood and stuff I'm going to want to take with me, but... Take an hour cap. Wait, was it even warm in that thing? I should have checked. I think it says something like plus three degrees. Yeah, it wasn't very warm at all. That is funny. Right. I bet it's a lot warmer here. Yeah, it certainly is. 
I'll take my other. Wait. It, get over here. There we go. That seems a lot better. I will take this kit, though. Perfect time for the Logitech key. Thankfully, it's not a Logitech keyboard. It's a Corsair. Corsair K95, I believe. Don't boil dry. You come with me. Sprain risk is fine. I'll just ditch some water, drink some other water. Probably drink a tea to get myself the, the warming up bonus. Do I have a rose hip? I do have a rose tip. Perfect. And then you warm up here. I'll take one of you, a bunch of you. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Ah, the chef can handle it. It's only 41, that's not too shabby. But this tiredness problem is becoming a real big problem. Also, we are hungry. Real hungry. Oh, that's a great torch. Too great. I'm gonna add it to my great torches collection. Which is way too big. I have too many. Whoa, I've got way too many torches, actually. Um, there we go. I'll feel a little bit better if I lighten my load considerably. There we go. And in fact, none of these are 100% torches, are they? Oh, there's one. There are 200% torches, actually. Oh, never mind that. Uh, take your tea, but don't drink it yet. And let's go. Hmm. There we go. Maybe grab the makings for another rose hipper. Now, I need food pretty badly. Don't do that. Don't do that. Actually, I wonder if I could billy goat down there rather than taking the long way around. Now, we'll take the long way around. There might be some rabbits. And since I lightened my load a bit, I should be able to uh, grab a rabbit or two. But we're going to go around and over to the ice cave entry that I left behind. Or there is another cave that I could go to. Alright, I might try the other cave. We're just harvesting what we can as we go along. As long as we keep ourselves fed and warm. Every hour, every day that passes is another hour closer to having the accursed... Uh, friends in our tummy go away. Although uh, uh, that moose over there wants to directly apply new friends into us. Left and right front hoof. As we know, the moose has amazing pathfinding, so let's not put that to the test. He is walking over here, though. Those are those crows, right. Maybe there's a deer to be had? How many more days in the parasites? Eight more days and they're gone. We have done 12 days of curing them. Oh, it is a... Wait, it's not them, is it? I'm confused. I want to check up here. I thought they were flying above this. Okay, well, clearly... I am, once again, a member of the wrong club. Wait, a human corpse? I thought I saw a deer. My eyes playing many, many tricks on me today. I could have sworn I saw a deer. Was I just looking at this thing? Yes, I was. Oh, well. What do you have on you? Oh, a shirt's actually good. Oh, that is very nice. Could do without the extra heft, but uh, could always do with warming myself some more. Yeah, long pork is good food, and we are guy hungry. But if we take this way around, we should be able to find another cave. Mm -hmm. Food is the bigger and more pressing issue right now. Oh, wait. Wait, when did I get this? How long have I had that dog food on me? Did I pick it up inside the cave? Did I eat it before the game crashed and then since we reloaded it's back in our inventory? The dog food is on the corpse you found. Maybe. 
He picked it up with a shirt. Oh, must have passed me by. How'd you get parasites? I accidentally ate a raw one kilogram of bear meat in the darkness. And I'm a little bitter because the game is meant to warn you when you eat raw meat. But uh, it doesn't do it if you did it the way I menued it. Which I think was just double clicking it from the inventory. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. But Shepard was clearly so hungry he didn't care. He swallowed it down and the following parasites and food poisoning have been an enormous dampener on our excursion to Hush River Valley. Oh, to find some place to... mm -hmm. wolf meat. You were just talking about wolf meat and it's not very cold. How ravaged are you? 1.3 kilos of delicious is what I'm seeing, so let's not use cardboard matches. I'll just slam on some sticks. Oh, I love how fast you make fires at level 5. Seriously, starting a new game after this is going to feel like hell, so I might just not. Right. Uh, it's not a big deal, so I'm just going to slam on some coal, a few little sticks for extra time, and... I shouldn't even need to make water on you, but I will make a cheeky little half liter. Barely takes any time at all. Carve you up with... I mean, I could do it with my bare hands, but I like using the hacksaw. You're going to walk so fast on a new game without all that baggage. Yeah, not for very long, though, because I'll be grabbing everything I see. Doggies bits, do I? But I am waiting for this stuff anyway, and my amazing skills should make this come off with ease. Just rip the poor dog's skin off with my bare hands. It's just so metal. I like it. Let's see, condition is fine, no need to worry about that. And we'll use the old gut scooper to scoop out the guts. Keeps me warm as well. It's no big deal, there should be a... A uh, cave right next to me. Eight more days on the belly worms. Goodness, those crows went away, seeing as what I've just done here. A little bit of tea on there. I can see some ingredients. Lesson learned, I'm never going to store my raw meat with my cooked meat ever again, especially in places that I'm going to be sitting in darkness. Just needing to sleep so often is such a big downside. Water here, cook the rose hips here. Anything else with my name on it? I could tear this thing apart quite easily, actually. But uh, it would burn my other stuff. Mm. That's some charcoal. I'd rather a lot of charcoal, actually. This, I think, is the vista point. So if I go around here... No, that's the rope. It's not the right place. But I think up where I was is actually a vista point for making a map. So I might do that next to my fire. I figured it would be up there, but I can't see a way up to it. Why is I sleeping cat? Because interloper parasites are horrible. Ah, uh, but it's fine. Oh, well, let's stay near you. Let's grab this and go, go, go. 
Wow, look at that. Not too shabby, but I think actually the Vista Point is up there somehow. Oh, that's an unpleasant wind. Right, give me my water. Yeah, campfire's about to go. I didn't get that much food here, but it's good to know that I've got my dog food if the need arises. Sustain the fire, that's fine. We have ways of passing the time. I'd have more and better ways if I just had a bearskin bedroll, but we'll be getting that next time we're back at the shop. We have the two bearskins back at the shop, and we have a source of cloth. Its name is Bedroll. It's probably going to get hacked up for it. I mean, where is the Vista Point? Is this the Vista Point? It is called Pensive Vista, after all. Do we have a way of getting further up? Vista gives incredible surveying powers. I've seen it in action once before, and I'd like to do it myself. But, uh, climbing up this thing seems non-trivial. Uh, okay, well, maybe I can do it from the bottom and still be okay. It is still called the Pensive Vista, even when I'm looking at it from here. So let's give this a go, shall we? Bye-bye, warmth. Huh, still wasn't very good. Do I have to do it from up here? Maybe there's a way up to that that's beyond me? Damn. Freezing. Yeah, good point. It is getting a tad chilly here, Shepard. Right, sticks, firewood, coal, it's all good stuff. We won't have space for it all, but we'll take a snooze at the back of the place. Wouldn't need a fire. I mean, look at that, it feels like 13 degrees in here. The uh, only real problem is this bedroll is falling to pieces, it's 20%. Uh, if it gets really cold in here, it might not be enough to keep us warm, but I think it would take a blizzard through the night to really cause that. So, we're going to chug up on water, sleep the night away, and then we're going to move. But where are we going to move to? Uh, I'm going to go to the second mysterious signal fire point, and then that's it for Hush River Valley. We're going to leave... We have found so many goodies here, and the other signal fire point could have more goodies, but it's the last place I truly want to check for it. I'm going to sleep two hours at a time, because I don't want to risk freezing to death out here. Uh, there is an idea for moving out even when it's night time, though. Depends how well I can... Is that an aurora? Pretty bright out there, but that's not an aurora, it's just a very bright moon. You need the Polaroid for it to be good, and then it tells you, really? I thought I had the Polaroid if it says this stuff, it. it might be right. But it's, it's good information to know that the game tells you when it's good, so thanks for that. Besides, it burned up a couple of our charcoals, and heavens knows we have too much of that heavy stuff. Okay, I'm actually going to get moving, even though it's cold as uh, hell out there. It would be nice to find a wolf to slaughter while we're out there. We're going to go out and around here, back down to the water. Feels like utterly, butterly freezing, but that's okay. We can handle a bit of condition loss for now. Only a bit, though. Look at that max health. <laughs> it just looks awful. It makes me look like I've got a much more frostbite than I have, even though I have a lot of frostbite. It's not my fault. If the game had not no-clipped me with that wolf, I would never have gotten that frostbite, because I would have been wearing my trousers. 
But we're rolling with those punches. Can't wait to like finish this campaign, and then when I continue on, I'm definitely removing that frostbite. Ah. But not till we're done. That can be Shepard's reward for filling up the shop. Somebody comes and sells some frostbite medicine. But it's a misnomer. It's medicine that gives even more frostbite. And he's certainly lost a few inches. You know, from losing his kneecaps. I'd hate to wait just a match warming up around here, but this is certainly going to be a bit of cold damage. Uh, oh god, that's further than I thought. Hopefully it was a fast way down. Not too fast, though. Gotta remember, our knees don't bend so well anymore. Uh, we've not lost any fingers or any toes, Bemily, but we've lost both of our kneecaps. We tumbly. I really wonder if your hunger goes down faster when you have the parasite, so it makes sense. But I can't see any indication that it's going down faster. Maybe it's something you could time. I think I see some cattails here with my name on them. Just to stave off starvation a bit more. Thank god this isn't a blizzard, because I wouldn't be able to find my way around here. Even though it's windy as sin, it's still relatively clear, thankfully. Oh god, the wind is right in my way here. Yeah, he hasn't got Bash Street Kid knobbly kneecaps, that's for sure. The fragile Canadian pink wafer ligaments are no shortage of uh, anger to me in this, but since we got the crampons, we've had a lot less uh, breaking our bits. Okay, to report. I think there are more of them over there, am I right? Am I right? Might be all that we have to stave off starvation, so I'm going to be grabbing cattails from here. This this whole area has not been very good for hunting. There doesn't seem to be much wildlife up here apart from one rabbit and a very angry moose. Which I am not keen on testing the waters with, so to speak. Thoroughly considering using a map just to warm up at this rate, this is uh, not a great place to be for us. Yeah, the double arrow on the food bar, I'm pretty sure, is because we are moving. If we stop moving, it doesn't go double down. But what's all this then? That's the waterfall. So, so, so. I don't actually think I want to go that way. Although I'm not sure. I don't know this area. This area at all. Um... Guess I'll cross here and then take an immediate left. I just don't want to go. I didn't want to go down in case down was the very wrong way to go. Damn, this wind is uh, savage, but shouldn't be walking against it anymore when we go in this direction. It's still slowing us down. So is our own weight. I'm going to chuck some water to alleviate some weight. I check on hypothermic risk, make sure that's not going to bad places. I've already lost quite a lot of condition on this walk. And I hear a wolf. If that's good news or bad, remains to be seen. It's dark, so it'll be hard to land a hit on him if he comes charging at me, especially thanks to this uneven terrain. Oh, Jesus. Alright, come on, Wolfie. Alright, uh, let's 
saves me some bother. Right, we're safe from the wind here, apparently. Maybe not. Where's the wind coming from? Alright, well, apparently okay from the wind right here. Right. I obviously can't magnifying lens this one, but let's just get ourselves a wee fire going here to warm up and enjoy eating Fido. Not that cold. One bit of coal and have a lot of sticks, so just take a lot of sticks, my friend. As long as the wind doesn't change course, this should be fine. I'll get my arrow back. Wait, why did you have two? Wow, okay. Uh, oh, okay. My arrows didn't multiply there. They just felt like they did. I get some very quick ones to put on the fire so I can immediately start cooking. Uh, not the guts. Why the hell do I have guts? Who did I gut? Did I tear apart the wolf earlier without realizing it? I mean, in a way, this is good. It'll make the wolves come for me faster, but still. Unexpected. Level 6 archery duplicate arrows on it. <laughs> Sounds like a way to break a roguelike game. Yeah, maybe I did scoop the rabbit, but there was only one rabbit. That's two guts. Riddle me that. Despite weight, I think I'm going to rip off Fido's uh, skin with my bare hands, just for the hell of it. I mean, what's the point in having level 5 carcass harvesting if we don't flaunt it every now and then? Plus, this is giving us a good opportunity to warm up. You took apart the dead wolf. That sounds about right, yeah. That's exactly where those guts came from, thanks for that. Right, gut scooper. Scoop those guts. Since it's nice and cold out here, this fire is lasting forever, so let's just enjoy that. We'll have a raw bit of you. Mm hmm. I like that small bit of uh, dog meat when all is good. For now, though, seems like a decent idea just to sleep here. If I can find a decent place to put this down. Yeah, just give me a cheeky hour in there, please. Don't blizzard me. Well, even if it does blizzard me, I should be close to the ice cave. Actually, no, because I'm not going to the escape. I'm going to the mysterious signal fire. Also, going into the fire at that rate. Nothing mysterious about this fire. Gib, gib. You get done nice and quickly. You'll get done even quicker in one of this, however. Uh, shaving off a good bit of time. I stink, but I've just gone and killed the only wolf here, I believe, so that's fine. The top is windy. I don't think it is though. The trees aren't blowing around. There's no clouds to tell in the sky, but I think we're fine. I'll heat up some racial tea. Uh, not racial tea, birch bark tea. Before I head on back down and around here in the hunt for the mysterious signal fire. This fire is still going to be burning for quite a while, but that's okay. And as for weight, we're well overweight because of doggy. Um, well, partially because of doggy. I'm going to drop doggy and doggy guts here and hope that I remember to pick them up on the way back. Because this way is not taking me to the ice cave. Although, maybe I can drop down to the ice cave from the fire. I'm 
thought of that. That's possible. It's so possible I'm going to accept the possibility and take this with me. Take that, take that, take that. Could eat doggy, lose weight. I've already eaten a fair bit of doggy. Give me a good one of these, please. A good one of these, please. Uh, I mean, that's decent, but I want good. That's good enough. <laughs> I said good, not good enough, though. Keep ourselves watered up. We drag ourselves ever closer to not having little friends in our belly. They're in the right way here. I don't know. So slow. Why am I so heavy? Oh, I suppose extra kilos of uh, meat isn't helping, but that's okay. We have the warming up bonus, if nothing else. So if I hold to the left, I should be able to wrap around to the second mysterious signal fire. From my understanding, the signal fires have great loot. Although we already looted the one that had the stupendous loot, this other one might still have some goodies. And it is the last place we intend on looting in Hush River Valley. There is more to this area, but truthfully, you could spend an in game month here and not find everything, I believe. We will not be spending an in game month here. We know we're going the right way if we find our path blocked by shrubbery. Fortunately, we have the makings to trim down the shrubbery, although it's tempting to start a fire to get around it. I don't think there's any crafty way to just walk over this, is there? Okay, maybe. This almost looks like you could just make your way up and over it. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Nice! Tried that in the other place and it did not work out, but that one it works. Good. That means I didn't have to waste time knocking that apart. I probably would have gotten cold if I had set down a fire for it. I think our little friends have grown so much by day 20 with all the meat Jake is feeding them. So we're going to have to lie down in our front and get somebody to uh, play one of those snake charming whistles to extract them at this rate. Sorry, that, that's maybe a little too viscerally visual for this kind of stream, but boy, we've been bringing our friends around a long time. Just how big do internal parasites get? I mean, in real life. Probably pretty big, right? They're living things. They feast and grow. Ooh, not liking this. Not like in this wind. It's probably going to blow up my torch. Stay strong, torch. Stay strong. Dozens of meters is apparently the answer. Well, if that isn't terrifying, I don't know what is. Well, warm up here a bit. I have plenty of coal, so I don't mind slamming on a bit of it. There's plenty of this cedar wood as well, and I've certainly got plenty of sticks. This is probably a terrible place to put it down. For all I know, there was an excellent place to warm up real close by. But damn, it's it's chilly, and I don't like this wind. There we go. Back to warming up. I will take the opportunity though to sort out my items, like harvesting you. I don't think I need to make any water or anything, but maybe an hour kit would be nice if I can get one. A little risky, especially if this fire goes out. And it could well go out, but uh, what the hell. 
Should have gone to the Parasite Museum in Tokyo, Jake. Such recommendations. Not to go if you have anything in your stomach. I'm not easily sickened to that point, thankfully. Alright, it's all well and good. We're just going to sleep for a little longer. Alright, well, it doesn't take a lot of sleep for us to get as alert as we can be. Problem is, as alert as we can be is not very alert. How oh, what the heck is cured leather doing just at the base of a tree? I call this an ESA speedrun, but that's never happened before. Although, where the heck's the mysterious signal flare? Is it like the quantum moon out of, um... Out of whatchamacallit? Outer Wilds. Well, this is a bust. Um, dang. Also, I'm pretty low on water. While I'm considering my options, make me a bunch of water, please. Oh, and also some mush uh, mushrooms. Because it's another day, we need to alleviate our mushroom, uh, our parasitic risk. Do not want to fall down here. Maybe Billy Goating is not on the menu. Deary me. Maybe very not. Which that is a lot further than I thought. Alright. Kibosh on that plan. And it was a plan. that it should say seven doses remaining hey thank god seven percent more health and sleepy rating to lose but after that we should be good as gold you know, warm up this birch bark tea top myself up on water lament my lack of carrying capacity and then move down to the uh, the cave of getting the heck out of here Which, uh, hmm, what kind of options do I have for that? Uh, um, I think I have options. I'm going to take the birch bark tea for the warming up bonus and the, uh, uh, Health bonus, I want both. And I want a good torch. Oh, it's a mega torch, right. Forget that. You're sticking with me. <laughs> Too good to be wasted on walking with. Now these parasites are seeing the world. I got them way back in Coastal Highway. And from their little peeping hole, they get to see... The wonders of Hushed River Valley, and we should certainly get hushed by this valley. Such a loud place. Alright, we are higher than the crows, which tells us we are high. But I think I want to be down there. Uh, I think I want to be down there. It's just a hell of a long way to go. I don't want to risk the run on falling down there. And we won't. We'll take a much more sensible route. We're going to go through the... Um, we're going to th go through the ice cave, I think, down to the B area. We enter area A, down through B, and all should be fine. Oh, but now I have to deal with this stuff that I didn't break down before. I thought I was being so smart. No, 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 it's not, so, it's not lots of frostbite, it's the parasites that are doing in my health right now. Yeah, 23 minutes on this torch. Just in case. i going to throw some sticks down just to keep me warm as I do this. 
I'm gonna get a lot of sticks out of this, so it's no big deal. And heavens does have too many sticks as it is, so. Thanks to that, barely lose any warmth. Take a decent torch back. It's impressive how much permanence objects have in this game. I don't know how long it'll take for those torches to despawn, but guessing a very long time. The the cattails here tempt me, they really do. I'll grab these ones, I'll keep the other ones left there though. Because leaving cattails is kind of like food storage. They'll never go off. So if I ever find myself up here in desperate, I can always eat those, but then again, why would I ever be back here? I've already looted the good stuff. Ooh, speaking of looting some good stuff. I forgot to pick up the sapling shot there, didn't I? No, I didn't forget, I never intended to. Alright, that should be fine then. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell you what, I might... And I was talking about doing this earlier. I might just take the cave over there. The only reason I don't want to do that is because there's... I'm pretty sure a rope that I have to climb. But on the other hand, I... Would like to warm up inside there. That's crow's for Is that a human body or a an edible body? Looks like a wolf, actually. Maybe I already tore you apart. Sounds like something I would do. You are unmolested by human hands, and that is about to change. Hey, this is a spawn point! I know where I am! I could go down that way into cave uh, B, I think. Yep, I've I've been down there before. I know where I am and what I'm doing. Oh, that's, that's such a good feeling in the game. I don't feel like it happens all that often. Are we shelter from wind here? Anywhere. Where the heck is the wind coming from? Maybe it's coming from that direction, in which case... Yeah, no, out of luck. I'll just see if I can start a fire anywhere here. That'll do. It's not amazing, but it will do. Jake orienteering. Ah, stranger things have happened, but not much. Right, feels like pretty damn cold. I'm just going to check on one bit of coal and a few sticks. Normally I would hate doing that, but because this place is so rich in, um, in natural resources, we can do such things. I just hack this off. Yeah, it's not that warm, but it's warm enough. Yep, yeah, it's more like it. Give me my guts. I actually want to attract wolves. And whilst that's doing what it does, I'm going to rip the wolves skin off with my bare hands. You might have noticed our elf inching up there. It is inching up. I'm gonna eat the crappy meat first. And then I'm gonna employ the old gut scooper, because we're really fast at this now. No, no, once you have parasites, you can eat as much parasitically risky meat as you want. So there is something to be said for that as a strategy. I won't be the one to say it, though. I'd just rather not risk the parasites to begin with. So, down here, there's a chance that we get sprained for it, but... No guts, no glory. And, uh... Commander Shepard's been learning a lot about his guts lately. <laughs> okay, so um, sometime, years ago, I was at a friend's new house. He just moved into a lovely new house, and of course he's keen to show it off, so he invites us round for uh, dinner and whiskeys and pleasantries. <laughs> and then one of, one of the guys says, 
I bet your toilet hasn't been broken in with IBS. And then proudly marches off to it. Ah, uh, thinking about these horrible internal parasites. Gave me a lovely reminder of that tale. Right, so the wind is really fierce and blew out our torch. And we're already getting cold as sin again. But if I head in this general direction-ish, I should find the cave that I was in a while back. Unfortunately, we're really slow because we're really tired and overweight. Generally speaking, I think this direction should be fine. Wait, no, it's considerably more south from here, I think. Um, this way, then. Sod it, I'm going to run a bit. Actually, I'm way too tired for running, too. I'll try and lighten my load a bit with some heavy drinking. Since it's clear skies, I could use the mag lens for a fire. Nothing stopping me from just stopping and warming up, apart from my own sheer bloody-mindedness. How overweight am I? Heavily. Maybe if I stop picking up every stick in sight, we'd have an easier time in this. Came down, there was that. Uh, there's the. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I guess so. It looks like it on the inside. I just didn't think it was so close. My stomach. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Hopefully that answers your question there, Jay Sandrin. Our stomach hurts a lot, and it's been murdering our max health and our maximum stamina for a long time. It ain't done yet either. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Am I even where I want to be? Because I might not be. I'm trying to remember how I even got here. Like, to begin with. Um, Actually, this isn't where I want to be. I want to be in the other cave, Cave X. But did I leave anything here? Well, I probably want to nap here to get my power back, but... Uh... Did I leave anything here? Whoa, I left quite a bit here. Uh, well, it's good. Wow. Jinx. I think I was prepping for the future with all this. Right. I'm gonna drop that there. Gonna slowing me down. drop my wolf pelts here. You know, for the far-flung future that I come to Hushed River Valley to do all of my crafting. What's this, anyway? Uh, I might take the dusty old dog food just to leave with it. On the other hand, it's kind of a nice idea to just have some food left here for emergencies. There you go, a bit of, bit of food if I end up back here and desperate. Oh, I've already got that. Thanks, I was really planning for the future here. Now somebody said I should take this book with me. They said I didn't have survive the outdoors back at the shop. I don't believe that, but I'll take it anyway. Although we're still too sick to read it, I'm sure. Okay, this is all well and good. Do I want the hacksaw? Kind of, but it is a kilo of waste of space. Speaking of wasting, I'm almost out of this stuff. Right, I'll take a few hours nap and then it's time to get myself back to the other cave, and then I've just generally got to make my way out of here. Heavy though we may be. I think three hours of kip will do me fine. Your list also says you want three more dog foods in the shop. Oh, that's painful. It should be easy to find dog food, but I am heading back to the shop now. I know it feels like I'm always heading back to the bleeding shop, but it's true. Alright, sounds kind of nice and quiet out there. I will check the meats here. 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800. So let's just chew down one of these. Take our banged up dog food for the shop. Leave the maple sapling, although I do kind of want one of these. 
too heavy, and I'm sure I left it. Mmm. Mmm. It's really hard to justify pulling maple saplings back home. Really hard to justify it, but they're pretty much useless here. Pretty useless, but what the hell, I'll still leave it here. Uh, as for coal, we have loads of coal. We have loads of sticks as well. In fact, I'm going to dump a bunch of these sticks here, because I clearly have too many of them. No, 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 don't harvest a draw. Got these sticks here. I like my load something fierce. Put some of this water as well. I'll save this uh, light for emergencies. So, our load is still really heavy. But that's okay. It's a hefty amount of dog food. Um, well, nothing for it but to get moving. There's a temptation to leave some matches behind, actually. You know, in case I really come back here in a true emergency, but I'd never find them, so... Let's just make use of the good time of day that it is. I got plenty of calories worth of dog food and uh, worth of... <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose dog food. Now let's get the heck out of Hush River Valley. Hush River Valley has been amazing for us. It's provided us with so much everything. Oh, I can't start a fire with um, with a mag lens. It got too cloudy. Look, see, not an option to start a fire there. Right, now, if I come back along this way... I actually had my map to help me. kind of lost my place on it, but that's okay. Uh, if I go down a bit and along a bit, I should be back at that mine. Remember, I left a torch to show where I was there. Hopefully that'll come back and help us. Should be walking along this slope. It makes my pink wafer frostbitten knees want to give out. Wow, well, it feels like minus six. This is the power of the best time of day. Low wind and good clothes. You have no maple saplings at the shop. It should be... Oh, don't make me turn around for those maple saplings. No, there'll be other maple saplings. Let's not worry about it. Still want mushrooms, though. Do you recommend this game? Massively. I can't think of anything that's quite like this game. Other survival games don't really give you the same feeling of struggling for every inch in survival as this does. And I love it for it. I don't know, rope a bit over there? Where the heck am I? I think I came down a bit too far. I'm looking forward to the day that we have full awakeness. That day is one week away. Now maybe this will help us see. Oh, corpse over there. Could be useful. And there's a, bre uh, a log over there, which I'm... Not a log, a tree, but I'm pretty sure I crossed to get this far. Yeah, I remember looking at this corpse thinking, Oh, should I harvest this? It's on the way, and I think I left it. And I will continue to leave it. Could be useful in the future. Hey, Jake, I usually watch on YouTube. I want to pop in and say thanks for your streams. These videos always have the edge on the s me on the edge of the seat. You're doing really good work. Why, thank you. You know, comments like that make it all worthwhile. Some people leave YouTube comments that say just helping you out with the uh, with the algorithm, and I I far prefer a thoughtful comment than just dropping something in for uh, algorithm. But even so, their intentions are seen there. I do still appreciate it. Right, this will take us out of here if we make our way way up to the Zulu ice cave again. The Zulu ice cave entrance. Oh, bummer. I. It's too dark. Can't start a fire here. Well, we do have a bazillion matches now. <laughs> Remember the days of match austerity? 
long forgotten 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 plus matches on me. Mmm, and the maglands, it's a good time to be us. I'm gonna tear up these crappy branches, for, uh, these crappy torches for now. Probably just coal that I overlooked rather than coal that has nicely respawned for me. But either way, it's good news. I think I have to climb a rope, actually. Didn't I billy goat my way down earlier? Oh, I think this is where we found the mother load of goods. Mm. What was there again? Matches, axaw, bedroll. Feed the worms. I think the worms had plenty to eat over the past two weeks, and it still has one week more. Yeah, forgets his tapeworm for as long as I was just in Japan. Right, bedroll. You have to come with me whether you want it or not. Beans, that, that. Oh, this is going to be really heavy for getting out, but so be it. That means I just need to lighten my own load. I clearly have too many sticks, so... No, don't drop the accelerant. We need that for the shot. Um, drop a healthy amount. Something like 20 sticks here. And yeah, bye-bye this. I, I need to lighten the load. No two ways about it. Uh, still a little too heavy. Well, I can nibble on some wolf meat and chase it down with some water. Now we're looking a lot better. Probably just drop a torch or two and then if there is a rope I have to climb, we're good. Otherwise, we got what we needed here. <laughs> God, sticks! Can't be stopped. I see sticks. I must have them. Have to drop some gear. No, Shepard. We must not. We must take every bit of... Hang on. Was this guy always here? Whether he was or wasn't, he has nothing good for us, but still. Another pry bar for our rather large pry bar collection. I must have seen him and just completely ignored him last time. I'm going to make the news someday for ignoring someone in desperate need of help. Maybe that I ignored them, I just wouldn't have noticed them. Your fixation on sticks, are you certain you're not part dog instead of friend of dog? Spent so long growing up around them, I adapted to them and not the other way around, it seems. Love grabbing sticks. Which way is it? I think it's this way. I recall coming down from this point. Could be wrong, though. Could be very wrong. It was all this coal always here. You are what you eat. We've eaten a lot of dog. I don't know if the game keeps track of the different kinds of sources of calories. I remember this now. We were chasing the dog through here. I remember this corner in particular. But hey, dog died. Uh, I hear the dogs do come back, but on extremely long respawn timers. Oh man, these would be great sources of firewood, but that's the last thing we need right now. Okay, do I preserve my fire and go up and down? I think I should. However, I need to drop a few things here. Just a few heavy things will do me fine. Get me up. Up so daisy. Up we go, go, and we just drop a similar bunch of things over here. Like hacksaw, 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 pry bar, pry bar, 
couple of books and 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 a couple of tins of dog food and yeah, even these torches. This torch is about to go, so near to you. A to Z, it or else it does weird things with the condition. And then we go back down, grab the other goods, and we're fine. Down you go, Shep. It's kind of like real climbing. Sometimes you have to climb up, make your thing climb down, attach your gear, and then go back up again. stick. Oh, and take these sticks for the sticks. There was another bunch of goods that we found over there earlier. Sticks, torches, water and tea, the backbone of this play. No kidding though, sticks are amazingly good. You get plus one degree and plus seven to eleven minutes on the fire. Torches give you warmth and light and protection and let you start fires. Water is necessity, I don't even know why you'd add that there. And tea gives warmth, calories, water, and a myriad of other effects. Right. Interestingly, the rabbits are cured here. Since I have a lot of burnables, I actually think. These sticks. I think I'm going to start a fire and see if I can't mend some of my rabbit gear with that. So if I take some charcoal for the hell of it and start myself a little stick fire, I'll take some of the cured guts and rabbit pelts and fix up my rabbit hat and mittens, just the extra warmth. I don't need coal on this, but I'll take these sticks, they burn for an Aeon anyway. Hey, maple saplings. It says it's not cured yet. How much more could you need? Uh, but I might take those with me. Oh, I really don't want to take that with me. I don't want to take this either, but I must need it for the shop. Shop. I don't actually need any more pry bars in the shop, but shop. It's going to be pretty difficult to haul all this stuff back. I'm going to have to dunk a lot of stuff before I go. Um... Got, got a uh, rabbit skin. Did I already pick it up? Probably. Actions repair. Use the fishing tackle despite the extra length it takes. Please don't fail, this stuff is expensive. Nice! It's as good as new, and it gives a good amount of warmth bonus for the uh, for the fact. And then, oh, actually, there's very little reason to repair you. You're in really good nick as it is, so I'd rather just leave behind the, uh, the rabbit skin and the gut. dark. I should be sleeping in here. I don't need the fire, but I'm going to use the fire. I'm going to cook up a lot of water just so I have water here. I'm going, I'll just sleep for one hour. We're not in desperate need for condition, so I can just sleep for short bits of time. So Daisy. Give me that. Oh, oh, jeez. I thought there was still... I thought there was still life in that campfire. Evidently not. Glad I got a bit of water. Have you been to the crash plane on the mountaintop? Uh, in Timberwolf Mountain? No. Two liters of unsafe water is not great. I hate carrying unsafe water, it's easy to mistake for safe water. Ooh, 
Ooh, sounds really nasty out there. What's our weight? 47, way too high. I really need to triage what I have before I move out. For example, eight coal is too much coal. I'm gonna bring ourselves down to four. Uh, all firewood I will drop. I have no firewood to drop, okay. I'll have a tea, but I like my tea. I do not need water purification tablets, and I already have them in my store, so I'm just going to ditch these. Quite a bit of tea. These clothes are heavy, but I am wearing them at least. Yeah, okay. I don't like having this here, but... I'm just going to drop this and hope that I remember to cook it all properly later, because... Yeah, if I press space and drink it, I risk getting dysentery. Oh, wait, I have something of a brilliant idea. Water purification tablets? Well, why don't I actually use it for once? These work. Does anybody know? Does, does all the nastiness in the water just stick to them? Still need to lighten my load though. Still need to drop out five kilos if I can. Uh, I will drop cattails here. I mean, they're not that heavy, but uh, still gonna lighten my load a bit. I can eat a bunch of this. Need some of it now. The one I know creates a slurry that sinks to the bottom. Okay, so just don't drink the slurry then. Ew. Mm, I don't need this many tins. They're not heavy, but... Let's get rid of those. Mm, so many pry bars weighing me down. Uh, do I have all the pry bars I need for my shop, by the way? Because if I do, I should just leave two of them behind. More is good, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure I have enough pry bars on my, on my shop, right? James, I'm actually going to load up my own page and check, although I didn't update it for the last time. Uh, what is he even... No, I don't need to know about help add block plus make the internet a better place. Uh, I need my stock take. Literally, I haven't opened it in a long time. I can use my own title, though, can't I? There we go. Thank you, Bitly. Block Plus using his position to throw an ad at me. How profound. Okay, according to this, I already have two out of two pry bars, and I'm pretty sure I have at least three in the shop. So I'm actually going to dunk two pry bars here to free up two kilos. Uh, it's a bad place for it, so I can barely see them. Not that that's a good place for them. How often am I going to miss this? I reckon all the time. So, bring you over here. The hoarding element in this game is so good. I don't like hoarding physical things in real life, but uh, hoarding things in a game, ah, that's a different kettle of fish altogether. Uh, you're practically empty, but you're still very important to me. You will be harvested. Iodine kills the bacteria. I could use up this whetstone by sharpening my tools. So I will. Interestingly, you can be repaired with fur firewood, but there's no need to do that right now. Yeah, I'll sharpen one of my whetstones to oblivion. It's a good way of passing time, and we need to pass through the night anyway. It doesn't free up much, it frees up a tiny amount, and I guess I could turn these into prepared shrooms and things. That may or may not make them lighter. Yeah, laying out supplies is a pain. There is a mod that reduces that, I believe. And I've been tempted to use it for this run. I don't know if it's updated for the current uh, version, though. All right, we're practically there. In fact, if we just eat some food and drink some stuff on the way out, we are there. 
My only concern is my lack of burnables if I need to start a fire on the way out. But a little bit of coal and some sticks alone would go a long way. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Just need to sleep and get out as soon as the going is good. So I said I would do something else, didn't I? I said I'd sharpen my tools. Don't use it on the whetstone, we use it from here. Such a menacing thing to do, sitting in a cave in the darkness, covered in eight dogs, just sharpening our knife, waiting for the opportunity to arise. Just don't ask us what opportunity. Oh man. I would like to know the sound library they use for this game, because it's a high quality one. Alright, that's looking good. Also sharpen our improvised hatchet. Need to be covered in bears. At least it's only one bear for the bear skin um, coat. But it's so heavy it makes me consider if I actually want it or not. The temperature increase is good, but that weight. I'm going to be carrying that weight. It's making me feel tired. Alright, and we may as well just finish off the whetstone. Served its purpose well, it did, but away it goes. It breaks, but it's still in our inventory, so I'm just going to drop it on the ground. It does not disappear, but this thing is long dead, so over you go. Chug some delicious water, and then we should sleep for probably about four or five hours. I think five hours. Yeah, maybe six. I don't want to leave until it's daytime anyway. That should get me all my condition back. Actually, five hours should get me all my condition back. There we go. You know, it's a slow and deliberate game, this. I wonder what the viewing experience is like. It'd be nice if someone else in the community streamed this game. I'd actually like to watch someone play it. I know there are some hotshot, uh, long dark streamers out there, but uh, not to sound too elitist, but I like to see people within this community do it. It just feels a bit more relatable that way. It's like when watching a speedrun, it's like, well that's impressive, but you know, hard to be invested in someone I don't know who just no life's this game. Right, down the hatch, that's good calories. We have more calories if need be, and good on the water as well. It is dark and cold, but it's getting slightly lighter. Now let's... Mm. Wow, I'm at the point where even fully rested, I don't have my maximum um, carry capacity. That tells us that we need to get out of here as a matter of priority. A real priority. Well, it's bollockingly cold out here, so let's really make it a priority. Set to auto walk and enjoy a drink while Shepard makes the long march. You know, I hear owls in the background like that, so I'm assuming that's owls. For some reason, it reminds me of Majora's Mask. Did Majora's Mask even have that? I've almost killed myself falling down one of those things. That would have been horrible. Although I could happily blame it on the parasites and the frostbite. It's not what causes the death, merely what aggravates it. So I don't need to worry too much about the warmth because leaving this place is actually just going through a cave towards Mountain Town. Which, on reflection, I should have taken those goods over to here for, because getting back to those goods is going to be a royal pain in beeswax. I remember in Majora, there's one really big, annoying owl. <laughs> Obviously not that owl. Forget his name, but it clearly means it's not very important. It's hard to see, isn't it? 
maybe for me. To escape this cold. I keep my monitor ultra dark as usual. Boy, I didn't get much um, much healing done in my sleep, did I? Kind of pathetic. Now we're gonna lose health at a rapid rate. Uh, I'm, I don't warm up soon. Am I about to find that I can't get through here? Oh, oh snap. There are brushes in the way. Uh, I don't really have 23 minutes to hack you away with, but I guess I have to. Thank you, hypothermic risk. Didn't expect that. Perhaps I should have. My stomach. It hurts. Oh. First light means light, Shepard. Deal with your sore stomach. Uh, I can't actually see how far this goes down. I'm gonna hope it doesn't go far down at all. Something. Okay, now we're good. Whew. Just looked like the abyss to me. Alright, thank you, Hush River Valley. You provided me with so much. Honestly, spawning here on Outer Loper must be a godsend. I recommend it after seeing all of that. Uh, let's see. It's dark as sin in here. Uh, I'm actually just going to sleep for a little while to get some warmth and stuff back. And then hopefully it's a nice bright day outside that I can use my... Uh, ...to light everything up. Yeah, we only saw one bear and we didn't even fight it. Although it, it, it did uh, did spook me a little bit. I'll give it that for free. Oh, so somebody asked earlier, can we use this light to use the mag lens? Let's find out. The answer is no. But maybe it's cloudy outside, which would prevent that anyway. It is... Yeah, too cloudy. Too cloudy to live. But maybe the light will allow us to get through anyway. 